pie yesterday at, at Thanksgiving. Hey, no, I right? just say I'm sick. I'm not coming in. That's it. I used to uh, but also, play like social production games, and that ended up making me figure out how to lie. And that, then I ended up yeah. when I st- had my phase where I started building like mini games of Minecraft. I ended up building an entire game around like, lying games of Minecraft. Yeah, no. For oh, wait, yeah, we're yeah, no. I also play. I, I, I. Mafia is my favorite game of like any kind of all time. I fucking love Mafia, and that also that's like because I don't actually lie in real life. Like I, I'm only be I'm only know I'm good at lying because I've played so much Mafia. Also, don't worry about us being live. That's yeah. just how the show kind of goes. I don't lie in real life yeah. either. <laughs> that was a lie. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting. Also, that's just honestly, that is the most autistic thing I've heard, and I mean that as like a compliment. Oh, I learned how to lie from like LA Noir. I, it's real. <laughs> it's real. No, it is. It is. Nah, um, also, like, Mafia is so funny because, like, lies that you would think would make a lot of sense in Mafia, people just vote you off because they think that it's funny. So you have to come up with a lie that'll, like, work to the monkey brain as much as it will, like, the actual human brain. So that people, mm-hmm. vote, people who are playing stupid also don't vote you off. <clears throat> it, it's also why uh, it's also why I think like the jester is one of my favorite mafia roles because it just completely fucks. <laughs> it's so funny. Your ability to vote. With Wait, what's the jester in mafia? Um, if uh, you, you vote the jester out, out the, the, the jester wants to get voted out. And yeah. If they get voted out, they get to kill someone the following night. So oh, oh I didn't know that. Oh, I played it. So I played it. Tri- oh, sorry, I played it, it an even yeah. like more volatile version of that where if you. If you voted off the jester, they just won. Like they were like a oh, third yeah, team. Oh yeah, I've with the yeah, like goose goose duck. Um, did that. Uh-huh. But yeah, yeah. No. Okay, the only the, the only roles I know are uh, cop, medic, and vigilante, and that's just from the melee summits. That's oh, all I know. I love yeah. fucking. Yeah, if you want, if you want like much more complex version of that, you could look up Town of Salem. Oh it's yeah, it's a good game. Basically, uh, yeah, it's basically that game mm. online. Really? Mm-hmm. People and boys. I've heard of the game. Yeah. I just I I never knew that's what it was about. Yeah, Town of yeah. Salem is basically just mafia, but like it all, it's animated, and there are tournaments for it, and it's it's pretty it's pretty neat. Nice. I've played it before. It is it is pretty fun. Uh, my one of my favorite things is getting voted up uh, as Jester, and uh, when and then as I'm on the stand about to have my last words, I just say, uh, "Hey guys, it was just a joke," and then everyone just uh, realizes that they just fucked up. Yeah, that's good. Also, uh, yeah, UFR twenty five guys, we made it! Hooray! Right. Go team! Nice. Like we're, we're officially ha- a quarter of a century old. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Wait, no, a quarter of a century. What? Oh, yeah, we're twenty. Yeah, it's oh, UFR yeah. Oh, you mean, yeah, you're twenty five. I, I, I took that hyper literally. Uh, no, I yeah no I I uh yeah no I'm really I'm really happy we made it this far. Who the fu- whose air conditioning is that? It sounds oh, like so I'm in an airplane. Oh. Probably space. That's not me. Giving your mic. Now nah, space. There's no sound. This is AC. Here, let me mute myself. Just still noise suppression. Ah, there we go. It, it, it all is well. Um, well, yeah, we're 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 back. We made it. Um, that's uh, glad to be here. The summer update came out. That's really cool. Um, how how is everyone? How is everyone's overall thoughts on the summer update been? Fucking dog Crazy. shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Positivity. Yeah, I love it. Yes. I'll be honest. I've right. not actually. I have not actually played it yet. Oh, fucking grifter! Real life. Okay, you fake TF2 things. fan just doing it for the money. Classic John. Can't yeah, I'd give it oh, like yeah. a. I, it's like a six point five. Is that better? Time, probably. Uh, yeah. No, I think it was John. I think it was John uh, noise suppression issues. Wait, what? No. Is, am I good now? Am I, do yes. I sound everything is fine? Airplane? It was fixed like two minutes ago. All okay. is well in the world. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. So what? What do you? What do you think of the the? Because like, I am literally like a foot from my air conditioner. Nice. <laughs> Weezy, what do you? What did you? What have you thought about the summer update? Um, like it's it's it tilts green, right? It's not bad. Um, my opinions. Uh, on everything are like somewhat controversial maybe i don't know like i we were talked about this before stream where like um the the fucking amount of people who have varying opinions on multiple maps it is crazy it is crazy the discrepancy that i've seen i think it is also because they are quite new and everyone kind of needs their time to process a lot of the new maps definitely well. that's probably a big thing yeah. Because it's hard to tell, and then again, some people have different opinions. I'll tell you one of my uh, silly opinions that I... Well, it's not an opinion, it's just a preference. We're all um, going to disagree, like by the way. Mm-hmm. 
I'm I'm oh. I like playing on Mortville. Oh, get off the fucking podcast! For sake and reason, I, I know dude, it's I know it's a bad map. I, the sidelines no. horrible, but I like playing on it for some bizarre reason. That's hey, Weezy. You like a you like embargo, so I don't want to hear anything. Okay. Well, I don't. I don't like embargo. I have like a so it's, it's like, like an like, abusive like, relationship with it. Yeah, that's how that's how John it's, feels about Whatville. It's the same thing. It's 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 no. It's it's like it's like uh, Uncle Dane with Dust Bowl. He knows it's a shit map, and he's yeah, like playing on it for some to reason. me, to me, it's not comparable because like to me, Dust Bowl is like a shitty map, but it's actually fun in other ways. To me, fucking like the gameplay elements of embargo are just fucking awful they are terrible i haven't to me. really played embargo and i can't stop playing once. it embargo i can't fucking stop i think it's i think it's so fucking bad to play and i i can't it's help broke. myself but continue to play it okay the, the, yeah, oh i want to i want to use I, I want to use the uh, the analogy we had where embargo feels something like uh it feels like dm mario kart where it's just this <laughs> random amalgam of shit thrown into a map for a community server for people to dick around on and also, mm -hmm. like, a combination of trade server elements. It doesn't know what it wants to be. It's a big visual clusterfuck of a whole bunch of random things thrown together. And it makes it visually unappealing. And it makes the gameplay very unappealing. I it's feel like they should just... Yeah, they should I say, they fuck have... it, double down, add a fucking RTD button for that map only. Okay, just give it. Bring it in. Oh, I, love, it. I love typing up. Exclamation mark RTD in casual games and just confusing everyone. I just queued into a casual game. I just realized. Hold on, I'm gonna check the region. I'm in a Sydney server. It's three in the morning. I mean, and it will be like one in the morning for most of them mm -hmm. in Australia. Yeah. And I managed to queue into a game in like a few seconds. Holy, what the fuck? Uh, Wait, how live? Look, live John we don't have a super high pop. We don't have a super high population. I'm I'm running around in the Sydney server right now. I also don't have an alias. I'm under, I'm under my name right now. Also, um, uh, wait, oh hi. Uh, is, is that, yeah, I'm an Odyssey. It, it looks it looks pretty. Zesty, That's I can say. Okay, actually, it's very pretty. Zesty, I wanted Sorry, to ask. I wanted to I wanted to ask you. Uh, because this is the I recently made funny font videos, so I was curious. Uh, what do you think about um like the 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 text in embargo? Because that was actually something that stood out to me when you were watching it. Like a lot of the signs to me don't also don't look very tf2 with like the... that's something else yeah. i wanted to mention a lot of the signage and a lot of like the cartoony style of the stuff they threw in there very much does not look like tf2 at all like that goes yeah. back to my point of they just took a bunch of random stuff and go oh look it's now owned by red team or oh look it's now blue team or red team casino it's like it just yeah like, it doesn't fit the stylization yeah, like, of the game in many ways like the 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 i was going to particularly point out the the rojo uh casino uh sign because that that one like bothers me, uh, and probably a little bit autistically bothers me, but uh, it, it like the way in which this sign looks is like wrong. Uh, like, I, is there another? Is there a part of one of the original six maps, or like any other part of the TF2 UI that utilizes a gradient on text? Because I can't. I I have Nothing never. Comes to mind. I I, I no. cannot think of Nothing it. Nothing comes to mind. And every time people use a gradient on text, it's just it just looks wrong at T with TF2. It just looks really, really weird. So a lot of people uh, are gonna are going to now make the argument that like, oh, gradients are everywhere in TF2, which is technically true, but also not true because of the painterly style. Mm -hmm. So you have you know things that kind of mimic the appeal of a gradient, but they're actually individual swipes of paint mm -hmm. and not like a smooth gradient from one color to another, and that's why it looks so weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it, it like the I'm trying to pull it up. I'm just struggling. Oh gosh. Um, but the, yeah, no, the, it, it just looks, it looks really strange. I, I, I don't like the way that Embargo looks either. I also, like, the, the colors, this is also true of the, um, the map with the, the yellow. Like, the, the, the map, yellow. Uh, what, which one is uh, that? Yeah, Hadal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Hadal. Hadal. Really? You don't like yeah, Hadal? Yeah, no, 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 it's not like, Hadal, I don't know. Hadal, Hadal Zone, not Hadal, but yeah. Is it not Hadal? <laughs> no, because Hadal is a actual ocean term used to measure ocean depth. So you got like the twilight you got the sunlight phosphoric zone and then you got the hail zone and then you got the twilight zone. Okay. I like, Hadal. Of, like imagine going <laughs> outside. I like Hadal better. It just sounds like a high tech laboratory, you know? Oh we need to I feel like I, I feel it sounds like, like a like golden eye level. To me it sounds like an underground uh, oil rig in like, you know, off the coast well, of Dubai or something. Hadal. That is what they're kinda going for, so 
But yeah, no, the yellow. I like yellow it. One, Everyone's yellow gonna one have Hadal. hot takes on this update. Mine is that I love Hadal. I think it's pretty good. The yellow. I was just gonna I, say that the yellow on Hadal is is about as bad as the green on Embargo. Uh, that's all I was gonna say. Oh, that's the sign. I, <laughs> yeah, the sign is. Yeah, that's just not TF2. Like, like, look, look at this screenshot. Is uh, aside from the Iron Bomber, is this TF2? No. No. Like, <laughs> okay, you see like B and then like the hologram, but remove those. Is this TF2? Like, no, it's not. Just visually, it's not the game at all. Well, they used they used like they used black oak, black oak, but they like in, they raised it. They like x they they raised the y axis on it so it's taller. So now it doesn't look like black oak anymore. It doesn't look like this word soldier and meet the soldier. It doesn't look like that. It just they 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 fucked it because that's like the whole diff that's the thing that differentiates it. It was it looks like wood print. So when you raise it like that, it just looks like the Western font number 34. And when you add rows on top of it, and then that's a really weird font choice. It's like, uh, the coolest part about it is that mm. the diamond is the I for the, the J. And we doing a John Toes video first because he's running out of time. Yeah, yeah, we should do that. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, uh, is, is the Watch Together thing active now? Because, yeah, it, uh, yeah, it should be. Yes, but... Yeah, I don't have I don't have the permission to what? join it. What? It, I, like I hover over there and watch the get the link. button. You just click the link. You just click on the link. Uh, oh no wait. Wait, 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 You know what we should do? Oh, wait. Oh, we oh, should wait, do sorry, a um. Built into Discord thing. Mm -hmm. We should do, I'm doing this in my video that'll be out in like two days. Um, we should do a map tier list and just have it be there like a collective a, UFR one. There is a map tier list made. I don't know if that has all the cosmetics and everything too, but there is one. I don't give a I fuck would love to do a tier list for all the stuff they added. It would be so fun. That you think? Would... Oh, yeah. Okay, we could do it. They do they, um, is there a summer 2024 tier list? There is. There oh, yeah, is. absolutely. I don't yeah. know if it. I know it contains the maps. I don't know if it contains maps and all the cosmetics. But yeah, I've only seen the map ones. Okay, well we could we can we could certainly do that uh, after we will do it first thing after John to Hill's video. How about that? So they have they have maps, unusual effects, and cosmetics. Three separate ones. Oh yeah, I don't really yeah, care yeah. for the unusual yeah. effects because I I think we all have the Agreed. same agreement of that they're bloated. There's a lot of them that was yeah. out of this, and this is going to be too really fucking much. Look, mm. Chud, look, you <laughs> evil bigot! How dare you say that we have too many unusual effects? Uh, More is better. More is always better. You just hate fun and want the I game say to die. Don't you like butterflies? I say the, how many do we? I have? say that we should. Uh, I say we should deport these unusual effects back to the workshop where they belong. All right. <laughs> I think all right. after <laughs> this update. We need update, to build a wall right? around the unusual effect. <laughs> We're coming in. <laughs> Go and ahead. All the workshoppers will effect. pay for that wall. Right. <laughs> we'll make the workshoppers. They call him unusual effect Eddie. That's what they call him. Right. Goes ahead. Big slashy <laughs> on his head. Hold on. I'm, I have to grab John Hill's video. Please keep. They've looked far too many unusual effects been. into this game. We have to build a very great wall, an unusual wall. We'll call it very purple, very tall. Have to build, keep I up these horrible things from mucking up I our beautiful game. I don't want to see any more burning flames. I just want to see these flames burning with the effects. Okay, I'm tired of seeing <laughs> it. <anymore. laughs> that's a good one. All right. I, mean, I, I, mean, I, can, do, I can probably I do a good at the patch notes. They said, "Wow, that's a lot of unusuals." It is. I, I I can probably do an impression of the other other president. Um, what I don't you know. Kamala? Um, 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 I don't. Um, there you go. Good impression. Brilliant. Perfect. That's exactly yeah. what he sounds yeah. like. That's great. Porky pig ass. Oh man. <laughs> I don't know. I find the Kamala impressions in here in more New funny. Zealand. This is the most political I'm, we've I'm, ever gotten. I did. I did. I am here in New Zealand. I just like look when it comes to American politics. I just get the popcorn. Yeah, that's nah, what every other country does. It's not there's real. One, we don't hit like, I, <laughs> Am I the, the only American? Is, yeah, no, no. yeah, you're the only American in this call right now. No. That, that, like permanently resides no, in the country. That's and, true. That's true. Yeah, I'm the only guy in America right now. I shit like like this isn't real. I'm in a simulation. My country is in a, in a is in fucking disarray. Get me out. I want to I want to go live on like Venus or something and melt in 12 seconds. No, nah, I'm with you. I mean, shit, we're there too, right? Space Canada's yeah. not getting any better. All I'm hearing is that everyone yeah. in this call is eventually moving to Japan, and that's that's really good for me because then we could. Japan even I would move there. Japan I would is move not there. No, no, if everything wasn't made for people under country. five foot seven. That's just I had a not genuine. A point. That's a, I had a genuine long no, against tall discussion. people. You want to hear yeah, this? New, I had a genuine. Man. Here you go. <laughs> 
I had a genuine long out fond discussion about cashing in all my Canadian dollars and just moving to some random third world country and becoming a farming magnet for the country. <laughs> <laughs> I've debated it. I've debated going to like Malaysia or Romania yeah. or Dubai. Right. I've unironically debated it. Yeah. yeah like I, I, I moved to like Eastern country. Europe probably. Like, you know. Hungary's Slovakia. nice. I went there. I'd go back. I was like, how much land yeah, can Wham-O I did it? Yeah, Wamo went to Thailand. <laughs> did he? Yeah, he, he went, went for a he went, got his swimming he went pool, for, got yeah. his lady boys. He's having a great time. Yeah, I was going to say, he went for a different reason. Though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, I, I heard great. TF tubers are quitting. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sometimes uh, they are going in the ground for hibernation. I- <laughs> yeah, no, I'm quitting too. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> that gone. was great. Oh, there goes. <laughs> you imagine if he just didn't come seconds. back. That was like the whole. That was like the whole bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I, I originally before, because we because Zesty, you know, lied to the entire TF2 community and said the summer update wasn't coming out till August. Um, and I believed him. it was a joke. I believe I believed him it was foolish. a joke. I believed him foolishly. So I, I had an entirely different plan uh, <laughs> before the summer update came out. And, you know, we, we it, it was going to be a short episode anyway. So we decided to cover the summer update and talk about uh, TF tubers, you know, quitting YouTube all in the same episode. Double feature today. I mean, when I accidentally spread misinformation on the Internet, it it's my favorite hobby personally. Like that one. I did. I did on accident with my April Fool's video, where the joke was if you spelt the name of the removed gun backwards, it spelled April Fools. But most people didn't actually try spelling it backwards, even when prompted to. So many people actually. That's too that much effort. Real. Yeah, no. it has to be in your face. For it TF2 has to be fans. like misspelled, but like the the but I it, is a it one. It feels more. It, it feels more defeating when you have to spell it backwards. I, I, but I didn't realize I didn't account for people who are dyslexic and struggle with that. I, <laughs> damn it. I always have to account for that. You can't spell anything backwards anymore. So, um, I mean, I'm, yeah, I just have uh, some dyslexic friends. I had a dyslexic friend who watched that video and didn't realize it was a joke until the next day when I told them. <laughs> so they good. just read it as normal? They just like, like yeah. uh, your dyslexia, like, fucks the fucked writing back into place. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. It doesn't spell it backwards for you. It just shows the thing on screen, prompts you to spell it backwards, and then just ends. Like, it doesn't do it for I like you. my version better. <laughs> I like thinking that dyslexia is like a power up. You can't get fooled by any shitty writing on April Fools. <laughs> Think about it. Yeah. Okay, so who's quitting? Let's see. Max quit. I... <laughs> fucking um. Uh, let's see. Zesty, you're quitting in like nine months or some shit. Uh, fucking who else? Having a child. He's going into labor. Yeah. Nah, nice. Nah, I, I, uh, I mean, like, what well, this is this is Soup more... TF two is quitting. No, fuck. <laughs> No, this is this this is this is a fun episode because we're not just talking about like El Maxo and and you know Zesty eventually and Wheezy eventually in like ten years. No, nope, not me. I'm and sticking around, buddy. You're gonna be making TF2 content game. when you're 87. Uh, 37. We'll go with that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. Well, like, like we're talking about everyone who's ever quit. Uh, that's like that's the interesting. That's like the interesting premise because a lot of TF tubers quit for a lot of different reasons, and I think that's really interesting. And we're gonna get into it when we talk about the video. But like the the overarching like idea that I I had when watching uh, John's video and and being like John John I, we I wanna I wanna talk about this. The overarching idea behind that was because a lot of people you know talk about like the TF two bubble and you know YouTubers quitting TF two, um, and like what that means for their career. And I think it's interesting to try and look back at the past to see what that means for, you know, potentially for El Maxo and, and other people who have quit. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Because uh, I... No, you go. Sorry. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to watch the whole thing. Th- I don't know if we're going to watch the whole thing through. We're going to watch that the... four minute mark. Yeah, we're going to watch the first, the four, first minutes. four minutes because uh, I know the rest yeah. of it's more personal to your audience. Yeah. So Like, I literally tell people to just like, if you're not interested in me and you're here for whatever reason... This is your, this is, you know, there's the door. Yeah. You can, you can go down. And I watched the whole thing. Can you believe it? Yeah. I mean, I can check what the watch time stats are on it, but. But yeah. uh, Yeah. I didn't because I I can't watch spy gameplay. I can't do it. (laughs) That's such a shallow reason to not watch a video. Real. That's a valid (laughs) reason. That's entirely a valid reason. Guys, actually come to, Richter Overtime is in chat and he quit TF2 content. 
So he's actually he's you know, uh, nah. He'll make another video on it. Nah, like, never. You know, never, if like if things are over happen. again and then they're back and then they're <laughs> over again, he'll over. be there. <laughs> things are over again. <laughs> it's so over. We're so back. <laughs> we're, that's just that the Richter and Ty, it, Richter the Richter cycle is it's so over. We're so back. Yeah, he'll make MVM fucking lyric parodies. Yeah. Oh man, I can't believe he'll he always made be that. chilling. Okay. No, I made it. No, it was definitely him. I refuse no, it was to believe me. you made that. No, he I, only I gave me the idea to make it. I used, no, 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 I used a Richter AI voice bot. No. no. <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready? We good? No. Yep. What, I'm what, ready. What's wrong, Zesty? Are you good? No, I'm good. I'm just kidding. I'm ready. Why do TF2 YouTubers quit TF2? Oh, God, I my own voice. It's a thing I've decided <laughs> to make. It's somewhat unscripted here on the second channel. But I think I need to make it because it's a reality check that well, a lot of the TF2 community gameplay. needs. And this is obviously in light of the recent news of El Maxo quitting. And I've decided to strike while the iron is hot here, right? Personally, I saw it coming. He's talked about it on his second channel. I didn't expect it to happen so abruptly. But it's not something that's like super disappointing to me. I I, I wanted... To, I, I this, is, this is a good time to pause. I, I think that... I agree it was really abrupt. He just kind of decided to quit. Um, I know that, like, I, I think Wheezy mentioned, I don't remember when, but Wheezy at some point mentioned that, like, he was, like, talking about it to, like, people behind the scenes. But for, like, the pub the general public, mm -hmm. like, the, he just kind of decided to quit. Um, it was just yeah. really, it just kind of, was just kind of like a, like a thing that happened. And it, like, really caught a lot of people off guard. Um, but then, like, you look at the fact that he just made his five-hour, like, sniper video, and it kind of makes a little bit of sense. I just thought there'd be, like, a more cinematic ending, you know? I thought he would be like, all right, I'm gonna have this, like, very beautifully shot fucking nine fucking hour animation of yeah. why TF2 is unfulfilling or whatever. Or Like, like that's put more Max's style. Or, you like, you'd put it at the end of that five-hour sniper video? Like, yeah, and it'd just yeah. be like a, I think like, it'd be like, I don't know, a cassette tape coming out of the box, and then it just says, like, El Maxo on it, you know, like, something fucking yeah. poetic like that, because yeah. he likes to do that shit, but it was just, no, it was like yeah. a community post and dipped. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think, again, I th it seem it's something that seems to have been brewing for quite a while, mm. and, again, I notice him playing the game uh, a, a lot less, and uh, starting to dip back into League of Legends, which, um... No. No. Oh, oh no! Oh, so we're losing. Him. I didn't know that. <laughs> no, I thought Max was going yeah. on to better things. No. <laughs> There's not much. I haven't betting. seen. Uh, for reference, I haven't seen him launch the game in like months, Bam. a week. A week. Yesterday. Unironically, it could be. Nah, I, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people blame why people quit on like the conditions of the game, and to an extent, that can be true. Gosh, but I think with Max in particular, it was just like something brewing in his mind, like gaming's useless. I don't want to do this shit. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll, I, sorry. I'll, yeah. I was gonna say like talking about Max. That, 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 I was gonna say El Maxo's kind of views on video making was very bad even like a year ago two years ago and i'm assuming that thought and thought process for making videos hasn't changed too much as well really like, do you think it's yeah. bad i mean okay, what, what do you wait the way, the way, he, de yeah, the way he described it the way he described it was just like yeah the way i see it is like i just gotta stick through and get it done i just gotta go through it like i don't enjoy making videos but i just started it so i have to go ahead and i have to grog through and finish it off i don't enjoy making well, it i don't like <laughs> I think that's true, but I think it's like the, the Vince Gilligan thing, you know? I don't like writing, I love having written, and I think that's mm. how Max views his content. Yeah. I, you gotta get through the shitty bits to get to the fun bit. The I don't bit know, that I always like... written in my big videos is animating my character's lips. Mm -hmm. That All that is done manually by me. Mm. Which and uh, anything, like, the, the worst things, uh, anything, any sentence that goes on for, like, ten seconds. Mm. And yeah. I just have to animate the lips. Yeah. It is... Yeah. I think Max was having fun. I just think it's like fucking crazy. I don't know. Like, and by the way, this dude, Max has like a the work effort of a fucking stallion, dude. I mean, he just goes in. He's like working eight hours a day, every day, nonstop, doesn't take breaks. Yeah, and it shows um, in his work. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, he like he's fucking. Yeah. He puts his nose to the grindstone, and he just fucking grinds and grinds and grinds, and he goes I mean, at clearly, it. Clearly, I mean, he was treating this like his job, right? And you have to understand that you're not always gonna love every single moment spent in doing your job. Some days it's gonna be a fucking slog, and you don't want to go to work, and yeah. you gotta force yourself to do it and get it done, then move on to the shit that you actually enjoy, right? 
Yeah, I think it seems more abrupt for people who aren't YouTubers and don't understand, like, the actual... Like, a lot of people, like, glorify or, or glamorize the YouTuber lifestyle when it really is not, like, all that. Um, like, like it's it's, yeah. it's not what everyone makes it out to be. Um, and, and I think that, uh, there, yeah. I think it, all, it also depends on, like, what you but... do, right, as a YouTuber. Like, mm -hmm. you have varying... There's like, a, there's like a spectrum of content creation, right? Yeah. You have the guys who will literally just sit on their stream and do effectively nothing, mm. and then complain that that's hard and not and like and a lot of work. Which relatively, I'll just say it's not. Mm. And then you have mm. the guys Isn't like El Maxo who do so much actual work, mm. editing, recording, what have you, at a computer where it is it is a job, right? You're doing a lot of work to get to a final product. So, yeah, no, I I agree. Yeah. I. I see all Maxos quitting as like the inverse Samwiz. Do you guys, for those who were there for that UFR, was that last UFR or the UFR before? I can't remember. Yeah, it was last one. Was yeah, last one. he was what? like the inverse of that. What do you want? What do you want? I, what? <laughs> cat. Is that your mom? That's a... <laughs> no, that's a cat. What? Cat. Oh, my bad. That's what a fucking... <laughs> How did you get that mixed up with a woman? Hey. We, we are... Hey, stop. <laughs> no, no, but I, I, I think that um, I, I just think that like, cause Sam was was blaming a lot of his can his quitting issues on like the game, um, or at least he it seemed that way based off how he framed everything that he said. Whereas with uh, whereas with with El Maxo, it was very obvious that it had nothing to do with really with TF two. It was more more just a matter of like burnout and general himself. dissatisfaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah dissatisfaction himself. with, with yeah. the content creation process. Um, and, and yeah, it'll be interesting to see what he ends up doing, uh, from here on out, because it's, it, it's, it'll be interesting to see if he follows, like, cause like a lot of YouTubers, like, uh, I made a video about it, but a lot of YouTubers have branched out from TF2 content in interesting and different ways. And, uh, I, th it, oh, yeah. I think El Max is probably going to do it in a way that hasn't really been done before, which is where he, he's uh, cracked the code yeah. on making content in general yeah. and he'll be, he'll be fine no matter what he does. Yeah. I suspect. What, yeah. That's what I, I mean. I think for me, for me, I'm also going to start like branching out, but I'm, I, I sort of say this later in the video, but we don't need to watch that bit where it's sort of like, I don't want to cold turkey it because I have plans of like things and loose ends that I want to tie up. Mm. But there are other games that I also want to make videos on. Probably one of the first ones is probably going to be the Funny Dwarf game. I because love Deep Rock it is it is probably just a game that TF2 so many TF2 players will love that they mm -hmm. do not realize. Mm -hmm. Like in my podcast with Uncle Dane, he said that it is his second favorite game ever, and I absolutely see why. It cheers. It it's, takes like all the right lessons from TF2. It is fucking amazing. All of you guys are fucking pussy ass traitors leaving this game. Come on, man. Come I, on. You can't be the, you can't leave me on the island alone here is what I'm saying. No, you could be Or with, you can. You could be with Uncle Dane. Yeah. Uncle Dane uploads like four I, I, times um, a year. Yeah, he's like now, on, granted, he's like so on the I. island, but he's like a hibernating bear. Yeah, actually. How much do I, uh, I guess He's I don't know. Like Could Dane you... said, like years ago, that he would never upload a non-TF2 video to the Uncle Dane channel, and I'm following a similar thing. I don't think I'll ever upload a non-TF2 video to my channel. It'll never happen. Yeah, I've already done it. Uh, that's why I wanted to. That's like the thing I wanted to avoid when I started my channel was getting like too consistent. Um, like to, as, and, I, and I'm still kind of not like scared of it, but I, 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 I worry about being too consistent with the kind of content because there's a, like there's, you know, you want to appeal to your niche on one hand. But on the other hand, you also want to make sure that you're allowed your, your audience is, is accepting of you and will know that you do other things. So like there will be times where I'll be like, yeah. man, fuck TF2. I'm gonna make this video about Minecraft on the PS Vita or some shit. Fuck it, I don't care. And like, I, and I'll just like lose money for you know a month or whatever because I want my audience to know that I also like other things. Um, but that's like the opposite of of the the like second channel or quitting cold turkey kind of kind of deal. Okay, somebody mm -hmm. saying musical such a traitor. Anyway, German such a I cool dude. I think yeah, I think there is a very clear difference in between to do. Where mm -hmm. Yuzuk kind of left for Overwatch, which if you want to complain about people doing that, you know, that's whatever. I think it's fair to say TF2 and Overwatch were competitors at the time and rival at the time. Mm -hmm. And kind of leaving one to go to a rival leaves a bad taste in your mouth, which is whatever. Also, I, the, really I actually I think it's, just, it, it's a bit of trend hopping a little bit. No, but, yeah, well, listen, that's, that's the main part, yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, music was music was chasing the bag, and I don't blame him. TF2 is yeah. leaving its absolute worst update behind itself. The game was in fucking shambles. Players were hemorrhaging out of the game because of the terrible state it was in after the Meet Your Match update. He moved over mm-hmm. to the Overwatch, greener pastures, more audience, more growth. Like I, I don't blame the guy. Also, right? It was well, more. And then fun he left for him. Overwatch, and then he left Overwatch for Fortnite. <laughs> well, also, which is I, I, I also, checked his channel earlier. Sorry. I'm getting more views on a regular basis than he is. He has really. Uh, Fallen off, yeah. If you look at I his think, like, like recent, well, he also views, doesn't, and it's like he damn. also doesn't really. I mean, let's be fair anymore. here. At a certain point, like, who cares? This dude is like a. This dude has ten million in the bank minimum. Yeah, no, who, yeah, like, I don't, like, I don't think he cares like, that he's getting low viewership. Like, he has, he has, like, uh, yeah, the, he has, like, the, uh, the. It's just weird to think about. He's like the YouTube. Like, he has damn. like the YouTuber work ethic, but in a completely different direction. Because um, like when I I when I interviewed him uh, like a, almost a year ago now, which is crazy, um, he would t- he told me that like there was a po- there was he had a strict like sleep schedule because he was uploading once or twice every day, and like yes. gameplay videos, right? So he would he would wake he would because he lives in Australia has to upload in accordance to the time zone to reach an american audience so he would record oh, i his don't vi- care about he would record his video schedule. he would record his videos wake up at three in the morning post the videos go back to sleep wake up at 6 a.m three hours later and then repeat the process and he did that why because- don't just schedule it because that wasn't a, that wasn't a think, thing at the time. That wasn't a thing. Really? At the time. Yeah. No. 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 Oh that, wow. That, no. You couldn't schedule YouTube uploads, so he had to do it all manually. So he would do all of that, and he just did that for like months. Because if he didn't, he wouldn't. His his parents wouldn't see like his job as like a like a real job. So he had to prove that was like a part of that was his mentality. He was like I have to prove to them that this is real. Um, and that's like that's like crazy to me. <laughs> like as someone who's in like a similar time zone, that that the thought of doing that is wild. <laughs> I was just oh, just my saying, parents prepared. didn't care. Like my parents let me drop out of high school. They're just like, "You want to play WoW all day? Fucking go for it, buddy." <laughs> like the, yeah, I find I'm the contrast so funny. Multiple jobs. I'm still doing multiple jobs. It also just kind of keeps me sane. I, you know, like I've done. I do rural work, just to be quite vague about it here in New Zealand. Um, uh, deer are the most annoying animal to work with. Deer. Um, deer. Deers are they fucking are so, stupid. They, they are, they are so skittish. They will like panic so easily. Mm-hmm. And I even I even witnessed. Uh, okay, I need to put this lightly without demonetizing you. Uh, a few weeks ago, I witnessed uh, one uh, uh, self delete by oh. jumping into a metal gate. Oh, yeah, because you're fucking Ooh. stupid and giving yourself brain damage. Ah. You're fucking and stupid. it did this. It did this instead of going through a gate that it looked at a minute earlier. Right. What's that? What's that one disease deers get with age, where their brain literally deteriorates away? And wasting they do disease. Stupid, like, yes. Yeah. Wasting yeah, disease. Uh, uh, this had nothing to do with wasting disease. No, it was this just was stupid actually, fucking like, deer. Still a teenager. Deer <laughs> it was yeah, just it was a dumb hard. deer. Just a deer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I've, I mean, I've seen. I've smacked my fair share. I've seen my fair share of deer roadkill. They are not the. They're not the brightest animals. They taste good, thankfully. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like like sheep, sheep are basic and simple. You get one through a gate, the whole rest follow. Like maybe lambs that don't know how a gate and fence lines work, they they might get stuck along a. Fi- oh yeah, because what will happen with deer is that you get one through a gate and they have the follow mentality, but then some will start running along the fence line and they don't know mm-hmm. how the fence line works. So the the others on the wrong side of the fence will start running along the fence line, being like, "How do I get there? How do I get there?" It's like there's a gate right there. And sheep, sheep do not have this problem once they, they get become adults. Are they trying to domesticate deer in New Zealand? Um, we, we do. It's for farming, but yeah. Yeah. Weird. Venison, venison Domes- is domestication. Domestication isn't the correct term, but there is not farming really, yeah. here, like how there's farming. farming for rabbits. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. Back yeah. So back yeah. to El Maxo quitting. Yeah. yeah, I was just gonna say one final thing, but like the difference between kind of like the Jerba Musel thing is that when Jerma left TF2, it was due to creative differences and how he was limited in that, and he went out and expanded upon himself. You know what I mean? And to he, do more he ended up things. making some of the most innovative stream content yeah. that ever happened. Mm. Right? Musel, Musel it was kind of yeah, he just, just made the Fortnite videos for thirty yeah. video or thirty million views. Yeah, like there was a a clear. Uh, like it was the trend hopping thing that was brought up earlier. It felt like Jerma left for something he was passionate for, whereas Muzelk left for the bag. RT game that's actually, is another that's actually a good, prospect. That's actually yeah. another good reason why a lot of people leave is 
yeah, just wanting to expand your skill set because a lot of people even be like, yeah, this was this would be fun to have the skills to be able to t be a TFT YouTuber, and it is cool. But once you've done that for a while, you want to expand your horizons and yeah. your skill sets and what you're capable of. That's just like, it's just something a lot of people are naturally inclined to do, and I want to do that. There's other games that I want to talk about because, like, in the case of Maxo, he's been kind of losing interest in video games as he's got older and that happens to some people as someone who has a massive interest in game design and has dabbled in it quite a few times myself mm. that's not the case for me because i see because the way i just see that in of itself as an art form but that is there's lots of reasons for wanting to do it but it's the main the main kind of crux of it is no one can keep doing content on the same thing forever it, they're just going incorrect to... people can do I content disagree. on the same thing forever yeah i think yeah, people can um, yeah. good mm -hmm. good content on the same thing forever you're going to hit a low I, point i still eventually. disagree i also do. I no, think people there are guys maybe not literally forever up, but you can go 15 to 20 years that yeah. depends i think it depends like the fucking uh what's the dude um oh gosh the alan the dude you showed me that's like the survivalist who made the fucking house out of ice and and slept in it fucking Oh, Outdoor Boys. Yeah, he cuz he's been yeah. doing he's been, <laughs> yeah, he's been doing it for fucking like a like a, a decade, right? <laughs> the German fan base became worse. Like like Alan, he's been doing it for like a decade, right? Like a really long time. Yeah, he's he's been going on <laughs> like that for a long time. Yeah, and, and that, it's just <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really impressive, don't get me wrong, but it is literally just he he goes into a place and finds like a cool thing to do that's like survival related. But he kept us uh, uploading once a week for like 10, 10 years, which, which is, is crazy. Nuts, yeah. And you can have only recently no put it down to every other week. Yeah. Any 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 camping with Steve fans here? Literally all videos about camping. Oh yeah, he and, just and like camps camping. in the fucking of a middle like he a just camps in random places. It's fucking yeah. great. He's been doing this shit guy. for years. Yeah. And like you can even go into people who are like 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 a lot of people think are cringe. Like people who've been doing like. Uh, like, like people who have been riding like the the woke the woke media wave have been riding it since 2016. That's almost a decade, and they're still going. Yeah. Um, yeah, but in fairness, that's a the reason type why of you can do that. Involved. Well, the reason yeah. you can do that is because there's a constant barrage of a bunch of bullshit, right? Well, so it, it's like I wouldn't compare it because you're just given infinite content if you go that route. That's fair. Whereas a game like TF2, like there is no you know? infinite content. That's what people think. Now, personally. I got 300 ideas on a document that have never been made before, and I'm going to make all of them before I retire. Mm. And I keep getting ideas faster than I can make them. Mm -hmm. So I don't see a world where I quit, to yeah. be honest. I also... The same goes for me with just making, like, a, a, a video essays. I honestly don't think term. I'll quit. Yeah. I don't even think I'll quit. I think it's more just, like, phasing it out. Because even then, even if, like, I keep going with this, and, it does, and I phase TF2 out, I don't even think it's necessarily going to be like abandoned it can probably still come up because again there's a lot of things that i can bring tf2 up into where of just examples of different games like one of my biggest things in that are found in multiplayer game design is that i prefer class based over hero based because there's so much more like cohesion in that formula like what's the difference also, um, class the bases are typically with loadout weapon weapons that have different oh, things sure. for everything. Yeah, yeah. Class base, the heroes are just it, different that... new things, essentially. Yeah, gotcha, class, gotcha. class base is when the entire game is designed around those specific classes. Like, they, they do not add or remove any from that point. It just stays that consistent setup. Where hero, hero based is, you keep you kind of have a format where you can keep adding more. And that is a nightmare balance-wise, because there's basically no cohesion. Yeah, when game balance is treated like cosmetics. Yep. And that's why, and at least, <laughs> and I'm, I'm very much a gameplay person, like, and also me, the other benefit of class-based is that you end up spending a lot more time making these, those few classes that exist really, really good. How many yes. seconds are we into the video? Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Out of out okay. of. <laughs> what was up out of four. Out of three minutes. Out of three minutes and thirty seconds to go. Yeah. I'm happy for him. To Wait, move I think on I closed it by accident. Uh, yep, you're gone. Rip. Guys, Bye -bye. everyone, everyone, point and laugh at Weezy, please. Thank you. Hey, don't laugh at me. Can we get some pointing and laughing in the I chat. I get insecure about that. Don't wheeze at me, guys. Everyone, get everyone, <laughs> wheeze right now. 
I wish I could wheeze. I, I'm developing my ability to wheeze. I became happier recently, uh, and Alan hates it because I keep laughing really loudly in public. Yeah. Yeah, Alan hates it when I'm happy. Oh, welcome back, Wheezy. No, but it's like in Japan where you're not supposed to be loud in public. You're not you supposed know? to be happy in Japan. You're so right. You're supposed to be happy yeah. anywhere. What is, you what know is what? why 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 does chat have an uh, obsession with the horse emoji and uh, so do I? No, d the just, horses are funny. I, we thought we well, told we you. Brought up, we brought up we brought up woke politics. So I guess like we got a lot of Vosh fans in the chat. Don't. I, yeah. Oh God. Ouch. Don't comment on the on the peons in the chat, John. They're just there, okay. Chat saw horse girls, which like the most annoying breed of white I people. Also, I also just like like posting horse uh, emoji out of context. Uh, okay. I remember one time when I was A-list well, in TF2, and I just made my profile picture the horse emoji, and it was just like my Starry name Crows like, horse. doing it too. We're screwed. It's all so, over. Well, yeah. Well, we all we all know the song, right? There's no cock like horse cock. Oh, and no. your asshole. We did not all know Please. that song. Bad touch. We bad, do not. Bad who, touch. Who the fuck is we? <laughs> Don't say bad touch to that, too. That doesn't help at all. <laughs> we. John, what? Uh, I got good a touch. There. Wait, wait. An actual thing, John. Why do you still use the default HUD? I'll be honest. I just haven't bothered to change it. I used to not, and then when I reinstalled TF2 on a new computer, it just vanished. And it's <laughs> now if I install a HUD, it's just gonna like create inconsistencies with between videos. <laughs> so I can't be fucky. <laughs> I'm anyway, sorry. Uh, back to back. Uh, anyway, um, yeah. video, video time. Yeah. It's it's just video. It's, just watch the video. It's been <laughs> point. What, what's wrong? Don't Weezy, are you okay? Don't look at it, Weezy. Don't. It doesn't <laughs> exist. <laughs> just move horse. on. It's not real. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> it's not real. Anyways, something that's like <laughs> super home. disappointing to me. I'm happy for him to move on and try different things in his life. And I get that a lot of people are sad. A lot of people loved his content. And I don't blame you for being upset. It is... It sucks. It, it can generally suck, especially if you don't see it coming. It was very abrupt and sudden news after such a big a video of this. I think at his house. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think that uh, a TFT is interesting. Um, with the except... Who is the longest, like, currently active TF2 YouTuber? Like, Dane's probably um, up Dane. there. going. Mm, probably Dane. Like the Uncle Dane, it right? It is probably Dane. Probably that's Dabby, big and honestly, like, noticeable. Uncle Stabby's been doing his thing for a long, yeah. long time. Yeah. yeah. Like a lot of, uh, for whatever reason, the TF TF2 YouTubers, I think, last less, like, less long than other, like, niche community YouTubers do. Like, I think that, uh, I think, like, like Smash. I mean, Starcrow counts, too. He's been doing his shit for, over, for a fucking long time. So he's been, he's still around every mm. now and again. He throws something up there. Yeah. But, like, like. Yeah. Like El Maxo started in what 2018? Right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, like, like, yeah. Like six years, five, five. Or six no, years actually, I, no. I think it was sooner or later. No, uh, late like twenty twenty. No, 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 I think. Oh no, yeah, earlier. you're right. He started like around uh, uh, COVID oh, time. Oh, but no, he had like he had another he channel with a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, he restarted. Yeah, he in, like, restarted. Yeah, so like four yeah. four years yeah, yeah. then, right? Like that's like the amount of time like. Like, cause like Muselk was active or did like regular TF2 content till like 2017. That's when he finally stopped. So like three years. Like Star was doing his shit from like 20 uh, 2009 to like 2014. That's like five years. Like like people like obviously that's a long time to be doing anything. But it's it's not like for whatever reason people don't see it as like oh I'm a TF2 YouTuber I do this for the rest of my my life. That, like people, yeah. I feel for TF two seem to be like looking to branch out sooner than other other sure, creators. I think because they're all cowards, they're all uncreative bitches, and they don't know how to generate content that's never been made before. That's so or they get bored, but you know, Weezy, that's so true. Yeah. Every single one of them, every single one. That's right. There's not one person, not a single, not one, not anyone in this call, not a single t creative TF tuber on the planet. That's you right. I'm, 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 I'm going to make TF2 Reddit number 98,000 yes! now. Yes, I will watch I, it day I, one. I, Sorry, yeah? I, I'm, like, shocked a little bit that uh, no one actually tried to make, like, a sort of engineering 101 for Spy because both of them are such complicated classes. And that I was saying yeah. that idea for years, like, five Same. years. 100%. You're completely yeah. right. Like, 
I was waiting and waiting and waiting Mr. for someone Mr. to make Cal. an MVM channel and no one did. So I said, fuck it. I'm going to do it myself. And people don't like how I'm the poster boy for it. It's like, motherfucker, I gave you 10 years to get another person to be that poster boy and no one fucking did it. Mm-hmm. Okay, you gave me the fucking monopoly. Thanks, cunts. Yeah. And no one's done it since then. Except for that's right. I that's right. entire that's channel I'm, based around that, though, that like how a spy plays. Like no one the made it, no one made a, an iceberg yeah. video about items before Space Guy. Okay, that's Space Guy's thing. I did that out of spite, though. So somebody did do that before me. They just did a shitty job out of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally with you, Space. Like, how many times have you made a video? Like, you watched a video, you're like, this is this fucking that's awful. That's the most. Right, right, right. That is like the most passionate I have been making videos. Yeah, just, same. Like, like, I watch a, a shitty video. I'm like, ah, 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 I got to do it better. <laughs> No, yeah. yeah whenever was, whenever was, you have a very know. clear end purpose and a very clear end goal to your video, it makes working on it and finishing it that much sweeter. It's mm-hmm. like my my video about team recognition was one that I was like really really passionate about because I was getting so tired of people hand waving away being able to recolor the entire player model to a different color and thinking that's okay. It's like no, fuck you. It's not, and here's why. Yeah, like like when you did you when, see the spy yeah. coat. For the the new update, yeah, he talked. About I it. cannot, I cannot believe they thought that was a good idea. It is wild. I loaded it up. I put it on loadout.tf, and I thought the the site broke because I'm like, there's no way they let you do that in the game. There's no way they fucked up this hard again. I'm gonna start muting people in chat for horse spam. <laughs> no, keep going, keep going. There's no cock Don't like horse no, no, no. cock. I, I, my, 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 oh, really? Shut up, guys. Can you guys? I've, I've, I've had my my own chat be worse. I had like the ad incident. Where uh, my chat like convinced me to just spam ads because <laughs> they, they tr- like like actually you know the button that you could press yeah. where it, like plays and it tries to play an ad they c- convinced me to just press that button repeatedly because they thought it was funny. That's and that's it earned good. three whole dollars. I'm such a child, funny. dude. I fucking love this. <laughs> what about zebra? That's a zebra is just a better horse. Well. Well, zebras are not better horses. What are you fucking out about? You in, can't in ride every zebras. Since, in oh, every right, sense, right. except for you. How it? In every sense, except so for in the most the one that matters. Yeah, okay. yeah. It, like a, not even like aesthetically are they that yes, better? Yes, they are. Seen but they're so horse? much better aesthetically. You ever see an Appaloosa horse? You ever see a star horse? Nah. What? Terrible. What is a star? The zebras have terrible. It's got the star. It's got the star powder on their fed. You uh, know that? You see star, star horse, star horse powder. Horse tier list now. Yeah, horse. <laughs> oh. it's, yeah, this horse. I don't know that. Hey, you you ever see a horse, Shetland uh, pony before? Like God damn! Don't tell me zebras are even close. All right, close. all right. You you actually kind of convinced me. Also, I completely forgot to read Soup's uh, super chat earlier. By the way, he wants his money back. I don't know what that means. I don't know that, what that means. Was earlier, like, but wasn't that, for the twenty two? That was like that. That, that was like. 45 minutes ago. I completely forgot. It was 35, and I completely forgot. Why don't you have, like, notifications that pop up? I, like, hey, I, I do. you're a nice guy. I, you need to you need to make them more apparent. I, they, I don't want them to take up the entire I, screen. I hate that They shit. should. You gotta thank your fans. Okay, make... And do, like, a cute little animation of, I don't know, like, a they horse or up, something. They show up, like, at the my, right my below... My chat notification story. sound? Yeah? Yeah, you, you know what? chat notification sound is the Taco Bell sound. That's that. That yeah. would be awful. We cannot make that that happen. <laughs> Pretty good. Horse team. I, that reminded me when it, when it, when I when I used to like um because I used to try streaming on Twitch like a like years ago and I had like a follower notification with the Taco Bell sound effect, and then when I started streaming TF2 on my channel after I got popular, I would sometimes occasionally just hear that noise for some bizarre reason in the middle of the stream and eventually found out that people were following my Twitch channel at the same time, triggering it to happen. Mm. Unfortunately, I said that out loud when I realized it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that does <laughs> it do it. It a chain reaction. Yeah, that does do it. I used to... I, I used do to, like... Uh, oh, sorry, you go. I was going to say, just like how we've been talking a minute per second of the video now. <laughs> yeah, no, this is good. This Welcome is good. to UFR. This is a good... Yeah. It's been an hour. <laughs> Yay! An hour right. Just, just go... And all that. But the truth of the matter is, almost nobody can keep making TF2 content forever. Wrong. 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 Yeah. wrong. He said wrong. almost nobody. Wrong. <laughs> you can, you wrong. Can almost nobody. Wrong. That implies an exception. Big news. 
Yeah, no, I, I, yeah, we yeah, everyone, everyone, listen, uh, and the, I think the, a better point is that everyone has different tolerance levels for what, for how long they can work, do a single thing and work on a single thing. Yeah, like correct. Like p- there, there are people, there are Japanese old people who have, who are living in the fucking mountains who have been doing Japanese calligraphy for ninety nine years and they're still chucking away at that shit. So I think that like a person could make TF two content for you know twenty. I think it's possible. I think. um yeah, I guarantee you can clip this right now. I will be making TF2 content until 2030, minimum probably 2035. <laughs> I just had the worst thought. Could you imagine if you like died in a car accident and people put that at your uh, funeral? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, I will be making TF2 content in the year 2035. I'll be doing it in the afterlife, man. My soul will live on. My soul will be making... It'll just butt. be fucking... <laughs> my yeah, my soul. <laughs> Yo, my soul, like the, my soul will like be gambling. It's the spiritual embodiment. Yeah, they'll still be fucking farming Australians. <laughs> my soul will be gambling is crazy. Uh, oh, yeah, crazy. wait. I can't die in a car crash. I don't have a license. You can, drive you can still die in a car yeah, crash. Yeah, I can, can hit still, you with my car. I can hit you with a car. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I guess if I have a shitty Uber driver, then maybe. But I can cause I can a 60 mile pileup, and you'll count as two of them, it. right? I've had my fall for, I don't know, for two years now. Uh, have you died in a car okay, accident yet? Uh, really bad, really bad, re- really, really bad t- uh, time to do that. I'm, I'm just going to have to go. Uh, you have to go? Number twos. Oh. No, you can uh, go. I'll be back. I'll be All back. Right. I'll be right back. Oh, have a okay. I, I need to shit. I need to take <laughs> a, fat, love screaming a fat shit. A fat poopy butthole dump. Weezy, what's with you today? Weezy, you're more energetic so, than normal. Are you okay? Uh, I had a coffee and two Diet Cokes. Adderall? <laughs> no, no Adderall. Listen, after the stream, all right? We're fucking waiting off that shit. <laughs> nah, we're I, good. I, I was fucking with you. No, that dosage was way too high, okay? But we're good. We're off it. I haven't taken it since that stream. I've been, like, traumatized. <laughs> I saw the fucking pill emoji in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> pill versus horse. Who's going to win? Zesty, were you saying So that? I think something else that's worth acknowledging is that um, El, Maxo's a, El Maxo's a young guy. He's, he's a young man. He's, like, what, 22? And he yeah. dedicated four years. He started when he was 18, man. And when you're that young and you've like, you're coming to the realization that there's so much more to life than just sitting at a computer and playing video games. He he was, you know, he took his trips and what have you and took some time away and what have you. He's realizing like, Oh, I have a lot more that I can do. And, and and I get that. Like at a certain point, especially when you're young, you want to experience a lot of life when you're young and do a lot of things before you kind of settle into a long haul career. And that's probably another factor that kind of played into it because he probably came to the realization. I'm placing thoughts in his head, of course, mm. but this is just my this is this is what I went through as well when I was in my early twenties. Is um, you're coming to the, the realization like, oh shit, there's so much stuff I can be doing and experiencing. Why am I sitting here doing this one thing over and over again and burning myself out on it? I'm going to go out and explore the world, you know, ex- you know, expand my horizons and do other things while I can. In the time that's yeah, best I don't understand. I don't understand people who think like that. Like, I'm not saying you're wrong. I think the vast majority of early 20s people, I think they can relate to that. I can't. Okay, my dream is to live on welfare and play video games all day. I think that's the Bad. temperament you need. <laughs> I think that's the, the <laughs> philosophy you need on life if you want to do this job. I, Why I is know, everybody man, spamming think, um, ketamine in the chat? Like... My, for me, like my philosophy when it comes to to, or I, I think a better work ethic and philosophy for it is, um, you always want to be challenging yourself. You always want to be trying to grow your skill set, your abilities, and also just trying new things because not only is it good for your brain developmentally, it keeps you sharp, but also it just keeps your life interesting. I also and but sometimes I do envy people who are perfectly content on simply doing the same things over and over again with a routine. And, yeah, it's great. And, in many, and, and in many ways, it is lower stress. You feel better. You, you don't need a lot to be content. Or but, without a routine. You know, wake up at 2 a.m., go to bed at 6. It's fucking awesome. God, I can't, I can't do that shit. I got I to gotta have a solid sleep routine. No, nah, I get it. I'm with you there now. Hmm. I now uh, go to bed. I, I, like I, I, I suspect that um, El Maxo just wanted to, wants to do something different for a while, and I don't blame him. No, nah, definitely. He's... A hundred percent, the type to like want to explore life and do all that shit. Yeah, I th- and I, th- I think he's gonna succeed. Whatever he does, he's got the fucking worth that work ethic for it. He's and uh, something else, yeah. man, and something else too. Like, is he was I didn't I didn't watch his video or read his post just to why he's quit, and I just know that he did. 
But the one thing that people were saying is that he was getting burnt out on video games in general. And that's a very common sentiment I'm seeing across a lot of young people mm. because they're growing up or grew up in an era where video games are just objectively worse because it was more corporatized, more streamlined for cranking out as many games as possible. You had the advent of the live service model where you don't have to get creative and intuitive to have people keep playing your games. You just have to get them addicted to gambling and, and like Nicki Minaj skins. And so yeah. it's very easy to get burnt out on new games being offered to you when they're all derivative of the same formulas and they're fucking boring. There's not I'm not a lot sure of they look at it that way, though. I don't think they no, do. They, no, I, because they don't see that, right? Because they didn't grow up during the era where games had to be unique and intuitive and creative in order to get people to play them. Like They had to be good and unique and exciting from the get-go. Because once you bought that box, that was it. You had the cartridge, you had the disc, and that was it. It was final. There was no way for them to push a content update or to fix a bug or to put new stuff in it to keep people interested in the same title at infinitum. It's like that. And if you're growing up in that earlier time, you had so much exposure to so many different games and fun things, good and bad games, right? All of it's fun. Mm -hmm. But nowadays it's like, it's all, it's all stagnant. It's been, it's for me, it's felt stagnant since about 2018. Yeah. No, I'm with you. Nothing has made so me it's a lot enough, easier like, to get yeah. burnt out on games. Yeah, I yeah, that that's possible. It's just I feel like the kids today that are growing up with Fortnite, even though we could look back and say, ah, uh, you know, you probably could have had something better, you know, 10 years earlier. I don't think they would view it that way. I think those kids are going to hit age 22 and they're going to look back on Fortnite the same way we look back on like Minecraft or I don't know, Mario Kart or whatever. I th I think so. I think so. I kind of agree with that. Uh, but I think I think yeah. that the microtransactions like element will make it less uh, appealing Enjoy. to look yeah. back on. Um, like I I think that people yeah. like people look back on Clash of Clans fondly, but that's not because of the microtransactions. And if it ever is, it's because like they knew that one friend who spent way too much money on the game. And I think that's kind of the same sort of thing. But if that's all you know then is it, I feel like it just becomes a part of life at that point in the part of your gaming environment. I don't even think you I process agree. it as a bad thing. I agree, but that's kind of sad. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm with you there. It's, 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 I agree. You begin kind of realizing a bit more. Um, like, I, I think it depends how pronounced it is. I'll give you that. I, I think I think it's um I think you're I I, I have a bit, a bit more faith in the younger generations. I think. Where um, I think a lot more now. That's the. That's the. You have. Yeah. Like, uh, listen, listen, listen. Uh, I, I I lack faith in in younger generations in many ways, but when it comes to like being presented with mediocre entertainment, kids, youngins are very good at pointing out when something is not fun. Really, skibbity uh, toilet. Skibbity know, fucking man. toilet. Fuck yeah. off, Zesty. You know it's not no, true. No, you no, know no, 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 no. I, I fucking palates. <laughs> Zesty, I want to tell you. So, a like, I, I can listen. Listen, I, I consider that different. Like, Skibbity Toilet is a meme. It's a, it's a small, bite-sized piece of content you sit down for sixty seconds and enjoy. I'm talking about like toys, games, things that they're dedicating multiple hours towards in one sitting. They're a, they're very able to quickly realize whether or not something is fun because they're there to dedicate that amount of time to it. And if it's not fun, they're not going to stick around. I, I agree. I, I, I agree. You know, I actually think, agree. Here's the thing: if, if, they, if they think if they think the thing is fun, they will dedicate a lot of time to it. Yeah. I, and I, also, here's another thing: someone is like, "Oh, all, all the kids these days are talking about Skippy Toilet, dude." That's only the kids that are on the internet. Yeah. yeah okay. I, I, I'm going to say, say, I think Skippy Toilet's so a bad you, example. I'm going to tell you a true yeah, story. True story from I think like four years ago. All right, I was walking down by a like a local like farmer's market village i was walking back it was kind of like 6 p.m i just bought some groceries there were three kids who probably at the latest were probably around eight or nine years old right they're walking in the middle of the fucking road i live in a rural town so it's not that like big of an issue right then they go ahead a car almost fucking hits them because they're walking in the middle of the street they jump off onto the curb run back after the car passed them and then the shitty Fortnite days and said nana 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 missed me missed me I do not have faith or confidence in this at all. This no, is in no, real life. You see, this is online. You see, you see that? You see that is funny though. <laughs> no, it's funny because it's stupid. It's I don't so know. I, you know what I found funny when I was a kid? 
like throwing rocks at people. <laughs> Alan, you can't just fucking <laughs> not Alan. Sorry. I, I know. I know how. To, I know how to appeal to that stupid, that <laughs> stupid sense of just liking <laughs> stupid things. <laughs> He's just, I'm I mean, the spam is getting ridiculous. I'm putting people in timeout. <laughs> He's purging them. He's just just mass deleting I, I, people's messages. Bring it back. I'm putting them in timeout. No, bring back the horses, dude. Sorry. No, no, I, I, I have John. another thing where yeah, it's like, John. um, it was at a uh, stage thing where there were a lot of different people all of different ages, and I was just uh put to just like keep watch of the kids while we were backstage and just like, you know, just just keep just keep them occupied, and we occupied ourselves by just looking, pointing out everything in the room that looked like an Amogus. Like these weird lights in the roof that look like uh, an Amogus, and yeah, you, you sound like you have brain rot. <laughs> like, look, I'm just gonna be honest. Is that like is that the kind and the, of meme? The... Like, like we see people. Like people are trying to like I'm, actually contribute to the conversation and put their messages in chat. They're getting drowned out by emoji <laughs> spam. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm, I'm with you. Okay, I'm, I'm mostly just fucking around. And I actually I do agree with you that uh, the younger generation is is hated on a bit more. But I will say that yeah. when it comes to like the microtransaction elements. Like, if they add Skibbity Toilet to fucking Fortnite, bro, oh, yes, like, right. like, I feel like more people would be in favor of that than not. No, I, I listen, but here, here, here's something else, too, right? I think there's a cutoff. There's a cutoff. I, I don't have an exact hard line, but very young people. I'm talking... I, okay, here's... Here, let, me, let me adjust my, my, my thoughts here. So, yeah. I'm noticing from the age bracket of 18 to 24... That's where I'm seeing a lot of burnout in video games, where they they had they were like right on the cusp of games kind of being good and well thought out and developed, and then moving into microtransaction esports slop, mm -hmm. and they're coming to the realization like, oh fuck, things could be a lot better, and they're not, and they get burnt out on games and media and I, and other forms of entertainment a lot easier. But the much younger generations, where they've really only known the brain rot they're far That's less true. sensitive they're they're far less sensitive to something being garbage right i like, agree I, with I, that I, you, no I'm, I, I'm with him here i think that she's completely right on this i would also say i think it's also just the fact that a lot of them don't have the haven't developed to the point of realizing why that stuff kind of sucks like some might realize it sooner but yes because like I don't know, like, I've I've met once, like, uh, I think last year, with, like, talking a whole bunch about, like, just, like, Mario Wonder. Um, that was, that was great. I love, because, like, both of us would just nerd out about that game. Um, and it was great. But, yeah, like, there are, there are, there are some, some I've, I've seen some kids actually have still have some good taste in games, I reckon. Hmm. Um, I remember playing. Like, that, that's the thing, man, like, if they're person. exposed... Like if they're exposed to something that is a good game, then they'll like then they'll like be awoken, like whoa, this is fucking awesome. But if they're mm -hmm. only ever exposed to like, and especially yeah, nowadays, because just how yeah. pervasive it is in all forms of media, just uh, what I call brain rot, you know, like YouTube kids and Fortnite and and Skibbity Toilet. But if that's all they see, that's all they're gonna know. That's the point yeah, that I forgot who, who brought this up earlier. If, they, if that's all yeah. they know, they have no point of reference, and they'll think that this is fine. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Yeah, I've, that's I've, why I've, I like. That is literally I've the reason I like I think you're 18 to 24 age bracket. I think you're pretty bang on the money with that because I think that's the generation where like 18 we, to you know that's like early 2000s, right? So we got the taste yeah. of like the DS and the Wii and all that shit. It was a uh, you know, it was great. Games kind of became you got like to play Mario Galaxy based. growing up as a point. Like they moved forward from having single cell adventures kind of deal filled with kind of like repeat franchises with microtransactions that profit off kind of in the late 2015 2016 era i think i would say that's kind of like assassin's creed like four was coming out i think right like called yeah Duke i was Gillian. that's kind of yeah, like the dawn there. there and then and then 2020 we got like now you get call of duty with microtransactions inside of it mm -hmm. as well so you get the yearly franchises yeah. with like microtransactions inside and that's now sadly the expectation or normalcy of a triple a game the most popular yeah same thing with her uh early halo too like everything up to reach yeah. I think you could make a case for it. Yeah. So when Bungie took over, yeah. <laughs> or free for free when free for free took over, yeah. Yeah, with, yeah, yeah, yeah it was all over. Yeah. Free for free took over. Yeah, fuck. Thanks, Microsoft. Yeah. yeah I love yeah, Hi-Fi yeah. Rush. Thanks, um, Microsoft. Oh my god, that was like such a good. That was so. That's such a good game. The feel of that game is amazing. It, it. it made it caused it caused a chain reaction that caused me to buy the entire Devil May Cry franchise. Damn. 
Anyways, I, I heard we were watching two. this video. Yeah, a video yeah. happened. That's crazy. Who made it? No clue. Forever. Okay. Specifically, like, just content on, you know, one specific game. There are very few exceptions, I reckon. Like, you could say, like, Uncle Dane or Banny. But there are very few exceptions to people who Banny. just God, stick with it mm-hmm. for any more than, like, half a decade. Or, you know, what, or whatever, right? Just, it, it doesn't happen. It is, it is not a matter of if, it is a matter of when. For losers, yeah. For for some people, it goes. I mean, it goes back to what we said. Some yeah. people are content in doing the same thing their entire life, and some people aren't. It's just person yeah. to person. I, yeah, no. I get it. it. It does happen. It's just not like a like a like a TF two ph- psychological phenomenon. <laughs> it, it's just it's, it's just life. I mean, you could argue it's more pronounced in the TF two community just because we don't get that endless fucking stream of shit to do. But um, but by and large, I, I don't think it matters as much as people think. The, I think well, the, it was even happening. The decision. It was even happening though when like TF2 was being complete, com- consistently updated with like the TF2. Yeah, yeah well, people. that's what I mean. Is yeah. the it's being treated as like a massive scapegoat of like, oh, the game doesn't get any updates. That's mm-hmm. why people don't want to make content on it. In reality, it's usually just more like personal life matters yeah. most of the time. Yeah, almost always that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. And again, it's not a lack of... I already mentioned this here, but like in that video, but it's not a lack of ideas because, again, I have too many. Like, there are so many of them that will never see the light of day because, again, my videos just take too much to make and I will probably burn myself out b- before I end up making all of them. But there are loose ends so I'm, that I do want to at least tie up. Um, and this... And I do... And I kind of mix the really high production videos, the ones that take me two whole months to make with the... Ones that I can just make in a couple of days, and just an experimenting between how I do them because I like to experiment a lot as well, which also keeps me sane. Like the Uncle Dane podcast thing I did was like an experiment, mm-hmm. and it went better than I expected. People like uh, watched it more than I expected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah. I agree. Expectation you should have for whenever a new TF2 content creator comes up, myself included. And you can, it's easy to think that, oh, oh, that sounds so exciting to be a TF2 creator. If, if I got that opportunity to be one, I would cherish it and never quit. I would, I would commit to it forever. And it is very easy to think that. It is very easy to think that from the outside. But you will, you will get, you will get fed up with it, especially... I mean, this this is just work mentality, man. This yeah. is with yeah. jobs. This is with careers. Mm. You know, there's career yeah. stagnation. There's job burnout. This is something that people experience. It's, it's like, not exclusive to TF2 at all. Yeah, yeah, people talk about how great it is to be a billionaire, but typically a billionaire likely has to do a lot of things to stay being a billionaire. Like, it, do, it do, you don't just become a billionaire, and then you're like, well, that's the end of, well, the, that's well, the oh, end oh, of it. Although I'll just get used to it, you know? Yeah. It's like, also... Yeah sort of thing of why you sort of want to expand your capabilities that's sort of the impulse to do that because you've got to that point and it can feel like you want to be complacent about it but eventually you, you kind of just like you want to move forward with you know what you're capable of the you know the things you do i've learned like recently i learned how to do smear frames mm-hmm. in my own things like that's just an example of me constantly expanding yeah on what you're capable of doing yeah or yeah even returning yeah. to old things and earthing them up and finding new ways to do them yeah and sometimes people see their job or the the occupation they're in is like that's that's their their ceiling they're being kept by, from doing that or do they're being kept from improving because of the job that they're in and the people's response to that is always going to be a variety of things um like for me i i i I, I personally just set a new goal every time I make a video, like, oh, I want to achieve this with this video, and then I'm trying to continue adding on to where I am, because I don't want to ever see, oh, I'm a YouTuber, therefore I can't improve at XYZ. It's like, no, I'm a YouTuber, so I can use my job to improve at XYZ, but it's like a hard yeah. thing to, to find that improvement in. But yeah, I, 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 I yeah, yeah initial excitement and the honeymoon phase ends kill that fucking and engineer you begin having that pressure on yeah! you yeah. this is going to vary from person to person obviously when my main channel I like, oh, put a lot of emphasis on high production quality but that's just you know I like doing it 
but it will sure just you drive you nuts doing the same type of content on the on the same game this, what, without eventually trying to branch out or do something out. It, else, it will just drive you nuts. It is pretty much it's an inevitability right, with very few exceptions. Do Hang I on, I actually think um, I think you touch on something that's true there. How many people? I I don't understand how people make gameplay videos and keep it going. Right, because I, I understand for like topical videos, because like you know, there's so much shit to talk about, so many things to discuss. I don't get how you just be like, you know, you play the game. Oh, funny ragdoll. Oh, random crit for like 587 oh, videos. Oh, you mean the I don't lowest know how people do that. of content? Uh, I can't. Uh, stand a little that. bit of that. Like, I I think like I I know sometimes I like to do live commentary very sort of video sparingly but I no, that, no that's lot. fine and by I the way it's also fine if I you guess... want to do it forever but my point is how the fuck do people go on for like two three four years doing this shit and not going crazy mm -hmm. i don't get it i, I think they are crazy i i, I, they, they I can realize it well like that, that, that sorry no you go that or you, that or you just you just already start crazy mm. and you're already you're already just like good at just generating dumb shit happening. Mm. My friends even describe it that ever since I became a YouTuber, I have what's what I what we've just called the YouTuber bliss, where just strange things happen to me on a regular basis. Mm. Yeah, and no, they always yeah. revolve around me. Yeah, and I think the gimmick shit is best. Okay, people always criticize others for like having gimmicks. I think you need a gimmick for every single video, so you can have like a centralizing force. To make things interesting. Well, yeah, that's what I, I don't think you can just do like random, casual, down. funny, haha, -ha forever. I don't think you can do it. Well, that's what I that's what I was gonna say you, you about. spies a gun. Well, that's what I was gonna say about uh about the gameplay thing is like it, it's the same as you know making like video essays, right? It's the same thing, or like you, it's in, with video essays, it's like oh you find a new way to talk about a thing that's been talked about before, or you'd find a new thing to talk about. It's like those are the two. Yeah, but can you find a new way to well, get one shot by a random crit? Yeah, of course you can. Like, not you really. Yes, no. You absolutely no. Well, because the not experience forever. of every player is different, right? Different <laughs> angles, different yeah. reactions, different, different, different interplayer inter, inter, interplayer interactions. It's it's all different from person to person, so it's all unique. It's a, it's always a unique experience being offered when it comes to clip dumps. Like and that's if, why they're always so popular. Maybe. Like, what if your goal? Maybe. What if okay. your, What if the goal of a gameplay montage was to get hit by a random crit one hundred times in a match? There you. That's what I mean by the gimmick. Well, no, that, right? that's I'm what I'm always I, I pro gimmick with you. <laughs> Thing is, like, no, 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 no. When I say okay, my interpretation is like you don't need a gimmick, but you can like try to force things in game. And in my opinion, that's just like it might work in the short term, but long term, I uh, I don't think that's a recipe for improvement. No, you just have a new goal to achieve each mm -hmm. time with your with your gameplay footage. It's not like now some people like you know like Rabiosa or whatever they like they do just make gameplay. Like you, you release. Oh, this is the pyro gameplay. Like twenty minutes or whatever, right? But that, th that, that's not. I don't think what you're talking about. I do. No, that is what I'm talking about. Well, I don't. Then yeah, I know. I, I, I imagine that he just has a bunch of gameplay that he has normally, and just says, "Well, I might as well put this on, 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 on." Because it's not commentated. It's all uncommentated. So I just imagine he just plays the game and just puts it on his channel. He doesn't really have to think about it or emotionally commit to it because he, it, there, yeah, it doesn't have that emotional investment in it. I, I guess I that's guess, true. Yeah, I would guess. I don't, I'm not him, so. Yeah. But the people who cut out the deaths who... are cowards. Here, here's something you need to know. If you never die on screen, it never happened. True. If you cut Sometimes out the death, if you're at, if you're at two health and you're afterburned, didn't die. Cut out I, the I, I, I noticed something there, there death earlier. I remember actually in some of my live commentary, I think it was also prevalent on the video I the other video that I recently did on the second channel, where it's just like maybe just gameplay, commentated gameplay, and I didn't cut out the deaths just because I wanted people to see how I can screw up and die. That's good, dude. I made like, a, I just thought I it was a... in, the end of itself that was interesting, seeing how I could not, how, how I could screw up and die. So you remind me of like a fitness influencer talking about how you use steroids, right? Like, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, like oh, yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna be honest. Liver king. <laughs> Um, God, I need to do the, it is raining outside. Yep, it is. We, we good to keep going? I'm not gonna be yeah, now. we're good. We're good. Yeah, we're good to well, keep going. I think that this next one is going to be an exception. Have the expectation that they will eventually branch out or just stop entirely. And another thing I want to say is that them quitting is not a matter of running out of ideas. I've seen so many like people talk about how, oh, TF tubers are running out of ideas. Mate. This is stupid. This is stupid. Agreed. 
This is stupid, and I might make a video about it. Or, um, hang on, actually, well, hang on, listen to what he's saying. That people claim that TF tubers are running out of ideas, and that, like, one, that part's true, and two, there are definitely people out there who believe there's nothing else to talk about. Yeah. But I think both of those perceptions are misguided, yes. and they're built off of basically That's, nothing. Yes, to be, yeah, yeah, Sonic, I'm, I'm not saying that, yeah, all John's not next. stupid. No, yeah. John's not stupid, I'm saying that, that the belief <laughs> that TF tubers... Yeah, yeah. Or out of yeah, but some TF tubers do yeah. believe that. That's my point. No, I agree. And I think they're all wrong. It's case by case. I think it's more so instances of that guy ran out of ideas, not the entire fucking spear ran out of ideas, obviously. Agre like, agreed, oh. but those same people will blame the entire spear sometimes. Wait, yeah, yeah. No, 100%. 100%. And I, I, yeah, and they're full of shit. I know I said I'm not going to address chat, but I do yeah. want to bring it up because it's the whole thing I was leading to. Someone in chat mentioned people were talking to me that I ran out of ideas because I made a video about TF2's fonts, when the whole point, the whole reason I made mm -hmm. that video and the way it's framed is supposed to be me saying there is so much more to talk about. When commenters and people who aren't TF2ers say, oh, you've got, you've, this so-and-so has obviously run out of ideas because they're doing XYZ, usually what they mean is just that the idea doesn't appeal to them. It, they don't understand mm -hmm. why it could be interesting when it is interesting to enough people that they are in the video when watching it. Like it, they, it, be, it has some sort of popularity and they don't understand why. So they just assume, oh, they've run out of ideas. They have nothing to talk about anymore. When it's really that th that idea just isn't yeah. interesting to them. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Anyway, behold what I say next in the video. Yeah. I have too many. I, I am perplexed at the number of ideas I have for videos, many of these ideas which will never come to light likely just because I don't have the time to make them all. It is overwhelming the number of ideas I have. Uh, it, 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 it just shouldn't be. It, it is completely perplexing. It is completely perplexing. Like, I just should not have this many ideas. I'm picturing you, but like with a really big head. And you just can't walk around because your ideas are just so big and like your head's oh. weighing you down. I'm gonna... And, and then he's gonna kill, and then he, and I'm, and my kid's so big, I'm gonna kill you with my mind. I <laughs> oh, was, I was, I was getting more overloaded with all these high value ideas. I was more imagining you standing from like a whiteboard, and then on the whiteboard it says Project MK Ultra, and you get the CIA <laughs> board <laughs> director <laughs> standing in front of you. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, like, and it is overwhelming sometimes how many I have. I got all these ideas, man. I gotta try them out. We just need some experiments to run on some people. I, I, I just need to, I just Great need to do the idea. funny thing to do, to do the thing and people will love it. <laughs> I agree. Someone needs to talk about the walls in TF2. Yes. Let, let'll do it. LED walls. Actually, Zesty was kind of alluding to that earlier. Like, the fucking colors of the walls. I, uh, uh, spite is a great motivator when it comes to making videos. And I'm now <laughs> scripting a video as to what makes a TF2 map a TF2 yeah. map, because so many people can, like, it's like being able to visually identify when something is wrong, but so many people don't, like, so many people can't explain why. I'm going to make a video explaining why. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Zesty, if you ever, I was going to, I was going to mention this at some point. Zesty, if you ever, if you want help with the, 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 the font text stuff at any point, uh, let me know. I mean, yeah, because si like the signage the sign and signage stylization of that stuff is very, very important in yeah. TF2 as well, and it really, really sticks out like a sore thumb when the stylage of a sign is is wrong. Yeah, that's why when when people were yelling at me, stylization. This, when people were yelling at me about the you know the background of my logo, my, the the new logo, um, I was I I, I, I didn't want to put a gradient for that reason. It's because none of the other ones did, and it looked weird to me. Because it's like, just lying. yeah, it's pretty damn complex. Not gonna lie. That's also um, true. Yeah, I think again another thing. Again, this is something I've learned is the general thing of uh, bright thing get player attention. This is how you guide player. It is. Yeah. It is such a just like bright light people will look at. It is such like a key thing in making in level design that I've had to use like in inbounds areas are always. <laughs> Is like way better lit in a lot of my things than the areas that are out of bounds. Well, that yeah, that's because the yellow paint meme. Them. It's like fuck it, we want players to go on this ladder. Okay, let's fucking put a shitload of yellow paint on it. And to me, that's so like if you need a bunch of arrows telling people where to go, you've made a bad environment. There should yeah, be really a, good natural flow that guides the players, yeah. and it, it, it's a mix. It, it's a mix, right? You need a little bit of it here and there, and TF2 definitely has that as part of its style. Like oh. Arrow, red goes this way, but if you need so much of it and you have to adjust the lighting, you have to make certain areas brighter and certain areas darker, 
you've done something wrong. Yeah, I, I do think a problem with the whole like, oh, look at everything painted yellow side of where they climb. The people who are like the the biggest voices of that argument are also like the world's like most media illiterate people and like could not understand it at all. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like I don't, I don't disagree, but like when fucking like, hey guys, pyrocynical here, man. Look at all the fucking yellow like construction tape everywhere. Like my brother in Christ, you're at a construction site. Of course, there's gonna be <laughs> yellow tape and warning labels fucking everywhere telling you what you can and can't go on. God yeah. damn. Anyways, yeah, but that's like philosophies I've had. Yeah, out of ideas. I've seen so many like people talk about how oh TF tubers are running out of ideas, mate. Oh, wait, I that. have. It is Sorry. completely perplexing. It is completely perplexing. Like I just should not have this many ideas, but I do. And we should that sail is awesome North that America, I can have that many ideas. Queen and uh, but... king of Italy. <laughs> you know, I don't have the time to make <laughs> them. All. Just not have but yeah, this it, it is not a matter. Of I mean, every time I, have ideas. They I, had... I can't think of like the world's like history's worst face. We say I got too many I have, ideas. I just have too, I many, too ideas. many ideas. Just like, like every I, single I, 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 bad freaking history <laughs> comes to mind when you say that line. <laughs> just, do, 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 do you know um the? Oh, yeah, I have too many ideas for crimes to commit. But like um, there was this uh thought that I also had um after making this video is that do you get a lot of people with like any sort of topic where it's like all the good ideas have been taken, mate. Wrong. Never. Yeah, no, they're you, all full you, of shit. You, you're just bad at coming up with ideas. The only reason you think all the good ideas have been taken is because you saw those ideas happen. Mm -hmm. You didn't make well, also. Up with them. Yeah, something people need to realize is like, okay, go to your favorite YouTubers for other games that you play. Look at their videos and see if any of it can be translated over. Yeah. Right. Like mm -hmm. people only look at at the one game mm -hmm. when in reality you have the entire internet and all of the games that have ever existed. Go through their channels and see if there's something you can uh, A/B test there. Yeah, but, like, like even yeah. even even when I was do, like dabbling in game design, like taking like ideas from different games and merging them together is something interesting. Like I one of the things I made destroy was like compared to Sa versus Sex and the Hell a lot. Which is funny because I had never actually played Versus X and Hell be uh, before that. Yeah, it was I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Dying Light, um, Doom, and uh, I forgot there was one other. There was this one other old mini game from the Hive that no longer exists, mm. and it ended up being really fun. Yeah, no, I I think that um, I'm of the opinion that there is not a, a such thing as a bad idea. There's just bad execution of an idea. Um, like when you like if you have no, there's bad ideas. No, there's yeah, bad ideas. There are, there are, this is the toilet, the fucking toilet. I got a great idea. idea. Right? The, yeah. 1939. I got a great idea. I'm bursting with ideas. I got a both, both, both the idea and the execution. I feel are equally important. No, I'm. I'm. Gonna, I, I if, think if, that if, it's just the execution. I'll fight I back. Think, like, no, nope. Lucid. Hang on. The number one example whenever someone brings this up is imagine like could you make. Taking a <laughs> shit in your toilet bowl and reviewing it every day for two years. Could you make that entertaining? First of all, I said nothing about a time commitment. But secondly, uh, <laughs> iDubs ate, a, ate a, hair, a cake made of hair and, and for millions of views on camera and made it entertaining. So I don't want to hear it. That's whatever. I'm talking about shit. Like you go into your fucking That's toilet like the, bowl it's and like, like the, here's it's my like, shit. You, you could absolutely, you could, if you were willing to commit to the idea, you could 100% make that entertaining. I don't even know. You would watch it. You're telling me that if there was yeah, a shit reviewer on, on YouTube, you wouldn't watch that shit. What the fuck are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, I want to see the amount of corn. I, that's what I'm, <laughs> people would watch it. If there was like a shit connoisseur on YouTube, people would watch that fucking video. What are you talking about? And then people about? would be making their own <laughs> shit videos and then people would be comparing the turd likes. You know what? I think we got oh, a fucking winner God. idea right now. There is not a such it, thing as a bad actually? idea. There is just a bad execution of the idea. You want to start a shit review a channel with me, Lucid? I, <laughs> no. I think this is, this is something that um, uh, Mr. Beast pointed out is that uh, good ideas also still go a long way in the fact that like good ideas that people are interested in mm. can honestly reduce your workload mm. because you are working on really you're not working on really good ideas for more benefit just because you end up having using really good ideas and he he's sort of had that same thing where he just like has idea 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 and he just has to keep noting them down and mm -hmm. sifting through them to find out which are the best ones they are because like you can have an idea and the thing I'd recommend is when you have ideas like that, you need like some sort of like document or something somewhere mm. to store and catalog all of them. Because when you come up with it, it can sound really cool, but you've got to put it somewhere and just let it sit for a bit. And then you can figure out like, is this actually a good idea? Right. I mean, it happens a lot in game uh, development where it's like 
so many you'll end up having all these ideas but you can't immediately implement them you in mm. fact you shouldn't because you need to kind of like sit with it mm. and just let let it think like does this actually work is this actually a good idea yeah no, I, I, I um, yeah, I agree. There's also, it's also it's like games always have script stuff. There's a such thing as like ideas that are better for you than someone else, and vice versa. Like I'm sure Mr. Beast has a bunch of ideas that'd be really, really yeah. good if he gave them to another YouTuber, um, just because he doesn't have the skill set or or he doesn't feel he has the skill set to devote that time to that idea over another idea which he's a better fit for. Um, also, for the record, uh, Wheezy, you just reminded me there is a YouTuber who reviews shit on a daily, on like a regular basis, and his name is uh, his name is Zesty TF2. Uh, Zesty Jesus uh, mm-hmm. is basically a shit reviewer when you really think about it. I mean, isn't UFR just shit review? That's also no true. offense. That's Tonto. actually what we do. That's actually what we do. <laughs> no, no, this, this, the, 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 that video, that video that you're watching is just slop. Yeah. Well. Oh yeah, this isn't. Yeah, I don't know who made this. I I, I whipped it together in an hour. I want it to get did, out. It's good so, to be self-aware did, about that. I But you I thought this was made by John Too. You're John Toe. I love the Johto region. Ooh. You see. <laughs> you see. <laughs> oh hey, I'm back. Sorry, sorry. I'm step away. Oh, yeah. I, I don't even I didn't Zesty, even, would I you even describe your before, workshop so I, reviews yeah. as a, as shit connoisseur content? Um I would describe it as minimal effort. I, yes. <laughs> That's not what I. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I, I need to find a better I, way to. I need oh, to work, oh, I gotta, oh, sorry. Like we're, we're going back to talking about reviewing I, shit in the vault. Yeah, no. That, um, I was saying that's what you do. So we already have an example of a YouTuber who does that. Yes. Yeah. Every every item I look at is bad because I, I say it's bad. I really should have like workshopped that joke before trying it three separate times. Anyways. Yeah. yeah. It's all good. They sorry, I had to. Didn't they add a skibbity toilet cosmetic to fucking TF2? No, we're hitting play on the video. <laughs> not running out of ideas. There are so many ideas, and I keep finding new ground and things to talk about, or new takes that I can have on things. It is, it is wild. It should not be this way. Like you know, it's just perplexing that I have so many ideas, and maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just good at it. Maybe the people who do end up doing this are good at it. No idea. And that's about the point of the video where I talk about the general. Nice. We did it. We made it. Yes. We have made it past That's the John right. Hill portion. It took an hour and a half. It took us an hour and a half to watch four, four minutes of content. That's about eight. standard, honestly. Yes. I love yeah, that. new record. Yeah. Man, you speed ran that. You speed ran that. That was so fast. Yeah. Blinding yeah, I ended speed. I that whole video in one take, take as well. I ended up like... <laughs> Losing my voice in the middle of it. I just love. I love that you kept saying, "I have so many ideas." I just have so many. Yeah. Like, I just wanted to like. I just really wanted to like, like nail that in. Yeah. I just because really. It is. It is. It. It is like. I, I, sometimes I am like in like complete shock, like how many ideas I have because like yeah, like a lot of some I'm a lot of you. the a lot of the best like works will often have a result of result of iteration. And a lot of a lot of scrapped ideas. Again, it's like it's why you always find scrapped things in like video games. Mm-hmm. Even in my, I pointed this out in my April Fool's video. Mm. Um, it's like just to try and make it more convincing, but it is true that like, yeah, you can't just edit. You can't just do an idea the moment you get it. You kind of gotta let it sit for a bit. And then someone in the comments was like, "You can't just add things because you feel like it." And they're like, "Meanwhile, Ultra Kill," and it's like, "Dude, Ultra Kill has a, a scrapped weapon." Mm. It, it has scrapped features that yeah, every that game is moot. does. And Ultra Kill is really well designed. There's a word for that. It's called drafting. No yeah. way. I would never do that. No YouTuber would ever, would ever, would ever do such a thing. Uh, I agree. Things and scrapped it. Well, that was that was fun. That was a good. You know what we should do, Lucid? This guy in chat's right. We should watch the El Maxo fucking five hour sniper <laughs> oh. video. We need to do it so that way we could have the longest stream. No. Like, what's the longest no, episode we... of EFAP that's 100. ever happened? We could beat it. Weezy, I don't. First of all, no, we could not. I don't know if you're aware. There was the, the every every fifty episodes, EFAP does a does a special episode where they go for like, like it's up it's three parts because they exceed the max stream length three times over. It's like, and they're oh, fucking amateurs. It's like 36 hours of, of e-fapping. Listen, I will go back to the Adderall just to oh, do that oh, stream. I, oh, no. Uh, people have been suggesting oh, no. that we do uh, the PL Badwater 12-hour Adder- stream. No, Bro. no. Don't, don't do the Adderall thing again. <laughs> no, not again. I'm trying to find uh, the... the uh, Only for the content. 
Uh, Look, I have I've done stupid things for content before, but like yeah. I mean I mean the, I, don't, I was me. debating. Can you do mushrooms like on stream, but like <laughs> no. do you not get banned no. for it? No. No, you what, can't. What if you eat them and not, not you... consume illicit substances on, on YouTube without getting at least an age restriction? That's what I'm thinking. What if you do it in another room and then come back and then you know you're just kinda Yes, if you're if you're intoxicated or otherwise you know inebriated, and you're not showing you consuming it, then it won't. I think get that's you okay, right? Yeah, that's yeah. What you, I'm you, you just can't say explicitly, "Oh yeah, I just snorted four lines of coke." Like you can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just imagine cool. like Ryan's toy reviews. <laughs> um. I'm trying That'd to. Be great. Someone, you guys said that you had the uh, the summer 2024 like tier list. Can you send that to me? Oh, I just. Uh, it should be easy to find. I can't find it. <laughs> summer 20. Google tier maker. I, <laughs> Look at the stupid toilet scout card. <laughs> Ryan's. Oh, which one? Which one do you want? Do you want the cosmetics? Do you want the maps? Do you want all three unusual effects? Let's ones? go maps all first. I think. I think. Do I think, maps well, no, first. All three, obviously. We're gonna. Yeah, all, all three, but go for the maps. I'm posting them in the in the VC chat. Nice. I don't maps cosmetics, and I I could care less about the fucking usual effects to be honest, man. So there's the cosmetics. Yeah, I don't Thank you. I was ah, uh, that's the, see, that's the issue. I was I looked up the things in the the wrong order. Here is the unusual effects. They're all then nice. Um, here are the maps. Also, John, are you uh, are you piecing out? Um, it's. So for a bit, I was gonna do it until about five. All right, and then I'm probably gonna just like, just like yeah. I mean, again, I've I've lost it. I've lost it even worse before. I think I can find the clip. I'll find it. Okay, you want to know what's funny? I think the serial tier list is gonna be more contentious than this one. <laughs> oh fuck yeah! The, the oh no, the, I, th I think we're gonna get into some fist fights here because we all know I, CF2 cosmetics are serious business. I I I, I have know, or, I have already yeah. people. So people have been complaining about. Uh, or I shouldn't say people. A very small group of, of of individuals have been complaining that you know UFR is just too much of a circle jerk. You know we always agree with each other. We never argue. Uh, and despite that not being true, um, we're definitely gonna get into some arguments today. <laughs> Because I'm about to fight tooth and nail for this fucking MF Doom cosmetic. Holy shit! This MF Doom even, cosmetic. You will lose. lose. I, I even, will not. I, I didn't even know. I didn't even you know will lose. I'm sorry. We. Uh, All we, right, here we go. Can we start with the MF Doom cosmetic to get it out of the way? Because I've got. For it. Sure. Yes. Do it. Zesty, what is your argument for why it is a bad cosmetic? I don't think pop culture references belong in TF2 in any capacity. But the they stick out like a sore, they stick out like a sore thumb and do not belong. They have to be. There are very. Very few rare exceptions that do work, but they have to be tonally appropriate, thematically appropriate, and perfectly stylized for the game. And MF Doom is not. I got a counterpoint MF though. It's the same helmet used in Gladiator by That's Maximus. That's what I was. I fit, and fits but here's the, the problem: it's explicitly well. an MF Doom reference. It was made to be an MF Doom reference. If it weren't that an MF Doom point. reference, would it be okay? Yes. That is that that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> that, that doesn't make any sense. Because within no, the it, context it makes, it makes of sense. when it, within the con zesty within the context of TF2, none of the characters can recognize it's an MF Doom reference. To them, it's just a helmet from ancient Rome. But we're not talking about the, the, the what the Mercs recognize because that doesn't matter. What matters is it's sticking out as something that is not inherently TF2. It's not related to a per the person is the person it's referencing is not in any way, shape, and form even closely related yeah. or tied to TF2 in any way. And you couldn't even make an you couldn't even make a loose argument that MF Doom could be related to Team Fortress 2 no, in no, any way. Yeah, but what I'm saying is the helmet, like the the Ro the Roman helmet that that the MF Doom use predates T when TF2 takes place. So it doesn't so like for the in the context of TF2 it makes perfect sense that it would be there as long as all the other Roman Roman or like ancient cosmetics make sense. There's I Rick think Richter joined for a reason. Hi, hi Richter. I let Richter. What's join. up, Richter? What do you think? Lucid, about uh, Lucid, Lucid said he was looking for someone to replace the Janto guy. What's up, guys? I, I, that's not what I said. Thanks for having me on, Lucid. That Thanks for having me on, Lucid. Thanks for having me on, Lucid. It's good to see you, Weezy and Zesty. It's been quite a while since the last time Bro, I was in a call you, with you, both you, of you two. That, no, no, no. Your mic is dog no, shit right now. Why is yeah, this shit? Why is the mic Is it that bad? Hold on. Yeah, no. It's only like five. I can make mine worse. What are we doing this? That still works. Honestly, I like that more. Is this better? Mine. He's so 
far away. Okay, you're better off, kid. <laughs> How much is my mic turned up? Uh, yeah, yeah. I wonder if I have a Rick, funny mic somewhere. Richter, everyone in chat really oh, likes no. that you're here. Wait, what's going on? Everyone in chat is just really happy you're here, so I'm, I'm glad you can <laughs> make I, it. Uh, um, am I, like, too quiet still? It's, is my you're mic, like, so quiet, perfect, but you're perfect, somehow perfect. still peeking. Hey, Weezy. Oh, no, no, am uh, I quiet? Hey, what's happening? Listen. I should wait, hold on. Yeah? I want to use I want to use your argument against you. All right. uh, lava lamps existed before TF2 setting took place, and before the mercenaries or before TF like before the setting of TF2, lava lamps were a thing. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it's okay to replace Pyro's head with a lava lamp. No, the issue because then there wouldn't be content like in re in real life or in the world TF2 takes place, and it doesn't make sense for Pyro's hand head to be replaced with a lava lamp. It makes lo logical sense for d d whoever to be wearing a helmet. A a what if we put a lava lamp, lamp on top of his head? The, canister, the same thing cool. applies. <laughs> hey, why does that not make sense? He falls on his head and, and, and uh, no, he, he, he melts in the lava. I don't know, just turn noise depression off. And, uh, there so we go. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> no, I think if, sorry, you got, if, we're, sure. if we're going for like a lava lamp cosmetic, I think a lava lamp cosmetic for Pyro works fine. If you like replace the canister on the back of a lava lamp or just give him like a lava lamp out of his pocket, no. it's fine. I, 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 no. No. <laughs> No, but, you, you, you could no. you could incorporate a lava lamp kind of aesthetic with the backpack probably, but it would you could not just replace the backpack with a lava lamp. With back canister, people do that all the time. That There's doesn't make it okay. <laughs> what? Make it okay. Have, have you seen the salt in a fucking snowball dispenser with the backpack? Like, that doesn't make it that. okay. <laughs> The MF Doom know, helmet yeah. is fine because it, because it's not an MF Doom con ha ha helmet in the context of TF2. We only know it's an MF Doom helmet because we don't live in the time period of TF2. <laughs> yeah, but the what the characters also, what know the, doesn't but, really matter. Listen, man, Lucid, the context of the item's creation is that it's an MF Doom reference. And that's the only thing people are going to see it as. Most people are going to look at that and go, MF Doom! They're not going to look at that and go, oh, Gladiator helmet. Yeah, but we don't we don't judge TF2 cosmetics by how people look at them. Like, that's not, that's or like how by, no, it's, sorry. Uh, let me, it's definitely what? a more let me loaded rephrase. and like obvious reference to um, the Breaking Bad cosmetics even. Like, you, you don't look at Uncle Dane and think, oh, he's Walter White, even though he's using like the Walter White helmet. Yeah. Yeah, That's I remember having point. to animate Uncle Dane and then realizing that one of the cosmetics he used was a, the danger. a body. The, 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 yeah, the danger of realizing because it has the mustache. That's actually that's um, a good point. Actually, I, I'm pretty, uh, you know, abstinent in this conversation. I don't care one way or the other. But Zesty, I'm curious. Do you think the danger is a bad hat? No, because it still looks like something a mercenary would wear. And it's not such an on-the-nose reference that you look at that and go, oh, Breaking Bad. For example, another one, you have the JoJo set. Most people look at that and think JoJo. They don't think heavy as a soldier or a sailor, right? You have the Mario hat. You look. People don't think, oh, a ball cap with an E for engineer. People look at that and go, oh, Mario. You have the Stormtrooper set for medic. Most people... People don't look at that and go, "Oh, that's like armor for a medic." Oh, people look at that and go, "Star Wars, right?" If, if the Mario, it's too okay, so if the Mario, okay, well, wait, 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 just, wait, wait. I, if the Mario okay. hat were desaturated and like the same color as the fuck as like the team red, right? Or if it were team blue and it and it changed from an like, like if the if the 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 letter was like an R. And but it was like the Mario hat, and it was desaturated and looked like a TF2 hat, but except for the shape and the and obviously the the thing. And then when it was blue, yeah. If, it had if, to be, if more if, care was put into stylizing it, then yeah. yeah. Like if it was proper, the it was MF properly team colored red and blue. Added, it had like the red logo and the and like a B on there. The, that would be a lot better. The, they added a back piece to the helmet. Like the MF Doom's he helmet doesn't normally have the back piece. They added it there because it makes it more like a actual like the actual medieval helmet that it's based off. Of. No, yeah, I think no, I I understand. Understand that, but the problem is, it's the front. It is MF Doom. It is made to be MF Doom reference. Okay, can I? Can it, I just? It, it, lay it is MF out? Doom in TF2, just like it is Mario in TF2 or Star Wars in TF2. Yeah, but you could put Mario. I just, in TF2 I, I just, I just want to know. I want to know Zesty's argument. Okay, so I just, I want to make something clear. So it isn't necessarily what the creator had in mind when yes. making the product. It is how yes, the people name. perceive the product going in. The, well, of course, because the intention was to make it an MF Doom reference, and that's what people are going to recognize it as. Sure, but the but Breaking Bad one was also meant to be a Breaking Bad reference, yeah. but that, that one is more contextually appropriate. So it, it's more so based on the perception of, like, if you look at this, what does it convey versus 
the intentionality behind the person putting it in the game. I would, I, yeah, that's also that's also an important factor. I I don't think it is. I think when you judge a when you judge a hat in TF2, it literally you should judge it on its own merits. You shouldn't take how the creator intended it. That's irrelevant. That's nothing. And you shouldn't take how people interpret the hat. That's also irrelevant. You take how the hat looks. I, can, I how completely it is, disagree. I think the is interpretation in the is very important because it's it's what people are recognizing it as. If someone if someone if if I if someone makes a painting and they put it in an art gallery and then they tell me the painting means something but it doesn't look like it means that at all I don't give a shit what the artist thinks. And if, if someone walks into that art gallery and says I think the painting looks like this and I'm and uh, like I don't care. Like if I'm the owner of the art gallery and the painting doesn't fit the way that things look, thing I don't is, care who tells thing me. Thing is, lucid. The, the the problem with that analogy is that when it comes to paintings and art outside of the context of something that is well established, it does make it doesn't it doesn't matter. But the problem with TF2 is that it is an established tones and themes and stylization. And when you bring something that's pop culture modern and slap it into TF2, it is the interpretation that matters, and that's why it sticks out like a sore thumb. If it didn't have that context of how people recognize it and and, and know what it is then it wouldn't matter. But because people see it as this thing, then it does matter. It, but it shouldn't, though. Because, like, if the... If but the, that's a problem. But here's the thing. It does. Because of how TF2 is stylized and themed, right? What is... Why, why can a pop culture you reference can't, you not... You can't look at a cosmetic as just an objective piece of artwork. Yes, you can. <laughs> you absolutely can. Like, because you, 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 you look at... You, you, you like an overt reference sorry. to something. It's also just, like, open-ended enough to just not work as a reference itself. Yeah, if you like, don't... It is just, Medieval looking helmet. If you don't honestly. know MF Doom is a person who exists and wore that helmet, it just looks correct to you. That means that the helmet could be good for someone and not good for another person, which I don't is know. stupid. I think it's. Uh, I do think it's. It's still a '60s mercenary wearing like a gladiator outfit. Well, yeah, yeah. but if you have an issue with that, then you're you should also be consistent and have an issue with all of the other gladiator and and yeah. medieval yeah. things. There's like a lot, there's I mean, a lot I of like, 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 like seeing how it ages. Punk had that video talking about how. Like Robin Walker said, the Shogun pack was as far as they were willing to stretch it. So I, I think that is like it clearly exists on like the well, brink of what the yeah, Shogun is not a good example. Really <laughs> well, yeah, didn't no, he say like the white glasses were like that was too much? Yeah, and they added in a fucking banana. Too. Well, no, like they are a little silly because Demo Man doesn't have two eyes, so why is he wearing? No, but it, if no, oh well, uh, yeah, I that's, think that's the part, problem. I think that's part of the joke. Um, but no, I think if um, <laughs> someone said Richter's really loud. Um, <laughs> no, no, it's a joke. The joke, no, the joke, the joke, joke. joke. No, I was gonna yeah, say if, if Zesty's argument was that like, oh no, all medieval stuff, all medieval stuff is bad. We would not be having this discussion because it would just be a, like a completely. We'd be no, it's not my argument at all. Yeah, that's not that's not what Zesty's saying. So that's not I don't... an issue with me. I think it's case by case. I think in the MF Doom example, like I said, it stands out on its own if you don't have any like correlation or recognition of it as a medieval esque helmet, right? The engineer cap is a lot worse. Though. It brought more joy to RTF2 than it did hate to Zesty Jesus' heart. Yeah. So it increased the joy in the world. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. The Chungus meter has, yeah. has gone up as the <laughs> Chungus meter, meter goes up, the, the world is content. Meter. Exactly. Yeah. Like, like Zesty, like Zesty, if this, this, it doesn't even look like his actual, like, mask, right? Like, is it, because his actual, no, no, wait, 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 I wasn't, I meant, like, color-wise, like, like, they could have, it could be, it could have been a lot worse. If they had just slapped MF Doom's mask at a TF2, it would be bad, but they didn't, they recolored it, it normally looks like, 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 Platinum silver. No silver and chrome. I yeah. I understand that, yeah. but to me, it's it's still it's still way too much of an on the nose reference. If you didn't know if it was MF Doom, would you think that? You know, there's if a, I was completely I oblivious, I think, to... if you had no idea it was MF Doom, guidelines somewhere where they say they they don't own Star Wars, so they can't put Darth Vader's helmet in. I think I think the MF Doom helmet is like, it's probably closer to Darth Vader's helmet than it is to like the Breaking Bad cosmetic. Here's the other thing I think was it's honestly it's yeah that, that's that's also a very good point, Richter. Out. What? I think it's Richter. Think it's Richter. That's also a very good point. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, I I, I I also agree with you, uh, John. But like Richter, I, I want to expand on that point before we lose it because the Breaking Bad look isn't unique to what's his face in Breaking Bad because it's a hat that a lot of people wear. It's a look of goatee that a lot of people wear. It's glasses that a lot of people wear. It's not just a it's not a specific character. Right, it's something that you would happen to expect the engineer to wear just because he has the hat and glasses and facial hair. 
I, but, but it's also it's a someone, But if to someone knows sure. about yeah. the reference, like yeah. the reference is, it's literally called the danger. So you're yeah. necessarily impl- putting in someone's mind. Yeah, if you've seen Breaking Bad, you know yeah. that it's a Breaking Bad reference. Bad. Like it's it's an over reference. I think here's Everyone the thing, right? When I first is the MF Doom mask, is it all class or, or who is no, it's no, just, just demo. demo demo. No, okay, just so demo. That's that's the thing. Also, is you can take the danger or whatever it's called, and you can make like other loadouts with it. Like I, I explained, like Uncle Dane, he uses it. You would never fucking know. But like, what am I supposed to yeah. do other than put the MF Doom mask on the black guy and now I'm MF Doom? Like, that, well, that's a that's like a you know, that's like I, a, I, in my opinion, that's an argument of like all class versus you know not all class yeah, and like the cool. flexibility you get that isn't really tied to like the creative implications yeah. behind it. No, I, thing, I, here's, I, my, here's, here's the thing too, man. Yeah. The cosmetic a man who wears the MF Doom mask. What else can you make with that? You could make it. I don't make know. a normal but medieval that, loadout. That applies to me. Yeah, but that applies to a lot of shitty cosmetics. You could make a normal medieval loadout with it. You, you, you just can replace it with any medieval yeah, helmet. It, it, it does. It does apply to a lot of cosmetics, and I'm not trying to make like a sweeping statement. I'm just like, uh, I understand where Zesty's coming from. Like, it's a little ridiculous. It's a little. No, I think Zesty's argument's completely it's, different. I also it's it, it's extremely on the nose, and it exists too much as a reference rather than something you would expect the mercenary to be wearing. And on the opposite side of that spectrum, is, mm-hmm. is that you you're you're saying that about a game where we've had like Aqua Teen, Hunger Force character cosmetics. Thing is, that doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't That's matter. It doesn't matter. What about them? It does matter what the public perception of the game is, even if you I don't give a fuck about the public I, I, perception. I also don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Zesty on this. I, I actually don't, don't think it matters at all. It literally yeah. is irrelevant. So, it is irrelevant in the same way that the the creator's intention with the cosmetic is irrelevant. I'm not trying to say that like you need to factor that into like your personal opinion, but uh, you have to look at the fact that when when you when you stand up next to this game that's been about dressing up mercenaries silly for 10 years and you're like i actually think it sucks when they dress the mercenaries up silly like at a certain point you're the uh you're the like what's the, I'm not... like, the guy the guy in the, the uh... school, school key, the <laughs> yeah but i no, but i think he's the guy <laughs> zesty's the guy who's saying it's all bad yeah right? no, yeah none design. of it is good like like fuck the fuck what has been happening right. all of it is bad like tax evasion has been happening for decades. Uh, it's still awful. I think all the silly cosmetics should be gone except for the banana, so I can feel more special. No, but, fuck uh, you. that's it. Zesty, what, like, what do like, you have to say? It's, it's not, guys. It's not so fucking black and white. Please stop painting me this way because I don't need more people like jumping down my throat. Zesty hates fun. I don't. I don't need more of that. <laughs> I think. Well, I'm actually. Right. I'm. I'm more so curious because I get your point. I just. I wonder where the line is. Like, why would the danger be acceptable, but not a medieval mask or the demo knight? Because again, when you look at the danger, these are things that are not a unique, specifically defined character's design. Like, there is a difference between the Mario hat or Darth Vader's helmet and. Like what type? Like the the, the way, like fedora, glasses, and goatee. That's a more like, generic, yeah. general thing that can be stylized and used for a lot of different loadout potential. It's not you look at that and it's only Walter White, right? Okay. When you whereas you look at the MF Doom mask, that is MF Doom. Or you look at Darth Vader, that yeah. is Darth Vader. Yeah. Like Lucid, here we go. Here's a great example: Minnesota Slick. Mm-hmm. No, no, very common hair, very common hairstyle. Smoking a cigarette, mm-hmm. slick back blonde hair. Mm-hmm. That is not just specifically that character to that movie. It's yeah. a nice, subtle nod to a movie, to a, and it's a reference. But it's also something that you would expect multiple people to have, and it's something you expect the mercenary to be wearing. No, no, I understand. I just, I would put this hat in that category. I don't think. I think it is. You're drawing an incredibly subjective line between. Like the because this hat is this hat is not just MF Dune's mask. It has been adapted to better fit the aesthetic of TF2. It is not just the Mario hat. It is not just Darth Vader's helmet. It's been changed in some way so it can better fit the other medieval helmet cosmetics. You're drawing a very subjective line between when the hat when the helmet looks too on the nose to you, but to me it looks fine. I want to um I want to mediate because I think Zesty's pointing out something that I do think is like real, which is that the the reference cosmetics in TF2. I think have gotten like lower brow over the course of the last like 10 years. It used to be, I agree. oh, these are like the glasses that Kanye wears, but it's like, eh, it's not really. They're just kind of like uh, shutter shades or whatever the hell they're called. Now it's like, mm-hmm. oh, well, here's your new cosmetic case where you can be Gordon Freeman and, and MF Doom. It's getting, it's it's gotten a little bit lower brow, but I, I think that's uh, partially because people are just I I, I agree. flexing what TF2 can and should be. Uh-huh. And, uh, it's, it, that's... It'd be it'd be upset to get mad at it because it's been ten Hello? years. It's been Hello? Can you hear me? Hello. Welcome back. I, my my internet shit itself. Sorry, Richter. I agree that it's gotten worse. I just don't think this is an example. I think this is really good. I think this is like the best possible way you could have integrated this mask into TF2. 
Because I, I also disagree because it's also making a nod towards something that just does not exist within TF2's time frame. We're, we're not we're making already, a reference to a guy who was relevant in the 90s and 2000s. But the, but the helmet is already a reference to an old helmet that did exist. Like it's it, 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 it doubles. No one sees that. Like people look at it and go, "MF Doom." You just said you don't care about the public perception. Yeah, like ten did, minutes ago, you just said the who cares? About I, said, that hey, no, no, I know. I know. I I went back on that and said that it does matter. I don't. I disagree. Yeah. I don't think it matters at all. <laughs> I had to just like if the helmet I... would have existed at the point in which TF2 was made, and we're gonna be okay with the other helmet cosmetics. I don't see why this one's bad simply because a person, a, a pop culture figure, wore it after the fact. So, Lucid, one thing I do want to ask you, though, is, like, what, what, like, relevance does the MF Doom Gladiator mask have to Demo Man? I don't really, I don't really get that. It's, it's not about, it's not about it, it being related to MF Doom. It's not Doom. about it being the MF Doom one, it, it's just it's, a Gladiator mask. It is a Gladiator yeah, a helmet. And even that, why does, why does Demo, I guess, I guess he's Because a Demo, Demo Knight. Knight. Demo Knight Demo exists. Knight. He's been so getting Gladiator shit for, like, ten years. Because you could, like, take the Mario hat and go, oh, that's just a hat with a brim. But, but yeah, it's not. No, but the issue with the Mario hat is that it has overly saturated colors. If it were changed to fit TF2's aesthetic more, it would be fine. I wouldn't care. Uh, even I'm kind of, uh, if it looked, I don't know. If it looked I like the fucking Brawl Mar Mario hat, where it's does like it, um, saturated does it one in fine. TF2 doesn't have the M? I forget. It has an E on it. has it. E, it has an e, e, right, right, right. I, uh, if it were not maybe. bright That's fucking red, it'd be fine. Or if it were team color. Mario's hat. It's like really... You can, no, I'm I'm kind of with Rick. I think Mario that pushes the line. I think. Freeman. At what point is this just like Super Smash Bros, man? I don't. Know. I think I, they, I get the point. Yeah. I get the point. I'm like actually kind of in the middle. I think this one. Um, I think it rides the line. Yeah. Right. I feel like this it, is a it's far too close for me. Exactly it, it crosses like, it. Uh, ten minutes. I think the Mario hat. Oh yeah. More, yeah Rick, I think the Mario hat would be the the Mario hat be more acceptable if it didn't have the E on it. Where like it's a tongue in cheek. Like look, it looks like Mario's hat, not it is Mario's hat. So I agree. Like, I think the lettering it of looks the Mario like hat. MF Doom's hat, but it's not MF Doom. Yeah, you know? I'm I'm with you there. Zesty, I I do you at least understand my position? No, of course I understand your position, but we're just I I just disagree. So you, I, so the issue is that you think the public perception of the hat matters and I don't. I don't think it has any relevance. I think it's a much more important factor here. I yeah, no, I I just don't think it matters at all. So when I first saw this, I do not know who MF Doom is, but I could tell that it was referencing something because it does look out of place to me. Thank you. And that's even if I don't know what it's referencing. Really? Uh, that's fascinating. I didn't know that. Uh, really I feel like if I ask the average person who doesn't know what uh, like who MF Doom is, I feel like they wouldn't be able to pin that this is a reference to something. No, because clearly it's supposed I've... to be like some ancient helmet or something, but it's like it it's got like weird that. parts to it that aren't like the stereotypical ancient helmet. So it has to. Yeah, be but you something. could just write that off as like some goofy TF Doom. I recognized it as a gladiator helmet first. So it was until a friend pointed out, "Oh, MF Doom's helmet." Yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah space. It? That was my exact feeling. Yeah, too. I didn't know. I didn't know it was MF Doom helmet. I didn't know until I saw a fucking Reddit post. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, I, I think it's just a difference in standards, ST. I, I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you put it wherever you'd like, or we can just leave it unrated because well, it's, we're so okay. Off how base. about this? I think it looks garbage, anyways. Okay, can we That's go? Actually yeah, my main gripe with it. You look at the yeah. concept art; it actually looks like so shiny and fucking sexy. And then it goes into the game; it's just this like fucking worn down, rusty copper. I think it's gross. I don't like it. Can we? Can uh, we? Can it's we better. Base it's the like if we're if we're if we're rating it now, it's better than the shitty sticky bomb knight helmet. So I would say, at, like based on tier? aesthetic alone, if it Bigger wasn't a reference, tier. I would put it in C. I'm fine with C. I, yeah, I'm I agree. fine with putting it in C tier. Yeah. I, I, I if it were me, I'd probably put it like a tier higher, but that that's okay. fine. Okay, I can know. I give you? Here, here's another one where it's like a big object theming. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. The wait, Robo Buddy. Wait, 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 wait. Before we wait, before we get wait, 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 wait. Before we get there, I have two super chats to read, and one of them is okay, important. Go for it. Uh, so, uh, first off, little Go little goober super chatted five to say in game dev the best people to play test your project on are kids. Uh, I don't know oh, if I yeah, agree. Yeah. Um, I probably think they're an important demographic to play test your project with, but not like the only thing. There, there are two. There are two. Yeah. yeah. There are two. That yes. And people who are really good at breaking games. Yeah, like game testers. On my thing, there's this one guy, build, one guy, Builder Fifty, who was really, really good at breaking maps. Mm. And he, but the best part is he would tell you exactly how he did it. Like he was, he had a knack for being really good at finding exploits, like pretty much instantaneously. Like he has a reputation with that, but it, that meant he was also really good at correcting them. 
Yeah. Because he'd tell you exactly how he did it. Also, a person in chat who tell who's telling us that we're taking too long, uh, th go somewhere Welcome else. To UFR. Go somewhere else. This Welcome isn't the, the podcast show. for you. Also, I, also, show. also, I've been telling Zest, uh, I've been telling uh, Zesty that I wanted to talk to him about this helmet ever since I heard his take on it, um, because I knew he wasn't gonna like it the second I saw it. On the, so I got in. So I, was well, like, I just, I genuinely thing. think, it's like, I'm, I'm very much in the middle on the discussion because I really think this cosmetic does ride that middle, mm -hmm. but just like on a fucking, like on a visual basis, it just doesn't look good. Right? There are like <laughs> five Devilman helmets that look better. I think, I think it looks fine. And, but yeah. It looks fine. And can I say one more thing about it too? Mm -hmm. There's something that rubs me the wrong way of referencing a real world person, deceased or not, mm -hmm. in a much more modern context. Someone who is entirely unrelated to the game and had nothing to do with the game and doesn't fit with the tones and themes and stylization of the game in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. I also just think that's inappropriate for TF2. Really, if you're going to be making a nod or a reference to something, you want to keep it fictional because the game is fictional. And then if you're going to make a reference to a real-world character like TF2 does to a certain extent, like, I guess, Abraham Lincoln inventing rocket video, jumping, uh, if you want to get video, comical uh, like that, mm. they bring it into the realm of fiction instead of it being like a direct real-world reference to something, yeah, right? I, I can I can agree I can agree with that. Uh, I would just I hope you'd be consistent with things like, you know, Elvis hair and whatnot. <laughs> I think if I think... you wanted to take the uh, like cynicism to like its natural conclusion, right? And I'm not saying I actually believe this, but you could even uh, like when, when did MF Doom die? It was like October 2020. Pretty recently, 2022. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, mean, I don't even know. If that. you wanted to just me. put on your ultimate like asshole glasses, you could say, well, this guy just used like a deceased person. Well, that's like a deceased that's what... celebrity's like. <laughs> that's a nice to uh, to get to make money off of their. Well... Richter, that's uh, that's literally what the super chat's about. <laughs> the next one, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't even. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Also, you could raise your mic volume. By the way, this is it's a, it's a, it's a, it was a good bit, but you can you could come back now. Can you? I don't know. I didn't realize it was so quiet. I shut up. Yeah, give us like another fifty percent more. Also, just real is this? Uh, can you give us like, uh, like about a seventy percent <laughs> less? Can you like turn yourself down more? No, sh shut also, up. Real, did this also, uh, did this make it any John better? Yeah, that's better. Um, uh, probably yeah, a John. bit lower, but you're good, John. Hello. That's a real quick. Uh, I I uh, I think I might dip now. All right. Um, I am beginning okay. to. Okay. That, Take do care. Me. I'm gonna. Take care, yeah. John Toe Hill too. Yeah, John Toe. Thanks for being here, for being here, dude. Two hours. Pokemon Gen Two. Enjoy Welcome two back. Sleep. I'm going. I am going to jet now and sleep, and then have to look after edibles. All right. All right. See ya. Richter, I found it very funny when you came in. Oh, I'm here to replace that Jonto guy or whatever the <laughs> fuck his name was. Well, okay, so for 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 reference, I I said, hey, when Jonto leaves, do you want to join? That's all I said, and then I said, like, oh, well, he's. He, I wanted you to be here for the like the summer stuff, so you can come back now. Are we yeah, doing like a funny. tier list or something? I didn't even see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tier list. yeah. yeah. I've just been listening to you guys bicker. It's kind of fun. That's, that's next that's one. The enjoyable lifeguard wait, body cosmetics. No, no. Uh, Slimeaku super chatted ten dollars to say, "Would you say it's wrong if someone made money off a deceased person, even if there might have been intent to pay homage to that person, or even if the cosmetic isn't fully associated with that person?" If you were, and, uh, and I'll let you guys go on this, but if 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 you were to say that, you would have to be consistent with all of the other dead people. Like just because you would, I, I don't know if that's necessary. Maybe Abe Lincoln like, like feels somebody, bad about having a yeah. Awesome. Somebody who's been dead for like seventy years and is like a revered, you know, dead cultural icon is a little different than a guy who died like a couple months ago, I, right? I, like in terms. Okay, of, so uh, if we wait fifty was, years, we can add it in the game. Yeah, I was gonna when say. Was, when, yeah, when, time, time is a factor here, very much so. I agree, but that, uh, yeah, wherever people wherever people draw that line is going to be arbitrary. So that's why I don't like using that as like a metric for like morality. It's I like, don't know if I would say it's arbitrary. Well, no, okay, so how one alive Richter, how many feels sorry right Richter how many years does someone have to be dead for for it to be okay to use them in a TF2 cosmetic well obviously there's no like direct objective answer to that but like nobody who's like related to Abraham Lincoln is going to see that Abraham Lincoln got added to TF2 and get mad and want to sue Valve over it I mean, that's not going to happen I mean, okay so, wait, so I, the threshold I, I is more, has, living relatives. has living relatives has living relatives Oh, let's hear what Zesty has to say. Mm -hmm. I can give a more direct answer. I would say uh, it's probably long enough if anyone interacting with the game was alive when the person was alive and remembers them and experienced them and would always and would feel you know sadness and, re and remorse for their passing. Okay, so right. So MF Doom too early. Whereas a reference to Elvis, everyone playing the game, or I would I, I can't say everyone, but like a, an overwhelming majority of people of the people playing the game had no emotional attachment to Elvis because they weren't alive when he was. Mm. They like his music, they know he existed, but they weren't around to experience him as a person. 
I, Elvis also lived and died in the time that TF2 takes place. So it's not um like like MF Doom was born after TF2. Yeah, but that's 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 a different conversation than the one than this one. I um, think it's relevant. Uh, it was relevant to the conversation we were having earlier. It's not relevant to whether or not it's honorable to p put them in a TF2 cosmetic. I don't. Yeah, think. it's relevant well, to the if, like, if the it's appropriate. I don't know if I'd say anymore. like honorable. Like obviously, like if someone sat down and wanted to make this model to yeah. uh, you know commemorate like a like an artist they really like, I think that's honorable. But it's a matter that's of whether crazy. it's like appropriate. Oh, yeah, that's, well, cool. that's the thing. One's about the morality of using a dead guy to make money in a game, and then the other one's based on like what is the creative implication of uh, of like that design existing in the time frame that TF2 does. I yeah. think they're two separate I, arguments. I I think that the uh, that the MF Doom. I think the with with I I don't like it to applying time to it. Um, I think that on a moral level, it really comes down to the individual and their intentions with it. Um, I don't think it's probably a good idea from a from a uh, optic optics point of view because people will make that 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 they will say that um people will project onto the cosmetic that a, a bunch of different feelings they have about the person i don't think that has anything to do with morals as much as it does optics and whether or not it's good for the social climate i, I don't know if i'd say the intentions are all that matters there's like a there's like a saying for that like the good the, the road to hell is road paved to hell with paved, good intentions yeah. or whatever that's like a I don't know if I would agree with with the idea that well, as long as they meant well, they can just destroy everything, and it's like awesome. Well, I think Lucid like, would make the argument. Not to say this is like a great said. destruction. Yeah, yeah, but I think Lucid would make the argument that you're not actually on the road to hell. I think that's yeah. what he would say. Yeah, no, I was I was just gonna say like if you if you genuinely were like, oh, I like MF Doom, I wanted to make this cosmetic for TF2, and then I don't think that you're a bad, I don't think that is morally wrong if your cosmetic gets in the game. Of course not. Of course like, not on the individual answer. person, but we're discussing, like, whether we personally believe it was appropriate for the game. Well, no, I don't think it's, a, that's what I was saying, oh, I don't okay, think it's appropriate for, like, the social... For very quickly. I don't think they're... What did you say, Zestin? Sorry. I said, uh, I can see who made it, and I can probably tell their intentions very quickly, let me see. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I was gonna say I just I, pulls I, out the encyclopedia. That, my whole my chapter five. Who made this? My whole thing was just that uh, I I think that I don't like it for the social implications because people will project their feelings onto it and it's and that's not a good thing, overall. That's my, I think. That's my um, thought. I'll be honest. When it comes to like the visual designs, I'm like uh, I'm not as hardcore as the rest of you. I don't think I'm very much someone where it's like it, you know happy. If I wear a fucking banana, no I was shit. Gonna say, look at your say fucking profile <laughs> no, yeah, but it's like I don't. I really don't take it seriously. That doesn't mean I think that uh, silly cosmetics are like innately good or innately bad. I just um, like I can look at something and be like, ah, that skews kind of negative or ah, that skews kind of positive. Mm -hmm. Whereas I feel like you guys have a lot more staunch opinions on it. I'm just not wired like that. I, I think well, I, I probably think was a lot more negative. staunch about it at one point, but I've come to realize that the game has been about like silly dress up longer than it's about like been about like, I at least yeah, in terms I've, of like, the just... public public consciousness. It's been the silly warfare hat game since like 2011. So it's it's it, it, you kind of look like a like a staunch asshole trying to be like you can't well, add. No, no, no. It doesn't mean you shouldn't abandon the standards if you do care about them. And of course not. Of course not. I, and and I care about them, but um. Like it's, I've it, stopped caring. Why would you That's die? Why would you die on a public hill about it? Is what I'm kind of saying. I've I've stopped caring, and now I just focus on like what does the cosmetic actually look like, whether or not, as opposed to whether it fits in game or not. And and I know that's probably like, do not trust me to pick cosmetics because I I fully understand that's a bias I have. I, I think almost every like rule you could break regarding TF2's art design has been broken for a very long time. So at this point, probably the main thing that I just don't want to see is like cosmetics that break the game or make it hard to tell what's going on. Yeah. Well, I, I think I, I think disagree. you can make My the standards case. Are higher. I also I don't want to see I don't want to see fucking Nicki Minaj running around or fucking <laughs> like a Taylor Swift shit. I don't like I like yeah, not, not every not rule has been broken worse. yet. My stand I also think that the the art style is important to be preserved regardless of uh Well, obviously the art style is important, but like uh you're you're facing like mounting odds. Like the art style well, not, the art care. style has been different for so long that people have created this like new rhetoric about how it's evolved, which I just totally disagree with. Well, so it's like if, if, no. if, if, if people have fallen in love with the quote unquote evolved art style, like and it's been the quote unquote evolved art style for ten years. There's a, there's yeah, a point where you're sort of clinging onto threads that like barely exist anymore. Yeah, I, I agree with that, but um. Like, just from a personal standpoint, I've kind of lost the motivation to be like, that actually doesn't fit TF2. And I'm saying that, it's like, I've, I've spent a lot of time, like, like trying to dig into and better understand TF2's art. And I've come to realize it kind of doesn't matter when they're just going to add MF Doom next week. Like, I don't know. So, yeah, let me let me understand. So you think it is an admirable effort, but you just, it, you also view it as a futile effort. Am I understanding? I, I, I do, because honestly, at this point, I'm just happy that the game is still there and I can still play it and it's still fun. 
I'm with you. So for me, I found it to be an incredibly worthwhile effort mm -hmm. because when you set a standard for what's good and what's not, you, you just start getting better stuff in the game. And that's something that we've experienced over the past few years. Like, mm -hmm. ever since that, more Don't you wish ever, you were like, able to do that ever, 10 years ago? Oh, of course. Like if, I wish, if you were I there, I, if I you were there, there in 2013, the... you could have saved the game's art style. So. I'm not saying that I could have saved the game. I think if more people started speaking about it sooner, <laughs> then it would have we would have would have probably gone in a much better direction. Yeah, I also yeah, that's probably true. Like, I also, I, I'm not taking credit for this. Just the fact that more people started talking about it after the disaster that was 2021, then the direction started going in a much well, mm -hmm. it started going in a much better direction. Yeah, higher quality content started being added. Generally, yeah, you know, there's still some sneakers, but yeah, Zesty and people like him have had a tangible positive effect on the game's cosmetic culture. Unironically. Um, and I know a lot of people would disagree with that because Zesty is funny boogeyman. But I like, haven't uh, I haven't spent enough time around like workshop creators to know. I'm not talking. Like, I'm not talking about them. that. I'm I'm not talking about like I'm not talking about within like the workshop as like a as a monolith or anything. I'm saying like the the people's perception of the game and its art style and the knowledge. He's of He's probably it. pushed it a little bit closer yeah. to its origi original original <laughs> well, vision. I'd say probably it, it's, it's just had a positive effect on like the 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 perception of it. In my opinion, I think. I think yeah. Well, in in fairness, yeah. I think it is. Like it is fair to say that a hundred percent happened, but I also think that the the criteria that everyone could agree on was a lot more uniform in twenty twenty one because at that point it was just a fuckload of fucking like Christmas tree hats and like fucking I don't know jingle bell belts or whatever the fuck and, and um, pumpkins and skeletons yeah, yeah. and bats yeah. and Christmas trees and. Uh... Everyone hated it. You could think Zesty is like you know an evil transphobic pedophile and still say those hats blow dick, right? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't, it, it, like, I feel like there was a, a unanimous community effort there. And I think Zesty did lead, lead it to his credit. I think it was a, a good thing to call out. But I also think it probably would have happened if other people called it out too enough. Mm -hmm. If it manifested in the key sales, probably. See, these are all talking points I supplied Wheezy because if I, if I said yeah, them myself, he, I'd he be called a Zesty nut hugger. So. Yeah. That's right. Hey, listen, you're, you're... <laughs> I think the helmet looks okay. Yeah, I, I honestly, I looked at the picture. I actually looked it up after you guys had that like giant discussion. It's like it's fine. It's whatever. I didn't realize it had a back when I first saw it. I thought it was just a mask, and I thought it was. It looks shittier screwed. in game though. That's the it issue. does. The I saw the picture. I, I saw better. the uh, the actual like workshop icon looks kind of cool, but the yeah. uh, the one in game is just like we have like five of these. Yeah. No, and, that, and, that, and, and that's all done intentionally and by design because most people only look at the first workshop promotional image and then vote right away. They don't bother thumbing through all, of, or most people don't bother thumbing through the other images to see how it actually looks in game. And that's I why I'm know. very. Yes, yeah, I feel like you get a little conspiratorial with like, well, it's actually an intentional plot to no, no, carefully dude, concocted the fucking. Like, I don't, Richter, I don't know, man. Is. I think they just no. this guy made like a Reddit hat. Like it's fine. Victor. I, dude, you're talking to the guy that has been neck deep inside of these workshop circles for years now. This is something that they intentionally do with paint overs inside of Blender, inside of Photoshop. They intentionally oh, make maybe. cosmetics and maps and unusual effects look better than they actually are because it's an advertising point. And because if you and have I'm higher volumes, sure. I also you think you work for that. I, I, you, you're positive. right, Zesty. You are more like uh, you are more experienced in this sphere than me. Like undeniably, I think I'm like, pretty sure Zesty has chat that. logs to back all of this up. I have tons of chat logs yeah, backing so this up I'm from actually, people yeah. who have 50 fucking hats in the game that they intentionally yeah. make their workshop promos look the way they do so people vote yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, I think I'm more inclined to believe that is SD on this one than not. Well, and I, mean, why I, I believe him, but also like uh, I, I guess, and, and I'm not trying to like poke holes in your shit, SD, but like, does it not at least to some degree make sense that they want their ad to like look good? Well, of course, because it means more money for them. I, I think because, the problem there would be if they were being deceptive about something. Like if, if they just like, oh well, we rendered it in Blender instead of uh, like TF2. As yes, long as there's actual TF2 this. screenshots, I think that's fine. No, as long as you this. can actually see what it looks like in game. Thing is, I don't think necessarily that. making like cool graphics means it's like a act of deception. Thing is, like, it's 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 not just cool graphics. It is work being done in Blender, paint overs in Photoshop, idealized situations and pieces of artwork that don't actually show how the items look in game. Look no further than that flame mohawk we just got is the unusual effect where the creator only took idealized angles of that screenshot to show the flames, but it's a 2D sprite. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the scout head on, there's just no unusual effect there. Wait, really? And when people were calling out this workshop on that, they turned off the comments. Wow. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Whoa, wait. It's 2D? 
Yeah, so Mohawk is a Wait, hang on. So, yeah, if you look at it, is it like looking at a fucking silhouette of Mr. Game and Watch in Smash? Yeah, it's just like the whole thing is fucking voided on the side. Yep, and if you look at if you look at the person, if you look at the person straight on, you can see nothing. We're talking about which cosmetic? The Mohawk, the scorching, the flame Mohawk, unusual effect they just added. It kind of so disappointing. I thought that was cool. I mean, I like the article effect a bit weird. No, I like I like the cartoon effect more. It's kind of how I wish scorching and burning flames would look like actual cartoon rather than just like. Half Life Two Fire. No, I enjoyed it, but it's two D. Damn. Yeah. That's just not, a point yeah. And when the workshopper was called out on it, he just turned off comments Rip. because everyone was calling this guy out on it. I think, uh, and I, I'm not. Um, I don't know if you guys have already talked about it because I can't see the actual. Also, like, 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 you have Here to list. love this thing that Shonik did in his video. What Shonik did is he had this to the turn one time the he scout. Had to move it. Yeah. yeah. The one time he had to turn the scout to <laughs> show the effect. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, have you guys seen the, oh, uh, the, the Pathfinder cosmetic for Soldier? That one stuck out to me. It's like, what is this? What am I looking at? Uh, yeah, that well, that Soldier set is a fucking can tragedy. We, can we oh my god. Think... Can we get back to the okay. tier list so we could actually go through these? Yeah, let's these go. Yeah, yeah. Um, can we yeah. talk about the robot one? We need another Wait. fucking tangent. Yeah, the, the oh, fucking... The, this one? The the first, this one with the, 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 the helmet? Aim the, frame? Yeah, yeah, no, that one's a... Aim, no, that the, one the, is the, a... No, 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 sorry, sorry. The, I don't have stream up right now. Oh, um, you mean... Oh, the pet. The, the little walking... Yeah, the little walking motherfucker. Yeah. I... Uh, that goes to D T A principle. Know. Can we make it? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I it does do not, not it, like... That should not be in the game. It's bad. They could have done. There's like some hints of like. Uh, there's. I agree with it that it's uh, like silly, but there's some some hints of like cute ideas. Like he'll bring the demo as booze, but he'll bring the sniper as mug. And he'll bring I like the, that. Uh, that's, uh, that's okay. Cute. There's they like a, there is an the element of creativity. I just fundamentally, just on a principle, I do think. not like any pet cosmetics. It would be I fine if trash. it were Hall Halloween. And by no, the way, I also don't though. like have the, like having a fucking like stuffed animal on your shoulder. I also don't like those ones. That's I don't so know if I like the idea that like any cosmetic that's like stupid, you can just make it Halloween and it's fine. Like, is, is Halloween about robots bringing so, you drinks? So, like, I don't really get that. So even even as a Halloween cosmetic, it's a terrible idea because here's the problem with this cosmetic. Just objectively, not not art style standpoint, not how cute it is. Just objectively, traditionally, when cosmetics extend outside of the hit scan hitboxes, this is going to confuse box, the, the fuck out of new players. Why does this guy have a pet that's following him? Is that like a little yeah. mobile? Let me finish. Like, it's what important. Is that? It's a, Richter, Richter, you just you can't just say that, right? And people go, "Oh, what's he talking about?" I'm not confused. You have to explain why okay, these well, let's cosmetics hear you explain are intentionally restricted. Okay, everything when he's about to explain. Rick, you told him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So listen. Yeah, like, when cosmetics yeah. extend outside of the hit scan hit boxes, those have been traditionally Halloween restricted because when players see thing, they be they expect to be able to shoot thing and have it register. Mm -hmm. So when you have these large extensions outside of the player model that are not inside of hit boxes, players try to sh shoot at them. They register no damage. That's why Valve Halloween restricts these things. And then when they get crazier and crazier and crazier and extend out further and further and further, they become even more appropriate. And this robot extends outside of the collision mm -hmm. hull, where yeah. you can shoot it, where yes. you can hit it with nothing. Yes. And it's not even Halloween restricted. Yes. So that alone is means this item is entirely inappropriate for the game. Yes. And then, so that, also from the, from the main point that it's going to fuck with new players. And if, if it fucks with any player, shouldn't be in the game. Mm -hmm. And then we have yeah, the other problem. Oh, and, and one more thing, one more thing. And then we have the other problem is for veteran players, it's adding more visual clutter on the screen that's moving with the mass that is the mercenary. You yes. don't need more stuff moving around on the screen that is one, not shooting at you or not being shot at you like a rocket or a grenade. Yes, we it, don't need more visual clutter in this game. It looks like a separate entity. It should not look, it, there should not be a separate entity it, it, it's, that is like an, an anomaly walking around. Maybe I was, uh, maybe I'm like a staunch like asshole for this, but it's like the same problem I had with uh, when they added like that tank for the soldier. I was like, well, this is like ridiculous. Like, if I was a new player, mm -hmm. I'm thinking, oh, well, this guy is a fucking tank. I need to like focus this guy. Like, I obviously, like, like most people who've played the game won't have that concern, but like, seriously, like, like think about that. They added like the soldier can get in a tank, yes, and then that actually like means nothing for the game. Like, correct. imagine how confusing that is as a new player. Yeah, no, no, I agree. That's also a problem. Yeah, no, the 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 fact that it looks like a separate entity and therefore confuses both veteran and adds clutter and there and also add something else that looks shootable but isn't actually 
Like that 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 alone puts it in. I, I can even find like there's probably like edge cases of like the game. Like they they have, they have robots like this on uh, like like RD asteroid, right? So you can totally confuse mm-hmm. somebody running around with this fucking well, thing. And they, it's one of those. Yeah, but I don't think is that even a queuable game it's a, mode. It's a, beta, it's a beta map in the rotation. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. That's why I said it's an edge case. But just like 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 just just as an example of like a, a way that this is misleading and could be confusing like in gameplay. It, yeah, if you come from Overwatch or pa- God forbid Paladins to the to TF2 and you see this, you're gonna assume it's something important. Well, okay. Okay, I, I've never played Overwatch, but like, do they have shit like this in Overwatch? Do they have like no. a little robot that follows you around but isn't no. important? Whoa, whoa, like that's, no. that's like wait, weird. Wait, no, no, they have, they have, they do have other entities that that it, like matter. I'm trying to like pull actual. Like like Symmetra's MIDI turrets for it, is there like the like Contra or whatever the fucking Overwatch girl's name is? Does she get followed around by a little robot that you can't shoot and that's useless and just confuses people? <laughs> I, no, I don't think so. Contra. But there, but there is part, but there are parts of Overwatch's character designs that do hang off of them or come yeah, very that's far. That's what I was trying to. That are just, to that just cosmetic. They are. Like, oh my it. god, I hate that argument. I hate I the argument. Oh, game, a game old. Therefore, it's okay. Like, and I he will says, say. Oh, New pe- new people playing a seventeen. How how many people watching right now started playing within the past year? Guaranteed, at least one person. New people play this game because it's fucking free. And also, good. I think uh, I think conceptually and design wise, a robot is cool. The fact that it follows you around on the ground is a bad idea, though. It's like a You've had... drama thing. I don't know. Yeah, but there's been like plenty of like mascot cosmetics before that are just like on the character's shoulder or just hover above the character's shoulder yeah. they could have just done that and like have a fresher instead of a wheel like the fact that follows you around the ground you know what actually i've got a i've got a prediction and a prophecy to make we're gonna get a five nights at freddy's related <laughs> cosmetic next no. summer <laughs> no we're getting it for halloween no oh we might get it for halloween Holy. zesty you're probably right you're probably right we're gonna get a fred bear or whatever the fuck his name is that's his name we're gonna get a fred bear we're gonna we're gonna get the fucking <laughs> duck fred bear there's gonna be a little Fred Bear animatronic yo, yo, that follows the heavy around. Look, we could like I, I there are no bad ideas, there's just bad execution, okay? You think there's no Nope, there are bad ideas. What no, the fuck are you talking about? We could we could You put think a, a little Fred Bear following heavy around this could be a good no, idea that if is it was bad done execution. Right? You could take Fred Bear, make him team colored, uh-huh. desaturate his colors, put him in the pocket of the engineer, and then we there we go. We already have oh, yeah. Teddy Roosevelt. That is correct. I think... I d- that is literally an exe- That is the non-FNAF execution of the same thing. But if it were FNAF, it would be just the same. I do think F tier is a bit harsh because, like I said, I like the design of it. I like the details with the classes. It's just I, the I fact think that it's poorly it made. It's it's probably it's kind of technically impressive. I, I don't know if I've ever seen something the fact that follows the player around like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm fine. The problem is it just around. follows you on the ground. If it was like hovering over your shoulder, if it was like on your shoulder, it would have been a lot better. It's it the fact not that it follows be, you on the ground. Like, I think the no, fact, if no, it were hovering that, on your shoulder, that would also not be anything higher than F tier. Put it back. I'm kind of with Zesty on this one because I think there is. I like there is a line that you, I don't think you can cross, okay, and that is listen, genuinely listen, we'll having negative effects on the game. We're gonna put it in F tier, but I need everybody in the call to say one nice thing about it, so that the no, it looks, it feel looks nice. It is technically <laughs> impressive. I, the, like all the shit about it is actually very well done. Said, it's just it has one really big problem of actually affecting gameplay, and I think that's enough. Like that should never happen. Who, never. Who said? I agree with you, Weezy. Who said that the ro- there were robots that delivered health packs and embargo? Was that Weezy? Yeah, that was me. Is that true? I like that. Is that real? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's I like that part of the map. If that were what this, if that, that map, if, we are, if that were what this were for, it would probably be much better. No, but that's even worse because imagine using this on embargo. No, 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 uh, no, no, well, no. Wait, 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 wait. I was saying instead of it being a cosmetic, if it were like in a map and it was the and it was like a replacement for health packs, that would be. Cool. Oh well, it's already there. Like imagine, yeah. imagine those robots, but they're carrying oh, health packs. The sa- so wait, that's what's on embargo. Mo- oh, okay, my bad, my bad. I'm pretty sure it's the same model. I haven't gotten to play embargo yet, so I'm sorry. No, yeah, I could be wrong. Drunk down, but the robots on embargo are the same, more or less. They also just don't have a plate, but it's the same. All right. Uh, what the 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 this this cosmetic should go in at least D. This I forgot. Oh, the engineer shirt. Yeah, you look evil shirt. Yeah, it's it's really it's, poorly it's made, kind of poorly hideous. modeled. The color is terrible. It's just really bad. I would say D tier. Yeah, I I, I, I want to put it in F because it's just no. There's no. Worse. Put it in D. no it's, it's, it's just whatever. It's so whatever. Uh, yeah, put it in D. The 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 multi the the. The one that's a different cap for each class. Brand loyalty. Uh, I would say that yeah. was the so, second right. best cosmetic. I would say that's the second best cosmetic I we got. I, in this really, you know, I, I was really confused seeing the. Uh, I was really confused seeing the icon for it because I was like, "Is this, this going to be a fucking stick of hats on top of their head?" <laughs> like, that would be so fucking. I was really glad no, that that was not I, what that was. I like the variety, but it's just a baseball cap, dude. Yeah, I'm, I would put it I'm in saying, A, not S. I'm, 
I'm, I'm giving it a B tier. I'm saying C or B tier. It's just a it's baseball. A, it's not a. It's not very creative. I'll say that. What? No. It is literally. It's, isn't it, it has the enough only, variety. Isn't it the only all class that works this way? No, there's plenty of all class. No, no there's, there's other all class ads that do this. Oh, okay. My actually, you know what? I'm looking at it. It's it's actually not bad. I like I yeah, like that it uses nice. some of the it's real brands. A-tier. That's cool. It should be. It, it, no, no, it, 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 it could be an A tier. I wouldn't be mad at that. We're talking about okay, okay, I think, to this case, right? We're talking about okay. We're outvoted. We're outvoted. It's at least A tier. A tier is fine. Also, yeah, A tier is good for it. It's it's a lot more tactful. It's a it's a more tactful way of doing like the gimmick that the that one cosmetic set did, which was like. Make scout like a make scout a, a a fast food worker. Well, like, like scout probably isn't a fast food worker if he's a mercenary, but he could have like a hat of like a fast food place he likes. Like that. Was that the sense. ticket boy set, or was that something else? No, ticket boy says a different. No, thing. ticket boy says yeah. it like the the yeah, fast yeah. food fryer. That's a much that's older set. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah, that's it. Uh, Archer super chatted five euros. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. And said, wait, I don't know if this has ever been brought up, but uh, Bottler2000 has custom code. In fact, Valve reached out to Raposa, the guy who made it, and to help them add it. That's alarming. That's not, That's not shocking, though, considering how it is. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, that means that Eric That's Smith actually makes $4 that, like, million. Dollars, uh, this. Eric Smith, who made f- makes $4, $4 million a year, had to go in and code that. Isn't that fascinating? Are you spreading misinformation again? Uh, is he? Is it for? Is it not four million dollars? Somebody told me that. I don't know if that's real. Someone told <laughs> sources. I made it the fuck. No, up. no. Somebody like Valve's. Uh, like Valve's. Um, they're like fucking. They're shit leaked. They're paid. They're, they're paid. Yeah, yeah. Pay oh, okay. My bad. Then. Uh, somebody. Somebody was telling me that Eric Smith gets paid like four million. Maybe that's not the actual figure. I don't know. <laughs> just like, he gets paid a lot. Just said he gets paid a lot, and he had the in order to keep that going. He had to code this. Uh, this robot. How does that make you feel? That's right. If you didn't code the robot, it'd all be over. Guys, press one in chat sure. if Richter is stinky. Uh, anyways, this next. Well, Lucid, I came onto your podcast I... and you're, you know, engaging in this dog piling <laughs> and mean uh... activity. I just don't really appreciate it, to be honest. Oh, I, I, noticed, uh, I noticed you slipped that sniper hat in F tier. Good choice, because that sniper hat's fucking awful. Yeah, uh, I don't yeah, know. no, that that should. I, I I was gonna say D, and then I was like, no, we made an F tier. It should go down there. There's also a lot of hats that look similar to it. I, that's like the one thing I don't like. I just want hats to be unique. I don't want like repeat hats. That's like the worst thing a hat can be. It just looks. Hang similar. on, is that uh, is the next one the heavy chest like the yes yeah? yeah. Sure. I think that's like a C or B tier. It's like whatever. I think it's B. I think it's, I think B. it's pretty it's, good. Yeah, it works well B. with a lot of things. I think. Yeah, it works yeah. well, but it's, it's not small. Uh, that's like, like that a one. lot of the things that have the cosmetics in this set. They just don't really. Actually, pop I don't out know. I might, I might say that one's better than the hats because it's just simple and like the heavy has needed like a cool shirt like that for a long time. He has a lot of cool shirts. I'm not. I'm not we have, about it. Yeah, I, we wouldn't, have a, I wouldn't mind it. I feel the same way about this as I do the hats. Scout beret, like I don't care. There's like a bajillion Steve. fucking berets. Oh, I like this. No, actually, I, I like fine. it. No, because it's a it's a bulkier beret. It actually does serve a purpose. Uh, it's bigger because it's all the other ones have this like yeah it, it's, it's big bigger. it has like you know it, it's like more bulky it actually like i'm what are the paint regions on this that's the question i'm saying i'm saying b tier because like I, I i i don't i don't care for i'll it go with go. b i think b's fair i, I think it looks um, good it looks fine just don't care for it you i, I want to say c tier i don't think it's great but it's not like think, amazing i think it'd be better without the i think it serves a purpose in terms of like what you could do with it i want to bump it down to c because it has headphones yeah. I know it's That's like a Bills hat, though, right? And Bills hats though. usually, uh, yeah. The, I would rather just wear like El Jefe, and that looks better. Mm-hmm. I agree. But that's like a that's a totally different thing, though, right? Is it? No, it's a beret with hair. I know it's a beret, but is it a skinny beret or a fat beret? It's a fat beret, to be fair. It's also not really chatter, a beret. Chatter. The headphones apart. Are the headphones just on this icon because they? No, no. There's these, two no, no, styles. No, no, wait, yeah, yeah. These are different. Never mind. Have, no, I was right. You can have headphones off or headphones on. There's a style for it. And also, yes, it does replace Scout's headphones, so it's fine. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'm I'm fine with B or C. I don't. I'm not passionate either way. I'm yeah, I, I don't care. If you want to go C, you can go C. Or whatever one. I, I do not care either way. All right. Um, Better than the MF Doom cosmetic. So top of C. Okay, we can go B. <sighs> okay. Um, the. What, there the, you go, the Looney Tunes? I don't fucking remember what this is. I don't know. Yeah, that, this that is Looney Tunes doing. ass soldier hat goes immediately into F tier. No one's going to use it. It's nah, fucking nah, I'm ugly. not saying no, I'm it's not. not saying it's not saying F is D. It is D. D. It is bottom D. of D, D, but it is not as bad as these two. Yeah. Surely it's just fine. I don't think it's F. I think the entire soldier set is way worse. But I think the hat's okay. It's not too bad. I think conceptually the soldier set's fine, but they fucked up on the execution massively. It looks really bad. 
Yeah. I agree. Um, with Does it really look as bad as that's the, the aim frame? Heavy hat. You cut. You cut out there. Can you say it again? Does it really look as bad as the aim frame? Uh, fine. D tier. <laughs> Yay! We did it. Um. Uh. The, the, this this hat. I don't remember the name. I don't remember the name of any of these actually. B tier. I same thing. I could care for it. It goes yeah, with the. I, I think a C is fair. It's not. It's not. Yeah. It's less interesting than the shirt it came with. Nice. I think that's fair. Big case of like, it looks fine. Don't care for it though. <laughs> uh, the 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 evil can evil hat. The yeah, the helmet looks. I fine. I want to put the that engineer helmet in at least B tier. I think it's really well made and it looks good. And I has agree. A lot of loadout. I'm in, I'm in agreement. A lot of good styles too. Mm -hmm. You get one with the helmet. You get mm -hmm. one without. You get one with the goggles. Honestly, I put it in A. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking A too. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Put that in A. It's pretty good. Yeah. You can do a lot with it. It's also t it's also uh like thematically relevant for. Uh, TF2's time period. Evil All right, yeah, now this one. This one. Let me let me lead into this. Okay? I don't know. I would say that's a B, now, to be honest. Hang on, hang on. I think it's good. Okay, I, I want to lead in to this next engineer cosmetic. Okay, mm -hmm. because it was recently discovered that behind the name tag is a bisexual pride flag. Zesty, what do you think of this one? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for the fucking Twitter clips. Get ready, boys. I think it's awesome. I'm Zesty Jesus. I think it's awesome. You know what? It's golden. For the record, I also I think respect it's cool. it. I I I don't care. <laughs> it's not it's not viewable like. At Didn't we already all. have this like scandal where everyone freaks out over something like this like three years ago with the tire? Or How long like, do I have to be quiet before we're allowed no, to move like... on? <laughs> uh, I don't care. Um, I people. I, oh, so, 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 I'll, people... I'll, listen, listen. I'll, I'll just I'll just tell, I'll just tell what I told Lucid. Like you can't see it when it comes to shit being like snuck into tf2 textures it happens all the time it's not invisible during gameplay yeah. so i really don't give a shit way worse shit has been laced into tf2 textures that you can't see as like easter eggs that the player is never going to notice unless they like go into no clip and look around the map or like go into the actual game files and look around on it so i don't give a shit about this at all i think people getting upset about it are yeah. cringe and corny i think it's the, a the, good the, cosmetic too i think it looks pretty good it's a very yeah, me problem. too. Okay, all right. Twitter, I'm, I'm Twitter, you're too. fucking safe now, boys. I think, I think that uh, <laughs> I think that uh, oh my god, no, no, no. Right, go in A or A or at least B, but probably A. B tier, B tier. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. It doesn't show up on the cosmetic render, but it does the weird arm thing that a lot of cosmetic systems. Yeah, it have models <laughs> over. It's yeah, the engineer's existing oh, it? arm, so it looks oh, a little strange. Okay. Yeah, it's the yeah. best looking one, but it still looks a bit jarring. So I think B tiers fine yeah yeah, and it, it clips a little bit with itself so i would say b tier yeah i don't know man we got to do a tier or twitter's gonna be mad i'll well, just do b tier fine b for bisexual there you go yeah there Is we go hey. your life in fear of like twitter bro what's up with what's what's with this not anymore i, I mean, mean i don't I know, know. Not not to yeah, i think it's fair i've had people show up at my fucking house i don't like of course i don't want to poke that goddamn bear again yeah, i get it i get it yeah <laughs> Can we get like the the entire pyro set for this one like lined up to go? Because uh, this all belongs in one thing together. Ah, uh, yeah, I yeah. agree with that. Let's do and all the pyro ones. Like I actually like, like this set. I thought it was cool. I yeah, like it, but I don't. I don't really care for it because it's kind of just like generic military fatigues. But it's like at least like Cuban esque military fatigues, like jungle esque. Military See, fatigues. I think I, I put I the think whole set in B tier. I think Pyro yeah. doesn't have enough, like, um, like more what you would say, like, I guess, generic cosmetics, yeah. because or fire fire. since, since his creation, I, I, there's really not very many Pyro cosmetics that feel, like, in character with who the Pyro, he like, is. When, when you look at, like, who Pyro was created to be, he's, like, this maniac who has, like, these, you know, really homemade weapons. Like, you look at the flamethrower, and it's made out of, like, a, like a fucking, uh, what's it called? The shit that people use to water the lawns. What the fuck is that propane, called? Propane a tank, lawnmower, a water, water, water hose. Water hose? <laughs> yeah, it's made out of like a water hose and like a propane tank, and and the extinguishers got these like it's it's all these tools he got from like a gardening store or something, and uh, he he was just like this scary motherfucker who put together this arsenal. Uh, but like since day one, they gave him like a stupid like they put a plunger on his head and stuff. So I think it's actually good that there's more items that want to. Portray a pyro that isn't, uh, you know, just replace his head with a light bulb or I whatever. Think, uh, I think that's good. I think the hat. And is most of the, uh, I was, I was gonna say, most of the military cosmetics that pyro gets are usually like World War II, like gas mask themed, obviously too, which kind of gets a bit repetitive. So it is right. nice to see a change of pace, but it's like it doesn't do anything for me. You know what I mean? Because every other class has something that looks the same. 
I think um I think the the hat is S tier, but the the uh, the lower part is A tier because of the the weird shoulders. I agree. I'm I agree. I, I, I would say overall. I would say overall. I thought it was one of the better. I, uh, I thought it was one of the better sets from the cage, to be honest. I think it was. It is. It is. That, that and the, uh, the mafia set. heavy. It's the the best set from the case. I actually completely yeah, I agree. Think, with yeah, this. the pirate set is the best set. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah, so hat is S, shirt is A, but I would put the pants in B tier because they fucked up the colors a little bit, and it looks like they took legs from one character and kind of stapled them onto Pyro's upper torso. It looks kind of funky, and so you know, need the whole set together or with like one or two other shirt cosmetics that kind of go with it in order for it to work. But on yeah, its own, I, I think the that's pants true. are not great. Yeah, but, but yeah, it doesn't really mix with anything, actually. I think B is okay. But does it, it does if you does uh, it, if you change the style, you can take off the um, the camouflage or whatever. It still doesn't look that great. But does it move I, I think you, Pyro but, needed more pants anyway, to be honest. But does it move you? No, no, I, I, I you know, no, 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 put it in A, put it in A, put the pants in A. You Look think I, I don't? I don't. Know. Up with my I was, I was just. I was just. I think the. To... I think the one thing. The one thing it has going for it is like, what's the alternative for fucking pants? It's like the clown ones, and like, does he get the? Yeah. Pants it's pants definitely pants. the best pyro pants. It definitely yeah. is. Yes, and also yeah, the the issue is like there are two pyro pants, and one of them's a fucking clown, <laughs> a clown <laughs> outfit. Sweet tooth. Ha ha ha. Not only a okay. clown outfit, but one that like fucks up uh, like team recognition really bad. That's hilarious. It's very funny. But have you... Ah, Gordon Freeman. Okay. <laughs> I think these are S, honestly. I love them. Yeah, I do. I think these are the best cosmetics in the case. You might disagree. Yeah. I think they're great. No, I'm, I'm in agreement. I'm in agreement. Nice. I, I would disagree. I think the modeling of the glasses on the Gordon Freeman um, glasses and, and beard combo are a little strange. Like, I... It, something I'll just, about, I'll well, just it's, like it's, address it's the elephant in the room is this is like really low brow and they didn't even try to make clever names for either of them. I That's think it fits Valve, though. Valve I think it fits. I, I think they're both cool and I I, I would pr like I'm not I'm not mad at them being in the game, but I, I look at them and I'm like, oh well of course that got in. And it like I feel like it was it's just ah, like, like, it, it's okay. the same problem as the uh, as the MF Doom had it's like, oh well you can make a Gordon Freeman. I, I guess I you can make more I put this more in the danger like category that. than I do the MF Doom category. What no fucking way you don't. What the fuck are you I, Really? What, really? The glass I, I, I like it though. I'm not like I'm not mad at them oh, adding the it in. Fuck? I think the guy who made it did a good job. It's How good modeling. I just I, I the, my main gripe is I just wish they made a creative name for it instead of what the free man's face or whatever and the hazard environment suit. It's, it's you just named it after Half Life. You could have made something clever. How the fuck is this fine? But the MF Doom cosmetic is too on the nose. I don't get it. What? So here's because the thing. Because, listen, listen, okay. here's the thing, man. So one thing, it's Valve making a nod to its other games, and there's of course a lot of lines that can be connected with all of Valve's titles. They all probably loosely take place in all the same universe. Things are tied into one another. It 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 makes a lot more sense to have a Gordon Gordon Freeman cosmetic set than fucking MF Doom, and it just make it works and makes more sense. Okay, fine. Also, I never got to. Oh, I, that's the point. I'm surprised I, that uh, that Metro Cop set didn't get in. Yeah. Okay, if you guys want to go A, I can accept that. Personally, okay. these are my favorites. But if you guys, really? I think the I suit, know, really? the suit is a bit. I don't know. Something rubs me the wrong way about the suit. It's the not as bad as like other, other like medic torso replacements. Like he has like other armor chest pieces and shit. And this one's definitely a better one. But I would not want to put it in S. I would want to put the chest piece in like A. It's, not that it's, it's pretty well made. I, I don't really yeah. understand what it's supposed to be, though. Is he supposed to be in an HEV suit because like the arms are still like cloth, or is it it's just, just yeah, that's, yeah? That's I'm sure one word I don't like. Yeah, that's yeah. fair actually. It's, it's literally just like what you see there. It's just like the neck and like chest brace. It, it doesn't go all the way mm -hmm. down. Which kind of I, I would yeah, honestly, no, I, put I, it in, I put it in like a B or a C personally. I don't think it's really. Bad, I would. No, I think that is. Um, I, I completely forgot about that. Honestly, how it uh, like there's literally nothing for the arms. Um, I'd probably still go A, but it'd be like a light A now that I think about it. I think, I think it just, it looks really good with the... I don't think it's as good as any of the ones in A, though. B. I don't think it is. I'm I really don't want to put it... Actually, I want, I want to bump it lower because it has way less loadout potential with a lot of other cosmetics. I think it, what, if, if, the, the helmet if you're not is, using uh... it... Sorry, go on, Zosha. I was going to say, if you're not using it as the Gordon Freeman set, then it doesn't really match with much else. 
Yeah, you can't really use the chess piece for anything, but you can use the uh, the the wow. face, the well, the yeah, mask, the, oh, the, mask. The, beard, the beard and helmet. Face is an S so I I think the face being an S tier is fair. I think the chest itself is like you can make Gordon Freeman, and that's basically it. Like, like you can make Gordon Freeman, or you can make like Super Saiyan Gordon Freeman, or like whatever. The more like, I think about it, it, yeah, the more I think you guys are right. Mm -hmm. I actually think it's just like a, a set thing for me, but I think um on its I, own, I'm, I'm not like sure a, the chest really works. I'm a I'd go B. I think it's B. I'm fine with bottom of B. Yeah, bottom, yeah, bottom would be. I think that's good. Also, uh, chat, chat, chat is is wanting me to scream louder. I just wanted to say I've been trying to say this for like the past ten minutes. Uh, the firefighter pants. I really like that they have soot at the bottom of them. That's all. I just really yeah. They to they say retain that. Pyro's gradient, which is great. Well, yeah, yeah. The fact that they look like worn out from like the soot that Pyro presumably walks on all the time is really cool, and I really like that attention to detail. I finally got to say, and, and, it. and it's shit. it's one that should be preserved, right? Because it's like how Pyro's default coloring is placed, right? He goes from sooty from below to team colored on top. Yeah, no, that's it's important it's, to keep that in place. Yeah, it's really, really good. Thank you. I'm so happy I got to say that. Anyways, yeah, this soldier yeah, set's really. I'm bad. sorry if I was talking okay. over you, Lucid. I just wanted. I want to like make sure people don't think I'm trying to shit on these. No, no, no <laughs> I know. It's okay. We, we, never okay. Mind. Okay. I think conceptually, I think conceptually, the whole entire kind of like Vietnam Ranger look for soldier is a good idea, and it looks good in conception and premise. All right. Yeah, but the execution. Obviously, is. though, yeah, the fucking arms and legs thunderfy there. Bulbous Fuck tumors no, that he added. Are easily so some noticeable. of the worst cosmetics yeah. they've ever added to the game. It is a fucking disaster. Like how how do you make that? And have his wrist thicker and extending wider than the palm of his hand, and think that's okay. And for whatever, you think it's a case of like you can't do anything else for it. Sadly, no, right, I Zesty. Know. I want to hear what do you think is worse between this and the uh, the sniper one that removes his shirt? Oh, this is worse. This is in terms worse. of like the modeling. This one is just which worse. which one? If you if you had to keep one between those two, the other one gets removed. Which one are you keeping? God, I don't know, man. I would say I would keep this because one actually hurts gameplay, and that should be removed. So I would say the sniper shirt. Okay. Also, so, can I? Can I? I just want to add the the fucking texture that they used for the sniper shirt under the vest looks awful as well. Why did they use like a Hawaiian shirt texture if it's supposed to be like a Vietnam soldier look? It is a little strange. Oh, uh, South America. That's why. It's oh, all yeah. South, South America stuff. South America Pacific. isn't Vietnam. Well, no, well, but no, this is this this isn't a Vietnam set. This is like a South no. America like tourist set or something. I don't know what the fuck it's supposed to be. It's a, it it doesn't know what it's supposed to be, but it's supposed to be tied and into Tropic Crisis. If it's supposed, if and it's not supposed to be, shirt. if it's not supposed to be military, then they should have removed the vest and done something else because it looks like it's trying to be both a military outfit and also Hawaiian tourist thing at the same time, and the two things clash really bad. I will be right back. Y'all continue. Finally, he's yeah. Done. I don't like it. I actually think thematically it's not too bad, but the arms is it yeah. is the most like noticeable thing in the world. Yeah, it is so, yeah. it's so unfortunate because I think I think this guy had like a good concept in mind. I just think uh, you just can't do that with yeah. the limitations yeah. of the model. You just yeah, can't do it. I agree. Yeah, it's just you can't do it. It's I wouldn't even say it's his fault. This yeah, is, it's not good. This really is another point for no bad ideas, just bad executions. I I stay winning. This is good. Uh, well, you say that, Lucid, but like your idea, what you mean by that is, well, if I just totally remake what the idea is, then it's a, then I can make it good. Yes. How about well, then? It's, it's a like, different idea. Is, that's not, that's not every idea is good. That's you well, can tweak well, any Rick, idea to Rick, make okay, it. Good. Hang on, hang on. Rick, while Zesty's gone, while he's gone, let's save the spy cosmetic and the Peaky Blinder well, no, set because I feel like it's gonna we both are gonna come back. Wait, we obviously aren't blinders. gonna wait. We obviously aren't gonna review any of these uh, until Zesty gets back. I want to say the the, the oh. no bad idea is just bad execution thing is is that's like a that's a statement of of how you how like your mentality should be going into making art. It's it's a because obviously if you if you execute an idea differently you could argue it's not the same idea you started with, like that that obviously right. But it's a, a matter of like if you think like oh that could never work you're just wrong it could. Okay, you have to do it. Right. I disagree. I disagree. In chat earlier I put a skibbity toilet scout cosmetic. Can That's you please just explain never to me? Be a good idea. <laughs> Can you yeah. please explain to me, Lucid? Put it on screen, dude. Come on, do oh, it. I'll, I'll, I'll grab it real quick. Well, what we can <laughs> okay. do is we can make it a skibbity toilet badge, and then it's <laughs> no. a lot less abrasive. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I, I'm sorry, Lisa. Uh, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to make funny. It's no, funny. no, no, no. You're good. No, this is so funny. <laughs> no, this is bad. I am not denying that. For the record, but is it the wait, idea that's wait, 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 no, okay, tell me, tell me, this isn't a bad idea, Lucid. <laughs> tell me, this wasn't a bad Please idea. Give me one. Okay, man. <laughs> oh my God, what did I come back to? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Listen, Zesty, what you missed is we're talking about Lucid's philosophy <laughs> that like no <laughs> idea is bad. It's just bad execution, and we're, no we're asking him uh, if, 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 if nothing is a bad idea, idea then here, what is here's this? Your bad fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> Opinion discarded. I, wait, okay, What's wait. Can I actually? Like, wait, wait, listen, we can do the shit <laughs> review channels with the scout skibbity toilet. I, <laughs> Think about it, dude. Oh, I'm loving this. Wait, I'm loving I, this. Okay, wait. Can I actually make? All right. <laughs> let, let me make my argument. My argument doesn't. My my philosophy on making art doesn't apply when there are external forces like 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 a game's inherent art style restricting you from doing something. Like obviously, killing yourself is not a good idea, and there's no way to execute that that can make it better than if you weren't gonna do it. It's a bad idea inherently because of the. I don't know, man. Set. There's some cool ways to die. No, shut the fuck up. That's the. You're, I'm gonna go out by fucking <laughs> shark. I'm gonna go death by cop. I'm taking as many as you as I can. You could if this if this we're in a different context it might be good who knows i don't because i haven't seen it in that context <laughs> that's all i Isn't was scout in like fucking like sonic all-stars racing transformed or some shit no it's heavy in the other one it's not scout. it's heavy in pyro right yeah, 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 it's yeah. like so sonic and Sega. at least right? it's that's team like colored the... thank you chat very cool <laughs> 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 it doesn't fuck with team <laughs> recognition that's what really matters it, it still kind of does, awful. but <laughs> oh shit! Anyway. Someone has to make a mod. Anyways. That probably exists. Anyways, yeah, no, I, I, I stand by that. There is a way to make. A, there is a context in which that idea is good, and there was a way to execute the idea that makes it good in that context. I think you sound fucking insane, Lucid. I, to be honest, <laughs> that's fine. I'm fine. I will die on this hill. Because, because when it comes to like making things, obviously, like there there are times when an idea is a bad one. Like that's not what I'm I'm saying. I'm just saying there all, there is never a there is always an, a universe where the idea can be done well. It's just that this. this I'm not gonna say you're wrong, but like if, if you want to like prove that to me, you need to come up with like a, I need like to a, make a roadmap for toilet. how you would create a good skibbity toilet cosmetic. Like I need to see that to believe you. Holy shit! I'm, I I might have to find. I have to, might have to. I might have to think about that really. You hard. might have an utter redemption for this conversation. I, like, I, I, I need. To see, I need to see the idea first before I concede. Please stop. Co Chat, standing on it. your principles is not cope. That's not how this works. People who die, people die for their principles, and you're not like, oh, they're coping. I'm, I'm, I, this is something I genuinely believe. I'm sorry. I hate. I just, I can't it. imagine any. There's no, there's no like bathroom element in TF2 <laughs> that would ever make it like appropriate. <laughs> I can't think. I seriously, I can't think of anything. Uh, that, you know, would be an interesting. Like, I think a wee, even. Wait, what more, if it's a skibbity you, toilet pet that follows behind him? <laughs> that's way better. <laughs> No, 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 uh, Richter. I, I wonder. You know what? I, tendencies. Richter, I think I could find. I think I have a worse idea. You know, if we're if we're really going really? with the idea that there are bad ideas, I got a worse one for you. Try making a a TF2 cosmetic that emulates prop hunt in some way. Well, that's that skimmy toilet that. basically is. Head. Like that's basically yeah. what that is. He becomes yeah. a toilet. No, but no, but like, <laughs> yeah, like there's no way that might be a hard, even a harder challenge would be to make like a TF2 prop hunt esque cosmetic. That might be even more difficult. No, it's like Why the easiest thing to do that, because though. we already have so many object on head cosmetics. All you have yeah. to do is like model a shoe. I mean, we have we have a shoe good, on head already for Pyro. We have a boot on his fucking head. Boom, he's no, a prop. It has he's walking to, around. It has to be good, Zesty. That's the point. It can't be good. It's prop that's, hunt. That's my point. That's why I said that. That was the, the well, premise. We just gotten lucid to can see that there definitely are bad fucking I, ideas. I was busy. No. no. <laughs> that, that, ooh, okay, I, what about. I might, what about have, a, I might have to do something about this idea. <laughs> I might have to make a What if we made it like team it. colored, but we made it like, like yellow and brown? What? 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 <laughs> like, yeah, for like the, for like the toilet. What if we made something team colored, yeah, but it wasn't team yeah, colored? Yeah, exactly. Like some of them have like like little piss, and then some of it has shit. I, I, <laughs> what the fuck? Unsay that. <laughs> Don't say that. Ever. Never Anyways, mind. Peaky right, never speak. Peaky never one. speak. Why do you always say the most cursed shit when you come on here? What the fuck? Uh, content. Oh, people were mad at me that I didn't remember when Peaky Blinders aired. I never watched the show, so I don't know. But people were like, "Oh, it, 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 the hat is fine. It was it, it aired. It was made after the also, show came out." Like, I don't also, know. I don't also, the care. Peaky Blinders yeah. were like a real thing. I'm pretty sure. 
It's like Gatsby esque hat too, though. Like that's existed for millennium now. Like it's fine. Yeah, no, I think this is no, no, the rescue. no, the cosmetic itself is fine. I, I have nothing. Rescue. I have nothing against it. This is oh, either. Oh wait, 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 wait! I just realized we did the uh, the hat with the bisexual flag or whatever. I forgot the the bow tie version looks really bad. It, that, that's why it's not an S tier or A tier. Oh, is, is that was that that was already factored in? Okay, then carry on. Yeah. It has uh, four different styles, right? I think I'm four. not saying. Yeah, I'm not saying S tier. I'm saying <laughs> I don't know what about. B why did you? <laughs> Whatever. No, I, I think know. it's S or A. I think it's really good. A, I I'd put A. Okay. We have we have a lot of these ads. I think. All right. Yeah, I would say A. It's not like amazing. We don't, okay, we don't have a lot. It's probably, have, it, it, it also it also has a, has a weird it kind of gloss it. on it. It's, it's it's doing something with the lighting that looks strange in game because we had the vest that was part of this same set added some years ago, mm. and that has the same problem, where the, the way it, the, it interacts with the light, it makes it look like it's greasy or shiny. It's like yeah, it looks kind of odd in TF2. I I think that um. I think that like uh, whenever I judge like art of any kind, I think I try to think about like how big of a swing does it take. I don't think this hat took a very big swing, but it like it hit the ball. Uh, so that's yeah, why it's not. I S. agree. If it took a bigger swing and 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 hit the ball, it'd be S. No, it's by no means. It's by no means. It didn't miss. Bad. It, yeah, they didn't miss the ball or foul it off. You hit the ball into the field, but you you, you didn't take a very big swing. So it's like, you know. Analogies. I think that also applies to the scout cosmetic. I think it's good for what it is, but we just have a lot of these. I, I think it's... Yeah, the shirt. Oh, that one? Yeah, yeah. it's just a yeah, shirt. shirt. I think it's a good shirt. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah it's uh, good. But they have like five of these. Got, like a weird factor of TF2, which is that like you see these mercenaries. They were designed to be in like uh, like really harsh desert environments. So you kind of see people running around in like hoodies and stuff and like giant padded Santa Claus no, outfits. Not, sort of don't, bring, don't bring the desert argument into this, because I hate the fucking desert. The desert argument? People... Is it, you already have, like, a rhetorical uh, framing device. <laughs> no, a lot of people... About. Yeah, because a lot of people... No, I'm not even trying, I'm not trying to complain. I just argument. think it's, I think it's like, interesting, because you, you, you see yeah. the mercenaries running around in these weird environments that don't really make a lot of sense for <sighs> what they're wearing. Um, yes. And it, it makes... The reason I bring it up is because it makes me think, like, how interesting it would be if we had a TF2 where, like, instead of having, like, a cosmetic system... If you went to like a like a snowy map, the mercs would get equipped with like snowy outfits. Uh, it's just something I thought about. It's not really like That'd a be interesting, cool. but yeah, it's a cute but, like, idea. A lot of, unfortunately, keys and cases and gambling. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people have been criticizing yeah. and complaining about the maps and cosmetics because they're like, why the fuck would they wear a winter jacket in a desert? Why the fuck is this map not set in a desert? TF2 that might have made sense in like 2010, desert. but now like half the maps. No, like, not, there's, like, there's like five desert maps in the game. Dude, <laughs> that's such, like it's such a bad argument. It's like, does the map play good? Yeah. Does the map look good? Yeah. But there's no fucking sand in it, so it's a bad <laughs> map. Like, okay. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I, I empathize with it a little bit. I like the classic TF2 aesthetics. It feels like we drifted very far. I can't like th they made that one map in, in in the last update that was like uh, like upward, but I, I can't remember the last time I saw a map that looked like Dust Bowl. The, like get added. Um, I forget what it's called. Uh, the medic set goes in D tier. Thoughts? Yeah, D. Not great. Uh, I like uh, it thematically, but like the fucking arms, dude. I do. The arms okay, are maybe, fucked. Also on that I think, one. I think. I think the hat should go in C tier. The hat's fine. The hat's arms can go in D tier. The hat bothers me because it's too saturated. Nah, I like the hat. I think the only thing that would make the hat better if it had like sunscreen on the nose to really sell the whole entire like lifeguard set. It doesn't. It... Fine, whatever. Uh, okay, and then the now coat, for this the one, for the final. Goes okay, hang on. For the final coat, I, I said this before stream. I was looking it up on fucking loadout.tf and I thought the site broke because of how. Okay. Like I, I like I I painted it blue and I'm like oh well evidently this is just a problem with the site there's no way Valve would let this be in the game. Can I, I say it's un unpainted? This looks fine. I have not seen this painted. I'm on loadout.tf right now. Yeah, swap I'm, the style I'm too checking, and then paint it. I'm yeah, checking style out two, this paint it blue. Too. What's this? What's this fucking thing called again? Tuxedo. What, which one's style too? Tuxedo uh, Royale. Scroll to the bottom. No, that's the name of it, but I don't know. That's at the top. Hold on. Let me paint this. Yeah, it's, it's Tokyo okay. Royale, and then just paint it. Yeah, you'll see. How the fuck? Oh, okay. That's not yeah, cool. yeah. you can just recolor 70% of Spy's player model to something that isn't Hooray. team color. Isn't that great? Hooray. 
And there's probably oh, another. Like, oh there's no, there. the other style. Oh no. Yep. Oh no. It's yeah. Really bad. Oh, yeah. it's so dark too. I'm using like the bright red team spear. It's so fucking yep. dark. Chat, Holy shit. Chat. Let me grab the. Let me grab it. Real okay. Quick. For what, for what context. For context. What is it called? It's Tuxedo Royale Stirred Style. For context, for context, okay, I, I streamed the uh, update and I looked at the Manco catalog and somebody said, did you know that the entire shirt is paintable? I, I thought they meant like the white in between, like with the tie. And I'm like, yeah, that's whatever. That's like fine, whatever. Like the cufflings are like paintable too. Fucking whatever. I don't care. That's such a small body group. But no, it's the legs too. That's fucking, oh my yeah, word. It's too much. It is way I've, too much. The the first Sorry, style your opinion okay. is bigoted and racist. Uh, you have to now go uh, beat yourself with a reed in penance. <laughs> this is unreal. I don't I think, think it looks bad, wait, wait. but just like the paint regions, the holy paint fuck. fuck! Yeah, I think the first style isn't too bad. I still think it it's should not just be too bad. bad. Yeah, I still this, think this, yeah. this cosmetic just shouldn't be paintable. Period. Like there shouldn't be yeah. a paint region on this at all. Holy fuck! I think that uh, I think that uh, Zesty, this is unrelated, but I think that someone should cause make a cosmetic that's just your current mustache and hair. That's unrelated. No. Ah, uh, well, okay. we already have that. It's the fucking um, what's it called? Macho. Uh, yeah. That's a good point. Fuck. I'm currently the reason I always said that is I'm currently on your video get, getting an image of the the paint regions for chat. Hey, chat! Look at this. Look how quirky this is. Isn't it awesome? Look at Zesty's face in the corner. Also. Oh right. my god. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Yeah, they well, just, why, they just why, wanted why to do that. that? And thought, yeah, that's fine. And the people Zesty, who made this were like, yeah, this is fine. Hold on, why on the right, is that, a, is that a red or a blue spy? Yeah, you're yeah, telling me. Oh, no, yeah, you tell me. Is that a red or a blue spy? Wait, 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 tell me. I, yeah. I, I straight up, I have like 3,000 hours in this game. I don't fucking know from looking at that. Yeah, chat, place your bets now. Which one is it? Yeah, is well, it you, can only, Which you can only blue? you can only paint shit blue, so it's it's probably red, right? Yeah, well, well, think about this for a moment. You could like <laughs> the coat is like the default, right? That's like what is on. So like, okay, how do I put this? You could, if you're a new player, you could very easily think that like, oh, the shit that he's wearing is just like the normal team color, and the coat is like the the painted cosmetic. When in actuality, yeah. it's reversed. The fact you had to ask. Which one's yeah, which? right? Yeah, no, this is it's bad. Crazy. This is awful. It goes in. F and it's just on the class. It's like pretty disastrous. To it's too bad. It's too bad that Isaac they'll never fix Drew it because Drew. um, they'll never fix it because people might have already bought it and painted it and like how it looked. That's so sad. No, you like that's I, a, yeah, like no, a quote I, they I, gave right I, over yeah, uh, the, the water waiters or whatever. That's yeah. very funny. Yeah, yeah. The fact that it, the fact that it even has the smallest potential <laughs> of, infr of infringing on team recognition means it just should not be in the game. Yep. Yeah. And, it, and like it, I the said, paint it, region it, is not. It, it, it again, the solution just shouldn't have had a paint region. Mm -hmm. I yeah. say it's also on the class that's like literally designed to fuck with team recognition and like. <laughs> it's yeah, okay. and so like after envision this, right? You have a spy do a fail step. You turn around and see half blue, half red. Oh, uh, oh, uh, yeah. uh, It's like you don't know. No, Zesty, I was gonna. And so, and so and also envision this spy walking towards you, and in that brief moment, like oh, I can't immediately tell this person is on, and you turn ever so slightly, poop, you get backstab and die. Right? It, it that cosmetic in of itself is a disguise. Oh God! Like Zesty, it's I, pretty I crazy. Was, I was uh, I was streaming TF2, and I should go back and clip it uh, for like a video or something. But uh, I I literally had that moment happen before this cosmetic came out, where someone w where a spy was wearing a, a cosmetic that was painted and it made, and I thought they were on the other team, so I turned around, saw oh wait what the fuck, and then I died, and it was like yeah. oh shit that's great love this game. Man. Yeah, I had, so I had someone send me a clip this morning of a green pyro just diving <laughs> head first into the blue team and setting everyone on fire, and nobody had any idea what was going on for at least three seconds. Dude, I just made this shit. Give me a sec. Um, fuck, one sec. Okay, I'm putting this in chat right now. I just, I can't imagine. I can't fucking imagine. Uh, podcast general. Okay. Like, how is that in the game? Wait, hold on. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> how, how, is that, 
I was, this guy looks like he's gonna steal your fucking foreskin, bro. Yeah. How? Yeah, how, how? How is this allowed? Oh god. The fact is that it... it's pitch fucking black too doesn't help. Too that's painted green. It's just black. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, can yeah. I? Can I do a? Wait. Ah oh, shit! My laptop's gonna die. Hold. Can I? Can I mute you for something? R.I.P. That's fine. Never mind. I was gonna ask you a question. I was gonna ask you to tell me whose team this person's on. Oh shit! Hang on. Don't show I, on camera. Can... Don't show on camera. One sec. My I want you to. Add, I want you to tell me. Food. Is this person? Is this character on the red or the blue team? Red. Red. There you go. Oh. I I think you okay, are. Back. I think you are right. Why? What makes you think that they're on the red team? And not the black team. <laughs> yeah, only because you have prior knowledge of what is and is not paintable. You know this is on the red team. I don't know what's paintable. I'm assuming the code is not paintable, right? What? But no, you don't know, do you? Red what? I I, <laughs> I would not put it past them. I don't get like a the inner jacket. I thought was the point of like the paintable part or like the tux part. That would have been what? Fine. What it's team is this guy on? I have no fucking clue. Guys, it's uh, the second style. That's like really problematic. The first, yeah. Guys, my significant other said that uh that they correctly guessed that it was the red team, but the reason why they guessed was flawed. So I don't think that we give them that. The, the reason why they thought it was the red team was because of the color of the mask of the the character on their shoulder. Oh, of the bear. <laughs> yeah, and also it took them like like a minute to figure out which one it was. So it, it's a it's a moot point regardless. You wouldn't have a minute in the middle of the game, to be honest. So you'd have you have to figure it out in like five you seconds. You have to see it and recognize it. it immediately. That's the point. Yeah. What what team? Can I get a clear answer? What team it's is red. this motherfucker? On, this is red team. This is red. red. Team. Yeah. The, the other one was way worse. Okay. I actually could not tell what team they were on in the other one. This one I can tell it's red because it's obviously they're not fucking charcoal team. But the one you were showing before, mm. I literally I actually could not fucking tell. Yeah. No, it's bad. Anyways, these the what about these maps? I honest, I haven't oh, had a chance God. to play on all like any but one of them to be honest. I've I've been trying to queue into them and I just keep getting put in like like two Ford and shit. Why is why is there an E? Why are there two Ds? What the fuck? Wait a second. Double D. Yo, you would. I know what. D D double D. Uh, embargo. F should be in the game. Okay, nah. I agree. Uh, Megaton. I like embargo. I like embargo. Space guy. Like why embargo. Do you, oh, space guy. Why do you like embargo? <laughs> Cause goofy map. I like the details. I like looking at the map. It's a lot of fun. I think it plays dog shit, but I do like all the details and fun stuff in the map to go ahead. I'm saying like C tier, but it doesn't look like a TF2. Map. I would put it personally in like its own little what the fuck tier. Like that's what I'm doing <laughs> in my video. Yeah, literally in WTF tier. I think it's an awful map, but but I can't stop playing it. Nah, it's going. In yeah, there. it's it's just objectively one of the worst maps they've added in a very long time, and. Do, do I repeat why, or do we just move on? Nah, no, we're good. I think we're good. Uh, a Megaton? Uh, D. C tier, D tier. I think it's another map that looks nice. I like the fucking finale of it, but holy shit. I'm a sniper main, and I'm looking at I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> they made, Har they made Harvest worse. How do you make Harvest worse for like against Sniper? How the fuck did they do it? Yeah, I don't mean to interrupt, but I uh, I just booted up TF2 because I was gonna go try to look at these maps, and I got this pop up. This is the first time I've ever gotten this in my fucking life. Is this new? Is it the, uh, is it reported, the, the player reported players player? thing? No, it's, oh. it's contribute to the no, future no, of TF2 no, with the Steam Workshop. I've seen that before. I've seen it before. I've never fucking what the fuck? I've why never, am I getting I've that like ten years it. later? What I've the fuck? This. this is if you go at the bottom, you say create item for TF2, and they go ahead and shows you how to do that. And it's I think the replay system has a similar looking thing as well. Here's how you can make us more money. Yay! Wait, wait, Lucy, can you put something on screen for me? It's funny, I promise. Uh, what is it? <laughs> I'll send you it, and then okay. you can tell me if it's... If it's uh, I think it's funny. All it right. made me laugh. Yeah. I will say, <laughs> this, is, this is worth putting on screen. Why, 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 why is there the fucking... <laughs> why is there an, uh, like a swipe arrow on the left side? <laughs> 20 trillion devil. This is good. 
I do it like how crazy how quickly people 180 and are just like now, uh, just I don't get it, man. What I, I get it. It's the game is playable. It's like uh, fucking rejoice. I get it. I'm just I'm I'm honestly like I'm past being mad about cosmetics or whatever. I'm just glad I can fucking play the game again. I do like it's how it's all it's, it's, a, it's more it's boring been, now. It's, uh, three it's weeks. more boring now, but it's at least it's playable, mm -hmm. you know. I say I do like how all visually stand out. All the maps are like some play worse than others. Don't get me wrong, but all of them do stand out thematically on their own, and I do think that's a lot better than just having like another fucking dust bowl or another look we're in the badlands of new mexico like frontier mm. uh upward do look very i similar. agree uh, i think a lot of these they're like they're more experimental and i think a lot of them didn't work but some of them did i think one of them that did work is applejack wait, yeah wait. i think applejack is like if you're playing ctf for like a serious game for some reason I think Applejack is like the best CTF map we've ever gotten. I think it's yeah. actually, in terms of like playing the double objective, cross? really good. Double no, 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 because fucking Double Cross has like fucking 80 fucking light year long sniper sight lines that make the game fucking yeah, awful. That's fair. Yeah, in, addition that's to, in addition to that, it also like it kind of has the same problem where it's kind of like there's only one true way to get to the flag and it's right by the enemy spawn. Applejack doesn't have that. The flag is very far off to the side. Yeah, the so. flank is good. Um, yeah. So yeah, so I think it's actually like the the thing is just no one sorry, no one plays CTF for the objective. That's kind of the problem. Like no one really does it. Yeah. So like I'd put it like B tier, but like I commend the design. I actually think it's pretty good. Cause there are so few good CTF maps, and I think Applejack is one of them. I think the reason why it plays so well is because it feels like it was designed to be a King of the Hill map first, and then they made it capture the flag. So the layout of it is very satisfying and not as open as something like two four or double cross or even something like landfall. It's also very shocking to me that it took this long to get like a, a farm based map. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like there's been obviously like autumn ones like harvest, but there's not been like a definitive like like farm. You know, barn blitz is the only other one that comes close, and even that we have like, farmageddon you know, for Halloween. But does that really and, count? Uh, that's like a, yeah, that's like granary a, were both farmland maps. Yeah, but granary, like, yeah, granary like, kind of granary, counts. I I guess, but that's no, like granary a separate is a farmland map. It's well. it's a farm, but gra but granary is not like explicitly farm. You know, it's more like uh, the it's grain processing up, mills. Yeah, yeah, a grain processing mill, like a shipping depot as well for that too. No, they got like the uh, the fields and stuff of corn or whatever. In the distance, yeah, but not like directly cool. in playing with it. I really like, like that's, the farm, that's all right? I have to add because I haven't played this map so. Uh, also, yes, hello. Hello, Ramka. He also apparently did make it. He also made Shaco Era and Selvin and Rotunda as well. I know that. And Corruption is another one he made. Um, so, like, my, oh, my only gripe with um, with Applejack, Applejack is the there's something there. wrong with the lighting mm -hmm. in that it makes the map look too vibrant. Yeah. And it looks, a, it looks a bit out of place with TF2 stylization, but it plays pretty well. It looks good. I would... I don't... I don't, know, I, don't, I don't know if I want to put an A tier. I would say high B, honestly. I'm with I think you. I want to put an A. I'm with you on the high B for sure. I'm high B. Mainly because CTF as a game mode fucking sucks. Yeah, yeah. But that's not Applejack. That's my main reasoning. Yeah, but that's not Applejack's fault. We that is Apple I Jack. think uh, it's yeah. kind of difficult, <laughs> right? It would be evaluating it on like, the entire the spectrum or how they compare to each game mode. I, I, that's something that sort of confuses me about the discourse is you guys like love TF2, but you like hate... You guys hate Dust Bowl and you hate like Two Fort and you hate Sniper. I love Dust Bowl. <laughs> For the record, I, I, love, I Dust, love Dust yeah. Bowl and Two Listen, Fort. Dust Bowl is like a love hate relationship and Two Fort. I like Two Fort, but it's much more a case of like the people involved in Two Fort. Than two yeah, Fort. I like Two Fort, but like as a community thing, I don't want to spend like oh there are three snipers on the other battle lines and the only way to get around them is to go fucking in the sewers and take that giant ass fucking route. Like no, it's bad. You do not play Dust Bowl and Two Fort to like play TF2, if that makes sense. No you play it to play Dust Bowl. Oh, I do TF2. for Dust Bowl. Definitely not Dust, Two Fort. Dust Bowl though. is like a classic. What do you mean? I, I play it's, TF like Dust Bowl constantly. It's like a one if, of my favorite. If games. I'm saying if I'm saying I want to play TF2, I'm not saying I want to play Dust Bowl. I'm saying I want to play Dust Bowl, which is in TF2. They're like separate entities. You know. <laughs> what do you, What do you think is TF2 then? Like Harvest or something? Uh, Harvest, Upward, Badwater that, Basin. Did you say that? You know, just basically, all the maps that are good for sniper. I was gonna say, did you say Harvest just because he's a sniper? <laughs> yeah. man? What the fuck? Uh, I Viaduct is another good example too. Viaduct is a really good map. That's one of my favorites. I agree. I think it's a bit claustrophobic. But I don't hate it. Um, 
I mainly just play payload and attack defense, so gravel pit is never gonna. Uh, that's just weird to me. Like these these maps that the game like launched with are considered like oh well that's like a different that's like a mini game. Like, yeah, not to me. That's like TF2 to me. I, I think I think okay. it's fine to acknowledge that TF2 like some of TF2's older maps are badly designed. Some of TF2, a lot of TF2s do. I are think badly they designed. were designed fine for the game they were designed for, which is a completely different game than what we're playing now. Yeah, I don't know. Like, like obviously, under. okay, they added like they added like jetpack to the pyro and shit. Of course, it's it's a different. Of course, Dust Bowl wasn't fucking designed for pyros to be jetpacking around. Yeah, but I think <laughs> I think Two Fort was badly designed day one. I don't I don't think that changed. Okay. Uh, I think I think right. it's like a beautiful map. I don't know. I don't know how you could say that. I love Two Fort. I, okay. I also I'm love Two Fort. I could say that it's badly designed. Hang on. I want to talk. What, what about part the of fucking... it is like badly designed, and in what way? I'm not, I'm not trying to start an argument. So I, I like what what compels people to say that Two Forts the like a bad I think map. The main... I never really got it. I don't I think... know the four snipers on the other side what? of the map that just stand there the entire time. Yeah. I was so the fact that there's a spot for snipers to shoot from in this like class based game that includes snipers, like, no, I thought that's think, not a good argument. I think the main reason why people multiple, say multiple. It... Yeah. All the best maps are the ones where snipers sucks dick, except for Junction. That's it. I don't know. I, I like uh, I like when, sniper. When the number like one complaint for that... every single map in the game is shitty sniper sight lines. That was... I'm pretty sure the class is a problem. The more you can minimize his presence, the better the game is. For the record, that's I not just what never I, I never had as much of a problem with sniper as other people. Like even Zesty has like a really like big hate boner against a sniper. I just think he's even, fine. I do. Yeah, I don't I, think he's I think, I think, like, I think um... he's just a fucking fun like deterrent. It's not fun. Uh, careful, Wheezy. You have uh, now carried the implication that there is something wrong with a sniper class. Your life is now forfeit. I hope you know <laughs> yeah, that. We'll see. Well, I don't know. Were... Listen, Uncle Dane said it, so now it's a safe opinion to have, right? Uh, for the Wait, no, it's not. For the Sorry. that's the thing is, I've, I've started to feel like it's maybe just like a trendy opinion because like the bot stuff. I don't know. Hey. No, I've been saying this the whole time. Okay, you can go like we can go back to arguments we had in like twenty. I I, uh, I still think I'm Pyro is one of the time. more like roughly balanced classes in the game because there's there's no counter for like a flog who's getting uh who's getting like that's like, one rocket. weapon though. That's yeah, yeah. that's one class weapon combination though. Yeah, but it like makes Dust Bowl unplayable. Yeah, but yeah, that's I fucking agree. One map, two in combination. Oh, honestly, yeah, sticky compare traps. Because he can't do anything. Yeah, compared about to them. Sniper, where literally every rifle except the fucking classic is dog shit. Because it's just fundamentally a bad class. I don't know. I just disagree. I think the I think the designers of TF2 were pretty smart. I think they made some fun classes. I think that's why we're still playing it seventeen sniper. years later. I do think the justific I do think the justification for how Sniper is by Valve is also kind of stupid. We're like we weren't expecting people to get good at the game. We weren't <laughs> expecting people to play the game essentially for a long period of time and get good and learn how a class works, which is just a very bad argument. Well, I disagree Did because they say that. Then, wait, 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 wait. Is that, is that like a quote back... from someone at Valve? Yeah, Valve themselves said like with sniper moving balance with the contention of that, we were not expecting somebody to put hundreds of thousands of hours into a class. But when then... did they say that? When did they say that? That's what they said in the developer log themselves in regards to that, where they're like sniper is a class that rewards the developer requires logs that came with the game. Like on yeah, Hydro, I, I think, or maybe afterwards. I don't recall when they were released, but yeah. I just understand why, like, they're launching the game with dev commentary talking about how dog shit their balance design is. You think they they're just not, fix it? But they're saying in contrast to that as a thing in the reverse, where like sniper is a hard class because it requires more aim that players will not have a good handling or grasp of. So the inverse of that is obviously players are going to learn how to fucking aim, right? So when your justification is people don't know how to aim and they have to learn how to aim. Eventually, people will learn how to aim and it'll become a problem. Just because it's not a problem day one doesn't mean it won't be, right? I don't know, I've, just never, too, I've right? just never had a. I've, I've had like more fun with Sniper, like being in. I, I, let me figure out how I'm trying to say this. I've had more fun playing a Sniper than I've had like anti fun fighting against Snipers. Like, I, I've never had a problem with the balance of the class. Like, the way Valve kind of described it is like, oh, do you see like that one like leaky faucet you have? Like, that's not a problem now. But obviously, eventually, that's going to cause water damage. Does, down does the anybody line. know the, the quote that uh, Space Guy's talking about? I could find it. I'm pretty sure in the Hydro one. So, so here's the thing, man. Even if they didn't, even if they didn't say anything like that at all, Valve very clearly made the game in an era where people didn't dump thousands and thousands of hours into one game because games were not made, or games were made with the intention of people buying them one time as like a single use copy. And then putting it down, and then uh, moving on. To the next, game. I, I don't know, Zesty. That that's I don't know if I Call agree. Because uh, well, Team Fortress was. Classic was one of so those. So here's games. like, listen, listen. No, no, no listen, Zesty. Listen. Let me let me finish. We what I'm weren't. Saying. We like, weren't Team, quite Team into the era of, of forever games, games yet. Yeah, we weren't. We weren't. But Team Fortress Classic, which is what TF2 is built from, like that's 
that's an example of a game where people did play those games for thousands of hours and learn like insane conk jumps and stuff. So I don't know if I buy that as like the excuse for why the sniper is bad. It's because well they designed it for a different era. Well they designed it for for the people who fucking conk jump. It was I don't know. I don't, I just, I don't think that's like sound. Oh, actually, sorry. The dev commentary is worse than what I said. <laughs> oh yeah, I, 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 don't know what I haven't done the okay, hydro okay. in a long time. Okay. Um, the, the, to meet a player's expectations, a sniper rifle has to be able to kill an opponent with a single shot to the head. On the flip side, we need to ensure it can't be snap fired from the hip with the same effect, because then, in the hands of an experienced player, it becomes the game's most lethal short range weapon. Right, negating the sniper's primary weakness. <laughs> fair, 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 the fair, most fair, 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 lethal short range. Weapon. Yeah, fair, fair, fair. So to solve this, we implemented a charging damage meter that only appears when the sniper is zoomed. But then they completely neglected the fact that several of the classes are just not like abject to the charging meter at all. <sighs> the most lethal yeah. short range weapon. The most lethal short range weapon from the world. Do you guys, do you guys like when you when you're themselves. when you're like heavy? Do you get like quick scoped by like snipers? I'm not saying heavy. Yes. yes, I'm not. Also, yes. Does, I, yes. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just don't play in the same circles. Yes. I just play, I play casual. As maybe, a sniper so. player, as a sniper player himself, it is much better to just go ahead and just shoot heavy in the head twice with 150 damage than it is to charge a shot up. It is much better. Much more efficient, safer, easier to do. And that's also like with... I guess, you're the, I guess you're the professional sniper, so I'll take your word on it. I guess sniper's I, I, broken and needs to be removed then. I just... The justification for it is that just like... <laughs> we made... Yeah. But it's just like... This is the problem. In experienced hands, it becomes a lethal short-range weapon and a long-range lethal weapon. So to solve this, we did a, something that doesn't apply to like five out of the nine classes that Sniper has to fight. Yeah, and also, it if you don't sense. know how to shoot, just Gerardi Bushwaka for a one No, no, no. no, no. That, that, came later. That, hey, that came later. Hey, that came can later. I, wait, can I address something in chat? Um, Someone said, okay, but the dev commentary is literally referring to headshotting while unscoped. The point that Zesty's making is that they did not account for people quick scoping and firing people instantly, which which fundamentally accomplishes about the same thing. That is what Zesty is upset about. Thank you. I will now recede again. Thank you. Well, I'm not trying to like. Uh, I'm not trying to like blow everything up on your uh, stuff, you said. Like, if you have something to add, you can add it. No, 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 no. no, no I was, I, was I, I, I was doing a really good. I was doing a really good like a uh, like like uh, card card trick show while you guys were having that conversation. What do you What do you think about the uh, the sniper, Lucy? Do you think it's like an overpowered class? Because I, I, I frankly like I've just never had the experience of like being extraordinarily pissed off that a sniper who was five feet away from me landed like an instant kill headshot while I was at like full health. Like that just doesn't happen to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm. It's not really. In the wrong it's not really an emotionally emotional thing for me. I, I kind of dislike snipers in most video games because I find them to be either way too underpowered or way too overpowered, and I haven't really found a game that strikes a good balance there. Um, because the nature, I, I think that TF2's implementation is probably still relatively better than most, but still like a, a really really bad from a game design perspective. Um, I, I, I was going to say, going on that, I don't know how they came, like, this close to realizing the issue, but, like, fucked up on the execution of it, you know what I mean? Because they, they are, they are... For me, it's just, I, I never heard people complaining about it until the last, like, couple of years, so... Oh, I'll tell I mean, you, you why, me, okay? People like to blame the bot crisis. It might be the bot crisis, and fair enough, but you also have to keep in mind that um, a lot of classes had really overpowered shit, and all of that got nerfed. So Sniper, fundamentally, was, you know, fucked up. But then you also had things like, uh, like Puff and Sting, or the lock and load one shot at you. Ambassador, yeah, all of these other weapons. Yeah, Ambassador. There you go. Like a bunch I, of I other. I miss when all the I miss when all the classes were really, really powerful. I feel like it was a lot of fun. Exactly. So Sniper, like he was balanced. So you're, by you're the making the point the that he's classes. lagged behind because he's never been nerfed. Yeah, because it's an issue with the, with the class, yeah. not well, one because, of his yeah, items. Yeah, because he is. Exactly. I, I he can is see fundamentally... that. I, I can see you could. Um, I, like, I, I, I've heard people say that the Jurati thing is a kind of bullshit because it's it makes him too effective at close range, and I could I, I mean, could see an argument for that. But I, I, I just don't know. I don't know if I believe that the sniper rifle itself like is in desperate need of like some crazy change to nerf it. I think maybe like adding tracers to it or something. If that if, I that, agree. if that is what like everybody agrees is necessary, I like wouldn't you be added it. But I, I think like when Zesty you know goes on these tirades about a sniper is like an inherently broken class, I don't know if I agree with that to be honest. I don't know Did if I agree have, with his solutions, but I definitely agree with uh, with his general problem of just. But I'm, not, I'm also fun. not a game designer, though, right? Like, I, I, you guys, some of you guys, sounds like you've worked on games, so. 
or, or at least I mean, like I mean, the, none, none of us are game designers man none of us are game not designers. Of us. none of us have the exact perfect solution but we can all identify that there is a problem i do mm-hmm. think yeah, um, the too. problem more comes in because people the real divide people like see like yeah there's a bit of an issue here but people don't know if it's with the long range or like getting up close with sniper they just agree that there's a problem i have i am of the opinion that the long range aspect of sniper is more problematic than the close range one I, right i, agree. I think because the close range no is more unbalanced it. Yeah, I think the close range is more unbalanced, Wait, but I think the long range about is the, more the long range more element unfun. of the sniper. Because okay, if you're playing against sniper as a soldier, for example, too, sniper's at the back of the map. As a soldier, you have no real means of dealing with him, and he only has to land one headshot on you to really cause issue and potentially kill you. Because as a soldier, you're rocket jumping around to make the distance back. You get hit once, you're dead. Even mm-hmm. if he doesn't get a headshot, it's still a fifty damage shot, and that he can land that consistently. It becomes problematic, right? I'm of the opinion that that is more of a problem than if that soldier gets up close, the sniper throws Gerardi, the sniper switches to a bushwhacker, and then he hits and kills you. I think that's less infuriating and less problematic than the tiresome and t- like tedious covering, like going back and forth. Like I have to make sure this guy with a hit scan weapon a mile away ha- can't hit me once. That's and more. That, that argument how, applies how much to of that all is of the like uh, hold, hold on though. Like what about um? Are we considering this? A problem of the class when it could actually be explained as like a problem with like map design. Like you can't really do that on Dust Bowl. I don't Dust like Bowl that is, is a map. Dust Bowl is like a I... map that everybody constantly lampoons. This is a dog shit map. It's designed really bad. Well, it's it's designed for you know snipers to not be able to have like a crazy long sightline. There's that one like oh uh, there are some middle really of that bad sightlines on Dust Bowl. I don't know sniper the last has, time I played. Yeah, the issue with sniper on Dust Bowl in particular is because wait, Dust which Bowl... um. I don't know. I don't know, actually. There's the one that last, last point is in to spawn at the beginning yeah. of the control. Uh, last the, point the, is very bad. The, the last point? Yeah. Yeah, the, the other stage. stage. No, I was second gonna talk, stage I, and I was, third uh, stage are really, really yeah, bad second stage, with sniper yeah, sightlines. Yeah, I was going to say second stage first. Um, the first See, but sight that's, that's, the that's never the experience I have on Dust Bowl. I usually just get like shut down by like demo spam more than snipers. But I was going to say, the issue with this... Or flogged pyros. Flogged pyros. To me, like like to my mind, like talking about Dust Bowl... When I think of like, oh, I'm not having fun on Dust Bowl, I'm imagining flawed pyros like 90% of the time. That's awesome. so okay, I'm going to be bad. real. I actually don't think it's a problem because like if a flawed pyro with a medic, like I main soldier, I just shoot his feet and he like gets launched in the air and then like a fucking wrangled sentry takes him down. Uh, there maybe are I'm just far not good more ways to, that, but... to deter a flog pyro than a sniper that you can't engage with unless yeah. you yourself are playing sniper. And that's Every... why problems with sniper manifest on far more maps than any other class. If we're gonna yeah, use this is I, the, uh, example, yeah, here. I don't Dust like the map design very... argument. I don't like it because I one day I went through a random tier list maker, just like ranking my own thoughts on TF2 maps. And when eighty percent of my criticisms were bad sniper sight lines, I'm like, okay, this class is a problem. It has to be. Well, also there's like there's like fucking the bajillion maps, and most of them weren't made by people who were you know sitting down and refining them in the way that the original ones were. Yeah, but, but the even the old ones have shitty but even then, like the fact that map design is uh, the most sensitive to sniper is well, telltale. Zesty, Zesty, uh, before we get into like me trying to argue against like other people's like personal experiences, and also I'm not even trying to argue, I'm just like talking about the game. Uh, like, what what do you think is like a good example of a map that handles like sniper sight lines versus like a bad one, and not like what Phil? Like obviously like low hanging fruit. Like what what's a map that has good sniper sight lines and one that has bad sniper sight lines? To use I'm trying to think of one that doesn't have at least one atrocious sight line. You want my honest opinion? Or something? I, I would say, like, I know Harvest gets a lot of shit, but Harvest is generally not that bad when it comes to sniper sight lines. Compared Wrong. To I agree with that. Wrong. Wrong. No. Sniper no, is really no, genuine, bad. No, 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 no. Like, I want You're you to think of shit. No, I'm being serious. The issue with Harvest is less the fact that it is bad for snipers, is that snipers have a very clear defined spot to be in, which is good. Because a lot of maps do not have a clear defined spot where snipers should be in. Wait, so we they were can just shitting on two four for that a second ago. We were just shitting on two, two four for that. Two four is another good example. I, that wasn't me. That was more me complaining about like player mentality of two four being a bad map, not it being. I a bad think it's a problem. Map. Yeah, Mercenary Park's a good example. Shark Bay is a good example. Junction is a good example. Are these good examples or bad examples? Are these good? These are examples. examples of, these are examples of maps where sniper isn't oppressive because either the map has enough cover and verticality to break up sight lines, or it's close, or it's close quarters enough, like Junction is, where you can right. actually very easily push a sniper. Gravel pit. Well, those. Yeah, I feel like that applies to. I feel like that applies to most of um, 
like most of the early maps as well, like Granary and the Granary is horrible. Granary is so also, bad. hang on, just to just to wrap it back to the tier list real quick. Someone in chat said, "Wait, where uh, is oh, where is Granary bad with sight lines? Like last, maybe? Last, like, last, last, I feel like last maybe, isn't that maybe. bad. Last is um. All right, we'll keep going. I feel like last is always just like Good a job, fucking battle everybody. zone. I I don't know. Last last <laughs> point in addition to middle to kind of like the second point. If we're talking about like when, when I think about Granary, I don't imagine like I can't remember ever being like held down by a really oppressive sniper on sniper on last. Once a stalemate engages, sniper becomes the most oppressive presence on five CP other than engineer. Moving forward from like midpoint to one of like the next point afterwards, there's like an open area that has very massive long sight lines from the left and right flanks. In addition to a lot of cover, that sniper can kind of just stand on top of increasing a sight line with the shipping crates. It's a very impressive sight line. Up impressive. And then obviously that goes all the way out outwards to to like mid as well. If you're standing like on a defensive position, pushing out too, it's a pretty. I don't know, maybe sight. I'm just like not a good enough sniper to uh, to notice this shit because I just don't I, play the class very much. I'm a I'm a rat fucking sniper player, dude. Like I just I can see the shit. I know where the shit is. Like, um, there's one map in particular. I'm blanking on it right now, but there's a cracked window open. I think it's like a, a King of the Hill map. There's a cracked open window that is in a very shitty spot, but sniper can go ahead and crouch down, scope in it. You can't shoot him out from that spot. Uh, but frontier. Frontier has one like that too. Not the map yeah. I was thinking of. Mountain Lab as well has one Mount like that. Lab has one too. Yep. No, Mountain Labs isn't as bad, but the one I'm talking about is really fucking bad. It's on King of the Hill map, but uh, essentially it's overviewing the entirety of like where the opposing team would stand on a defensive position, and it's just like a fucking thing that you can't do anything about unless you're playing sniper as well. And even then, you're not likely to get him back. Yeah, Moss Rock's also horrible. Moss Rock's fucking amazing mm -hmm. in a bad way. I fucking love Moss Rock. There's so much bullshit I can do on Moss Rock, man. <laughs> hey, I the amount of oh, I wanted to. I, I wanna. I wanted to say because I never. I I, I pulled a. I pulled a, a, some decks of cards out, um, because I, I had like a thought about two Fort forever ago, and I just remembered what it was. And also, people. And also, there's a person, the Matt Mayricker, super chatting, and I want to address what he has to say. Um, but yeah, uh, t I, t my issue with 2-4 has nothing to do with uh, Sniper, and I think most people who bring it up bring up the issue of uh, there are only two ways to get to the Intelligence, and they all funnel you into the same direction, so defending the Intel Room is really easy, uh, yeah. Richter. That's that's the uh, the main issue, uh, design-wise, with 2-4, in my opinion. I so, think so Snipers the, 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 are wait, a problem, Wait, 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 so the problem is that it's too easy to defend the Intelligence? Yes. Yeah. How does that make it unbalanced when that's the case for both teams? Well, it's not that because no, no, wait, 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 so my, wait, my criticism is not that it's unbalanced. I'm saying that that is a problem with if if the design of the game mode makes it where both teams can very easily defend their own objective and no one makes any ground, then the game is no longer being played. There's just a constant stalemate, which is fine. See, if but you the, want that, to that play... brings me back into the fact that this like these maps were kind of designed for a different game altogether. Right? Like that, like two four was designed for like an engineer who didn't have, you know, like a. A frontier, or not a frontier justice. What's the one that shoots the fucking darts? The rescue, rescue ranger. ranger. Like it, it was designed for an engineer who couldn't pick up buildings or use a rescue ranger. So when you think about it like that, like these weren't like badly designed maps. Uh, okay. just, we, we've injected like so much stuff into the game I, over the last fifteen I, well, years. No, like there's a lot of there's a lot of like really apparent problems that have emerged as a result of like new gameplay strategies. I kind of I think Uncle Dane talked about that in one of his videos. Even if you, yeah, had I don't even disagree with that, but it video. doesn't mean that the that problem doesn't, mean doesn't well, exist. Well, yeah, like chess, yeah. chess is still a well-designed game, and it was designed like in the 16th century with minimal changes. Well, to we how didn't it's we didn't played. add new pawns and shit to chess, though. Like that's no, that's but, the but difference. new strategies were developed, right? It's the same. Yeah. It's the same general thing, obviously, because I, I think it was still a bad bad. Does it would have still well, been badly no, designed no, if we never got an update to the game? As engineers, that's just move a little different. As engineers, just place their fucking centuries. They don't have to move. Like we we added a jetpack to pyro isn't a new strategy. That's just fine. It's it was, just they added. It was bad shit. long before oh, them. I like like the second an engineer can place their century in the intel room, and you could just have five of them in there, and then they yeah. just win the game. That's bad. You should that should not be the way. Well, things you just are. go yeah. demo man. What do you mean? No, but how are you going to go demo man in there? Because there's five engineers. Because they could just leave your century at any time and go shoot you down. You, you just shoot them so. around the little wall. It's like awesome. Corner peak. <laughs> You got five people exactly. there going ahead there defending their buildings. They're just going to take. Well, hopefully you have a team who's trying to take it down with you. If they like, honestly, that's a that's like a really bad play to to stack like all your team as engineers in the intel room. Like you'll just but get blown up and then they run off with your intel. But it's a thing that happens so wildly, and like we're talking about like fucking team coordination in TF2. It's a rare thing. I, I feel like part of that might just be that people don't view two fort in that way. It's become like the meme map, like high tower. That's 
But that's what I said. Like that's kind of why I have a problem with it, and I don't envision it when I say I want to play TF2. I don't say I want to yeah, play Dust Bowl. It's because play it's become it's, the map that it's become. It's less TF2. the map, and it's more the people on the map and like the behavior of the map. If that mm. makes sense. How long has this tangent been? I don't know. I've just been having a discussion like with my buddy. It's been like anyways. Half an hour. Wait, Moving wait. on to fucking oh, I, waterfall. No, you can't, you can't. You can't even. We can't even change it anymore. Seal. Oh, Seal's I thought. I thought this was under further review, where we review game design elements or whatever this podcast is hey, about. It, I never said. No, I never wanted you to for... stop. I was moving on to a super. Hey, chat I was. was I wasn't yelling. Become... At, I was. I wasn't yelling at you, Goose. <laughs> okay. And I'm sorry. I was yelling at Wheezy, my lover. We're getting married. Soon. What do you mean, dude? Okay, UFR. It doesn't like. What does it stand for? It's like on uh, further review. Urethral. Uh. uh I got nothing You're else. You're gross, bro. Urethral was the first thing you thought of. That's wild. The first U word you think of is urethral. Urethral forward um, <laughs> resistance. There you go. Some guy's saying, hey, I doesn't like Uber go ahead and like counteract a sailmate? The issue with two, I guess we'll just say Uber in general, is that Uber was designed to break stalemates and is very good in rewarding medic. But then the issue I fucking have with this, and they also were like, hey, we made random crits to also go ahead and break stalemates as well. And that kind of just ruins every four momentum. You have a class designed to break stalemates, and then you have random crits that are designed to ruin that class's momentum to break the stalemate. I that's like random crits, crits too. I, I think if you like random crits, that's fine, but like the justification for them is not good. Like the reason why I'm random sitting random back and it's like good. you guys hate two fort, you hate random crits, you hate sniper. No, I like random are there, crits. I love like random crits. crits. I like them. Are there I like any like don't four game mechanics that TF2 shipped with that I, you actually don't like? like? Richard, <laughs> Richard, you're like completely taking crits. what I said incorrectly. I just said I like random crits, but their justification for them existing in the game I'm is sorry, very guy. I was, I was, I was just trying to be funny. I wasn't actually trying to like shit. I was gonna say you said you guys, and I was like, I like both random crits and two fort. Yeah, I can like some. I like two fort and still say it's it's bad. Yeah, I like. I, don't I love two for it. Have you guys I ever seen that casual TF2 great. video where he talks about uh, like how even if you don't like two for as a map, it's like a you just want to hang what out the there. Fuck? Like it's a very beautiful map. Joe Biden stepped down. What? Really? Moving on. We are not moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. I'm I'm not being polite here. I'm just Holy like oh shit. Moving on. There we go. Moving on. What the fuck? Yeah, you did. What the hell? Hey yo. What? I'm just I was just curious. Like it, 27 okay. minutes we're moving ago. on. We're moving on. We, I, holy, wait, holy. we are moving it's on, but can big. someone please clip that? Because that's an incredible. That was a wild <laughs> clip. That is an. That's amazing. fucking crazy. It's Jover. Um, so it's one Jover. thing I don't wait, understand wait, about wait, this though, wait, like what's um, wait, can I? What's what's the quality that makes him not able to run? As a candidate, Rick but Rick also Rick still Rick capable Rick of running Rick as a president. Stop! Stop! Rick stop! No, no, I'm, no, I'm just, stop, I like, stop, just, stop, just stop. as that one question. I'm not trying to Rick make this stop like, talking a now, <laughs> Richter. Richter, I'm your friend. <laughs> I'm listen. As, as, as your friend, stop okay, talking now. Zesty, I've stopped. I just uh, seal zebra super chatted five. That was your opinion on the crime bill, Richter. To say old map crime bill for Dust Bowl. Well, Gold Rush are designed with fun, grindy back and forth gameplay. It's a different design philosophy from new air maps. I I agree. Um, but I, I think there's a large gap between two fourth Dust Bowl and Well Gold Rush in terms of quality. I think Well and Gold Rush are much better maps. IMO. Um, I like all the maps. Also, uh, as a also same person as a map maker who works on fun projects in my spare time, designing maps around sniper sightlines is one of the most infuriating things in mapping. Give me in on it. Uh, what if you just put a bunch of walls in front of the sightline? Doesn't that fix it? Smile. <laughs> what if we just, uh, you know, what if we did that? What if we just gave, uh, what, like, okay, here, I'm just spitballing here. What if we gave one of the classes, like, heavy, right? What if we gave heavy a big ass shield? But, like, in no. exchange for using the shield, he can't use his minigun and instead has a hammer. Not the riot shield. Not the riot shield, please. No, 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 not the riot shield. It's like, it's like a bigger shield. And, but he can't use his minigun. He has to use a hammer. Just it's not a shield, but then it's a shield. No, it's not a riot no. shield. Riot shields are small. It's just a big shield. That's worse. It's like, it's like a force field. You can like see through it. I got a problem. If I have a problem with a small shield, I have a big problem with a bigger shield. Alan, do you get my and joke? See, see, the thing that's that's the thing that I think about though yeah. is like we're we're at a point where <laughs> thanks, it's thanks, like Alan. not that insane that people like people Trying don't hard. even find it that crazy to suggest <laughs> that the, the heavy get like a giant do shield it. or something. Of course, <laughs> the the game. Wasn't designed for like ideas like that. Like, the maps weren't. It's, 
just that the joke was it's just Reinhardt. Anyways, I don't know what the fuck we're talking I was, about. I was, <laughs> I was, I was <laughs> watching <laughs> that up. I was picking it up with Reinhardt, but I didn't know if you'd be like serious <laughs> was, about the Reinhardt. Reference. I was just doing a joke. I was just doing a joke. You should have Reinhardt. He would I, counter sniper. He would counter sniper sightlines. He just makes. Did you say he had a? Did, uh, if you said he has a hammer, I did not hear that. What did I tell you? I heard. Uh, so he could just I heard so hammers. many groans earlier oh. about the uh, the ambassador. What if I told you guys the ambassador kept the sniper in check? And that, it did. That it did. Fucked the sniper. Yes, the ambassador was fine. They should bring the. They should bring the sniper back. Or not the sniper. The ambassador. Zesty, you only have that opinion because Richter told you to have it. Okay. Yeah, that's no. not true. <laughs> I, I also hate. Dude, the justification for the ambassador there is like one of the worst things I fucking heard. It's like, yeah, when people get headshot from a million miles away, they're expecting a class with good aim to do it, but instead they're greeted with a spy instead of a sniper. Ergo, we're not gonna get, like, what? <laughs> what if we actually, what if we did put like Nicki Minaj cosmetics? You know what? I'm actually, I'm pro, and then, like, I'm pro the nerfing t- sniper by it, buffing it, the ambassador. I'm pro I'm, that. No, but, but, no, we need to add more cosmetics that obscure the head's hitbox so <laughs> it, it's more difficult for the sniper to hit shot. <laughs> Your point from earlier rings true in that they nerfed a whole bunch of weapons that did help keep Sniper in check in more situations than not, then as those things got nerfed, Sniper inadvertently became more oppressive. It's fucking stupid. Yeah, if they I nerfed guess the that's ambassador... True, but the I'd, rather, I'd rather they bring back, like, fun weapons than, like, make another class less fun. Could you like, imagine? I like yeah. No, I agree. Video. Could you imagine? Yeah. If they I, 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 instead of, the instead of nerfing the Sniper, bring, let's bring just back bring back the, the ambassador. ambassador. You know, could you, could you yeah, bring back the ambi, bring back the fucking gloves of running urgently and the, the eviction notice back to what they were. The, the way I view it is every time you nerf something, over. every time you nerf something, it's like a concession that we fucked up. And also, like, we need to remove somebody who's having fun with it. Like, nerfing a weapon always, like, ruins someone's fun. So, like, if, if we can just, like, add more fun somewhere else in a way that counteracts the fun one guy's having, I think that's better than removing one guy's fun. Like, that's, I think I nerfs know. can be justified if the mechanics around them actually just blow dick. Hashtag free hacks. Yeah, you probably hate the Sandman, Wheezy. Yeah, no, before. Like, the stun yeah, mechanics are always before, fucking bullshit. No one likes that. I, I, I thought it was kind of fun. I thought it was kind of fun. It was really fun. I was fun, but fun to play fun. against. I was, this, uh, I was playing this, I was playing this, like, 2010 build of TF2 with the old Sandman. It was so fucking fun, bro. It was really of course it's fun to use, but if you're playing against it, oh, sorry, you can't shoot even playing and against it. It's anymore. it's fun to have to like wiggle away from a guy. It's it's fun. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I just thought it, I I didn't think it was a problem personally. It maybe maybe it was from a ultra game design expect like perspective, but I thought it was fun. It's not ultra game. Design. I thought it's I thought the game. old ambassador was also fun. I thought the old Gaber was fun. There was a time when this game actually was that the most Gaber, fun you can have online. Gaber. Old Gaber yeah. and Sticky Jumper, please, so you can fuck snipers. It'd be great. Man, Agreed. I wish I could fuck sni- I mean, shit. See, if that's, if think that's, about the, angle, if that's the angle, like, buff old weapons that got, like, fucked into no, but the dirt think about so that all we can the attack sniper better, I'm fine with caber. that. They nerfed the caber, they nerfed puff and sting, they nerfed the lock and load, they nerfed the base jumper, they nerfed the fucking... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Zesty, yeah. Zesty, you gotta think about All this. The like, that's actually the things that, there's, there's a danger to, like, oh, we need to change this uh, class that, like, was designed this way so that we can uh, fuck with, like, balance and to make the game more viable for whatever. Like, I feel like you, you're, like, one of the most staunch advocates, like, against that. But, like, for some reason on Sniper, you're, like, uh, you, you use this... Hateful, violent rhetoric of how sniper. Well, thing is, I, I, I believe sniper up front. Also, sniper being, I'm being talking to you. No, no, no. But, but rhetoric, you're you're hateful and violent this. rhetoric. Thing is, my That's stance right, on this has been the capital. Thing is, my stance on this has been consistent, and I believe the sniper is a fundamentally flawed class, and that he's a, a total mismatch from the other eight because the other eight classes engage each other at close to at close to medium range, and then you have this, suddenly you have this long range class that, that can exist at an infinitely far spot away, and then if he kills you, you have no way to retaliate except just not appear in the sideline. Yeah, like how well, did they not the, think the way, that was a fucking problem? The way I view it, Zesty, right, is like like all these classes were created for like dog shit Quake TF in like 1997, and the justification for like all of them. Was wouldn't it be awesome if we had a minigun guy and then they added a minigun guy? That is so in that so way, I don't think the true. sniper. That no. is true. What do you mean? That is absolutely that is true. wrong. What do you mean? I, that's, that's just true. fun. That's just inher- That's just incorrect. Like the devs. What do you mean? Wait, wait, listen. I want. I want. Why, why is it incorrect? The, the devs talk about why they gave the certain class, the certain classes, the weapons that they did in their dev commentaries. They no, talk- no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not saying every single choice that they ever did regarding the game design, especially in TF2, was arbitrary. TF2 is not an arbitrarily designed game, but it's built from a game that was kind of arbitrary like we're modding quake and we just want to make something awesome so we added all these and, uh, these classes and like, specifically, else, what is it what is it they added they added the heavy because they watched rambo or something or, or or maybe that was the pyro they watched alien or something i, I remember how, reading about that how does that is, is Richter, something else you have to acknowledge is that in, 
Yeah, that's true. And Richter, something else you have to acknowledge is that in the early stages of the game, like within the first three years, there were a lot of tweaks and adjustments mm -hmm. to the classes to make them, you know, more fun, more versatile. You know, Engineer couldn't move his buildings, for example. Pyro didn't have air blast. Yep. These were things that were added later on to improve the gameplay experience. Sniper was never changed. Yeah. They only well, adjusted one thing, and that was adding the 0. 0.2 second delay between scoping in and critic. Yeah. That was the only thing they've changed on Vanilla Sniper since they added him. Yeah, I don't think... Well, I don't, I, and I think and that's, that, might, that may be true. Like, be that as it may. Like, I just haven't seen people complain about another, uh, that another being a problem until, like, the last couple of years. And I, I another, feel like it was partially incited by the bots. I, I, I do agree that the bot crisis made it more prevalent and people talked about it more. Don't get me wrong. But it, it has been a problem. Like, that has persisted for a very long time. It's just that, like, the bot crisis was, like, the straw that broke the camel's back. A big thing. With, I like, think it's funny that uh, like I'm more I'm more yeah, like um, like jumping at the bits to defend this class than the fucking actual sniper main. He's like, yep, it sucks. Fucking, it's evil. <laughs> Get rid of it. <laughs> well, I no, I, and I and I and that's why I say that the it should be longer than 0. 0.2 seconds. So the downtimes that are you know tunnel vision and not being able to move around very quickly actually come into play, and sniper can't hit fire his weapon. With I, I feel like I feel like they intended. Sooner, I feel like sooner than like just changing the class and changing the mechanics and making him weaker, we should consider like what we can do with the other weapons that exist to make it like a less oppressive playstyle. If the issue is, the thing is the Team problem Fortress. with that is that all of the classes still operate at medium to close range and can't retaliate against a sniper who's good and too far away. Okay, Team Fortress. The only you used to be able to do what you used to be able to do is you could take the dead ringer and you could go run behind enemy lines, and if there was a sniper being a prick, you could pick him off with the ambassador. But then, and it was then, like awesome. but then other problems arose with that is that the spy could tank fuck loads of damage and then never die. Like that was, I was, a, I was a, a very was, much needed nerf with the dead ringer. Well, I was, I wasn't talking about the dead ringer nerf in general. It was definitely a little over tuned. I'm talking about the ambassador. Say, um, in Quake Fortress and Team Fortress uh, One, um, sniper was a less oppressive class because classes in general had more movement options available to them. Nades could be used to spam snipers out from sight lines and stuff like that. That's pretty nades true. That is be, true. Nades could be used to give every class mobility to get up close to a sniper and like bridge the distance. Look, I forgot what point I was even trying to make by bringing up the original, like, like quick classes yeah. were arbitrary. I don't even remember but, what the fuck that was leading yeah. to. We got so sidetracked. That's but nowadays, obviously, TF2 very quickly got rid of grenades and those mobility options and made it much more. I'm gonna say generalized and accessible for like the time for people to get into, right? Because you don't have yeah. nade jumping anymore, you don't have damage surfing as much as now. Shit like that is not. There's not as much movement tech from TF1 to TF2. Good to get people in the game. Bad when moving forward in time, you got rid of everybody's ability. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if that's still true though, Space Guy. Because um, because there's a lot of movement tech in TF2 now, like a fucking lot. Not, when the game but was not released, that Team Fortress One, that was the issue. Because objectively speaking, every class had nades that they could use to get movement techniques off of. Nowadays with TF2, you have to use another person's ability to do that. Spy can obviously damage surf off of sentries and rockets, but he can't damage self uh, damage surf himself. There has to be some other impact. Well, what are we defining as like movement tech? Because the Dead Ringer like gives him speed boost and shit. I don't really know these like movement. these like new game design okay, terms. That's whatever not real movement tech is. I, I, movement tech is using something to your ability to go forward. Just having a speed bust that the Dead Ringer does not. That's not a speed. I, that's not a movement yeah, tech. I, I think the, throwing a nade down and using the explosion of the nade to go ahead and launch forward momentum and push past people is a movement technique. Yeah, it's like it's okay, like a yeah. it's like the difference between. Like backwards long jumping, backwards long jumping in, S in Super Mario sixty four is movement tech, but long jumping isn't movement tech because it's just movement. There's nothing technical in about it inherently because like, it's just a basic game mechanic. A walk okay, and a sprint is movement, right? Like a walk is slower than a, a speed. That's like what you're. I, that's not what I thought it meant. I guess maybe I'm just wrong. I, I thought it was just like anything you can use like skillfully with movement. Like uh, like is is surfing movement tech? Because that's yes, just moving. Movement that's not um. That's not no, using an ability. Moving... No, that's walking though. That's just, that that's movement. Yeah, a movement tech will be using the environment itself to go ahead and yeah. increase your speed. It's, that's a movement tech. Richter, I'm will, I'm willing to admit that it's like a really hard line to draw between like what is whether or not surfing is because you could argue a player does if a player does it by accident, maybe there's no intentionality, so it's not movement tech. But it's like a All there right. is a there is an inherent difference between something like like walking or walking with a speed boost, uh, and using that to your advantage and like rocket jumping, for instance. I, I, don't, I, I, I don't. I guess I see what you mean. I, I'm not super familiar with the term. I don't like argue about like movement tech and game design a lot. So yeah, it's all good. Um, These aren't terms I've had. Is there like uh, like something I should go read about this if I want to be fully well read for the next UFR? 
<laughs> no. Like, do I need to? I need to go read a game design document about Mario sixty four or something. Nah, I, 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 Pan and Coic makes good videos. Um, shout out to Pan and Coic. Uh, anyways, yeah, this map tier list is a thing that we were doing like an hour ago. I was having more fun just like Ugh. bullshitting about TF two, but uh, we well, can don't... continue the map tier list. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have. Well, we have to because it's the point of why we're here. Um, so we have to get there eventually. That's not what you tell all the chatters. Someone, some, someone told me to go look at Twitter and Reddit, and I regret it. I didn't no, even boy. do anything. Bar Why are people mad at me? I didn't say Wait, anything. Did what? No, no, no. There's no way, dude. People Wait. are getting mad at me. I didn't There's even say no way. shit. I was what trolling. Do I do? Did they actually take that seriously? Wait, hold on. No, no it's, not, it's not from UFR. It's, dude. Just because the item, it's just because the item exists and people are getting mad. Like, it's getting oh. worse. I didn't say shit. What, okay. What I, Look at oh, what you did. I reason. thought it was genuinely like a UFR clip that people... Took out of context. No, like people are DMing me, like when they like someone just asked me what did I do. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Man, that's fucked. Uh, okay, can we talk about that shitty fucking King of the Hill map that everyone likes that I don't? Yes. I don't like it. I'll tell you, but like the fucking the one with the helicopter, right? It's. The, oh no, I, like I don't like King it. Of the Hill map. No, I don't like it. I'll tell you why. Why? Okay. Because Why? you can put a sniper next to that fucking helicopter and they snipe that entire space that leads to your spawn and you can't fight back because they just obscure all incoming fire with the helicopter and you can't even yeah, soldier bomb them because then you suck. get fucking jolted into the fucking propeller. Yeah, that sightline does suck. It is awful. It ruins it. And then on top of that, all the other shit, like I like the main point. I actually like playing the objective on that map. But, like, all the other obscure places, I don't know. They're just, like, not fun to fight in. They're too claustrophobic. I don't like it. I think the map is fun. I haven't played on it. It looks fun, except that sight line. Because I pointed that out in my little my little stream or video up thing I uploaded. Like, I immediately was able to point out that sight line that kind of goes across the point near the helicopter. Without even playing even on it, it, I acknowledge that the problem. So, yeah, but that's the, fact the worst you part. Even, you like, can't the fight. fact you can't even, like, fight against it sucks. Yeah, you can't even shoot like, oh, I'm a soldier, I shoot a crit rocket, and, you know, he kills me, but we trade. No, it doesn't work, because it just fucking hits the helicopter tail, and then he stays alive the whole game. So, I, I think it's an overrated map. I don't like it that much. I, I need I to I'm play on it to see how bad it is. I haven't played on it yet. It's not that fun, in my experience. The main point's really good, though, I think. One of the I'll better be right design back. points in the game. So you know what I think is really underrated? Oh yeah, put up the tier list again. Sorry. Yeah, where, where in the tier list would you put Ka Ka Kacharia? I guess I say it. Kach Ap um, I was I was I was doing research into your statement, Zesty. My apologies. People were fuck. It's so dumb. I just, it just, I just people, wake up. Um, that was just crazy. <laughs> I would put wow. it. I mean, personally, I would put. I put it like low C, but I think C is fair. I think other people would put it B, but um, yeah. I'm, I'm I think I think I still think we rated Applejack too harshly. I, I it's just hard for any CTF map to be really high in my opinion. It's, I think it's fucked it's up to almost just, A. I think it's fucked it's up almost to ruin a. it because of the, 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 the game mode though. It's a high B, okay? I'll put it as a high B. Alright, whatever. Hadal. I will I'll say this. Applejack is definitely almost one almost the best map they added in this update. Yeah, behind the the the, the, the other one. What the fuck? The, the, yeah, the other one. The, I, <laughs> I, went, yeah. I gosh. Overgrown? Um, Isn't it overgrown? Overgrown's the Overgrown like is it. horrible. Overgrown is one yeah, of the worst where's... maps ever fucking made. Where... Uh, what the fuck is the king? I wouldn't go what that far, but I don't like it. Thinking of? Yeah. Is it Overgrown's king... terrible. It's like it's like it's giant a knotted up spaghetti bowl opening up into giant open area where you just get spammed out and die to snipers and like campy engineers into okay. giant spaghetti bowl into another giant open area that mm -hmm. you can't push into. Ho Overgrown is fucking awful. Horrible, it's like horrible every... gameplay. Every part of the map has a problem where it's like, okay, you can go the bottom route, but then you you lose the height advantage. You get shot at. You could go on like the, you know, like the little planks or whatever, but that's like so narrow that you're eventually going to get pushed down into the fucking yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, spaghetti no, bowl, as you put it. Me. And then, on, no. and then there, there's one really good flank, but you can put a fucking sniper there and the whole fucking flank is fucked. Right. So I, it's just, it's not fun. And then the like, it basically crash repeats can make the exact map. same dynamic. On the Crash can point. make good maps. What happened here? It's such a like. Uh, I think it's it's definitely one of his older maps he's done. But this one is, oh man, it's bad. I like. I Chekawa. wouldn't put it F. Uh, honestly, I'd put. I think Megatron's worse or Megaton. Uh, Megaton, it's worse. I think. Uh, I think yeah, I, I wish it was Megaton's Megaton. worse. 
I would I, I would say D tier. Uh, visually better. I prefer Megaton more than uh, Overgrown, but I do think both are bad. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, what? Yeah, I feel I would, like Megaton isn't that Overgrown. bad if there aren't any snipers. Whereas I feel like Overgrow is bad even if there aren't. Are, are yeah, Overgrow is always bad. I would say. Zest yeah. Zesty, which yeah. map is better than Applejack? I'm I'm genuinely looking at these five and I'm trying. Oh, to I got a hot take. I want to say I, I want to say the um. People will probably get mad at me, but I, I want to say uh, Hadal is the best one they added. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, not the no, best. No, not the best. Adam Smash. Adam Smash and good. Hadal are better. A, okay. Yeah. It is a good like map. It. And actually, uh, my hot take is the 5 CP map. I think it's like, uh, what is it? Car, car, uh, Can I don't know. It's, yeah, kind of it's, it's, it's Canaveral. Cape Canaveral, Florida. I love yeah. that map. I think that map is mega underrated. I think it uses verticality on the last points in very impressive ways that very few maps do. I think yeah, they actually Canaveral give you... Yeah, they okay. actually give you... like. Here's the issue, okay? So a lot of 5 CP maps will like force you into going high uh, to like get some kind of leverage. But... That one actually works because on the right side, they actually give you a fucking media med kit so you can stay up there for a while, keep applying pressure. You don't need to retreat as often. And it's like a nice, like, big plane so you're not getting sniped that easily. And then something they did that's really smart is on the other side, they have a giant room where you can set up in. The attacking team can see through the window, but the defending team can't. So you can actually oh, yeah. set up a whole fucking wrecking ball in there if you want to, and then just ambush them from the top. And it's it's so good. It's so yeah, well designed. The, I the, like the it. The brief amount of time I've spent on Canaveral, it is a really fun map, and no, I, I think visually that, yeah. it's really nice for like for a five CP map. It's probably one of the best they've added in recent years. I, I agree with space, best, though. If not, if not one of the best ones in game. I was gonna. Yeah, I was gonna space, say go the ahead. one thing I don't like about Canaveral is that it's not a good five CP map. It is a perfect. Yep. Three CP map though. Agreed. Yeah. Yes, you can yes, you can yes, shrink yes. it down, remove the second yeah. points, a hundred percent. Yeah. Well, it's weird because there is a free CP version of it on the workshop that just takes out the middle point, like the two in between points, and it's yeah. a much better map because those two yeah. like points in five CP just feel real congested and like don't last a long time. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. They seem kind of pointless. But we other than that, I think it's like yeah. personally, it's my favorite map of the update. I like it a I lot. I want to I put it pleasantly here, surprised. I'll let you take. I'll let you take the reins on Canaveral. I say B, but what about you? Uh, yeah. I would. I would give it A. I, I still wouldn't give it S. I don't think there are any S tier maps this update. No, but I think it's the not. best one. Okay. Um, I think it is actually just like the the way they work with the verticality. It is. It is a thing that TF2 maps rarely do right, and I think this one does it right. I agree. Uh, um, I do want to say that Hadal is not A, but it's the top of B above Applejack, in my opinion. I'm with you. I actually, I completely agree with that. I, I haven't played, I have played two of the new maps, or two of the maps from the new update. Um, I think the Listen, issue with... why, why are you and me on a panel discussing these maps if neither I, of us have played, like, any of this? I, <laughs> I think I, I think I played Megaton and that's it. I, I, because I, I looked into the maps ahead of time to, like, see what I was getting into, um, it's just that for like I don't remember Canaveral enough to like comment. I remember I remember Applejack, Megaton, and Bargo and Overgrown uh, and Hadal. But I, I saw don't a lot remember. of people complaining that Applejack was like a My Little Pony joke. I think it's that's fine. such a bullshit reason. It's fine. They're ten like, years late for that. Like even, even, even if it is, it's not the end of the world. It's fucking. It's a horse. <laughs> like it's it's not the worst thing. Also, Applejack sounds like I don't a name know of Duke, an orange, uh, so it, that's fine. Like Gabe Newell is a is a brony. I don't know if you guys know yeah, that. Looks I think like of cereal. Um, I think the issue of Hadel, by the way, is less so the map design, but more so it's like steel, you know what I mean? And which, if you get into a game, half the time you're just not going to get people who know what the fuck to do, and it kind of ruins the experience. Uh, that was my that is a problem. I'll tell you the yeah. biggest fucking problem with the map right now is the first point isn't that good. I don't like it that much, and other people agree. So what they do yeah. is they get a whole team to go fucking storm the main point, and right now no one knows where the fuck that is. Yeah. <laughs> you, could, like, you could literally just storm the main point, and everyone gets lost trying to get there. See that? Yeah, that's oh, it's my cool only that it's, um, um, it's cool here. that it's cool that Hadel is like an underwater map. I haven't seen many of those. That's my issue with uh with Harp for the record because I just I played Harp earlier today, and as someone who doesn't know how the fuck that map map works, the entire lobby was confused. Like no one knew what to do. It was wild. That was a crazy. And, and thing. Harp is easier to read and understand than Hadel. You just take yeah. box to point. Point is caps. It's it's mm -hmm. simple and linear, I, very linear. Zesty, I kid you not. The the entire chat was just going what, huh? Like the entire match, it was, it was uh, kind Uncle of hilarious. Utopia and its consequences. I okay. I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm I'm, I'm subject to that. I I did not know what to, the fuck to do.
I, okay, I, I and the the one. medieval map. I think the medieval map is great. I'm so happy oh, it's, it's dope. in the game. It's, I, I've um, not played on it, but I'm so happy they added another another medieval map that is not Halloween. I, it is. Opinion. I'll tell you. I, I've played it several times. Here's what it is. So in normal day group keep, I like this more than standard day group keep, and I'll tell you why. Is because on that map you get these little like shit fests on the point. You know there are three points, but it, it's mostly congested around the end. Mm -hmm. Right, so you'll, like, you'll get these like 4v4s on the point on like the first one and then like a 3v3 on the second and then like a 5v5 on the third or whatever the fuck. With these maps, they are all one point and they're multiple stages. Mm -hmm. So you get like fucking 10v10 fucking Demo Knight fucking swing fest fucking sword fighting on this one is point it, um, for like two minutes straight. The melee hit reg is fucking awful. Everything is trash and it's amazing. It is the most jank fucking map in the game every single stage. And it's awesome. It's so much fun. Yeah, crazy. Is, it, is, is yeah. it just stylized like a medieval map, or does it actually have the medieval mode on it? It has medieval. Uh, it's medieval. It, it is medieval, yeah, mode. medieval mode. Oh, that's really cool. I'm glad they added another one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, is, I, it is a very welcome addition. I almost, like, I want to give it A, because I just, I'm so happy that there's finally an alternative. But it's not that impressive, I was like, gonna, realistically. I, I would say My B. issue is, yeah, I'm in a group with, like, B or C. Visually, yeah, sure. B tier. This is one yeah, I would just start really, yeah. really early on. There was a uh, there was a payload medieval map that was really popular. I'm kind of sad yeah. that it never got added. Uh, visually, I think Berghausen is like the worst map on this list because it's just kind of like um, Rottenburg. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, but standard about it. In addition, but, you know, it's, it's medieval, not visually like worse yeah, than right. the two maps in F tier, surely. But I uh, but I also think it, I like I said I rather have like visually standout maps more than like generic blending in. So I'm in, I'm in disagreement there. But then the other issue I have too is like for the medieval game mode, it doesn't do like a lot to really push that. You know what I mean? Like I the agree. like I like I said like the group keep has that one stone like on blue side that you can shrimp off of and like fly over the castle gate. Berghausen doesn't have anything like that. Shrimping is like uh, not yeah, I guess that's a good point. I just find the fucking nine v nine like f uh, shit fest on each and every point. It's like imagine that, but all the time. I fucking yeah. love it. I love it so much. It might get old very fast, uh, but um, hey, uh, I, in the time that I played, I had a great time. Oh uh, hey Weezy, um, and everyone else, what's up? Ratlobber asks, does A tier mean it's an A A map overall or just out of this bunch? If it's oh just out of the bunch, just out of this bunch, bunch. Okay. yeah. Yeah, I, I would say it kind of translates I, to overall too, though. I I think uh, that you could bump uh, all of these maps probably down one tier if we're talking overall. I'd say like half a tier, but like by and large, I they're agree. saying let Radlobber join. They're saying let Radlobber join in the chat. They want that. I, I it's I, one guy. For the record, I have <laughs> I have offered Rat for Radlobber to join on multiple occasions. Uh, Richter, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, another issue of Berghausen is like the fucking sniper braziers are fucking everywhere, like unnecessarily everywhere. Like the second stage has like six back to back is is a bit ridiculous. I disagree, or I mean, I disagree that that's a problem. I don't care. I still think Bowman sniper isn't that good on this map because there's only one point, so you don't even really need that much like versatility of uh and, and like the no, know, the but flexibility like of having projectiles. It's something that like you get stuck on though, because there's like a there's like a lot of them. It's really excessive, I think. Oh, I mean, if that's a problem, then sure. Yeah, I haven't seen that, but uh, Zesty, could happen. Zesty, can you look at the super chat and tell me what it means? What? There's someone super chatted to tell you something. I don't know what it means. Um, no, please stop sending me construction PDAs. Okay, thank you. That's all I needed to know. I don't stop. He keep, this guy keeps getting more and sending a trade offer with more and more and more, and I keep refusing. <laughs> and he just keeps getting more. Uh, so we're good with Stop. we're good with B for Ber, 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 the, the the medieval. Yeah, medieval I'll map. I'll settle on B. Sure. Okay. It's not like on a wide scale, very impressive, right? And it's not going to be like a mainstay for basically anybody. But I'm very happy it was added. Yeah. When when I played, it was a, a bit too claustrophobic. But I'm also biased against medieval mode, so that's why I went B. I kind What's of your beef with medieval mode? It's pretty fun. Uh, uh it's just. I guess I don't have a good enough hang on the... This is going to sound cringe, uh, because I know a lot of people peg me as being like, oh, that guy doesn't know anything about TF2. A lot of people yada, peg yada. you, all right. All right. <laughs> a lot of people say that... Sorry. A lot of people like to say that I'm like... Oh, I Christ. I'm a, I'm a newbie or whatever. I don't know about TF2 or whatever, so this is going to sound cringe coming from me. But I don't... Um, I don't I don't really... I'm not, I don't have a good enough handle on how... Like, how, where to hit with melee weapons. So playing medieval mode as a character that isn't spy feels really strange to me. There's, uh, um, but it's something I'll grow into, I'm sure. I'm not sure how relevant this is, but I played um, Team Fortress 2 Classic and it had an update, like, someone recently that added, like, a new medieval mode map and it's got, like, fucking insane shit. 
and it's really fun actually. You should try it sometime, Lucid. Oh, interesting. I haven't played. It adds like a, it adds like um some like barbed wire that heavy wraps around his fist or something. It's very strange. Hmm. TF2 classic. It, it was a lot of oh, Chekhov's fucking yeah. I know what you're talking about the one that where he gets like crits on kill or something like that. Yeah, playing with that in medieval mode is kind of crazy. Uh, I want to play TF2 Classic solely because it uses a uh, compacta black in the logo, and that font goes fucking hard as shit. It's a really good logo. Uh, also, uh, Seal Speed a Swaggy super chatted uh, two pounds and said, "Tell uh, Zesty to do his bingo chart for the update." Um, which I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure there wasn't bingo. Uh, at least so far. I had I had a bingo card that I was gonna do on stream, but mm. then I was in a place where I couldn't stream, so. Mm. I, I saw the bingo. I'll, I'll probably do it when I get back. I'll do it when I get back very quickly because people probably want me to comment on the summer update, even though I put out a video on my channel. Yeah. Uh, Seal Zebra. Lisa, check this said, out. I'm going to send you something you might find interesting, relevant to your last video. All right. I'll check in a second. Uh, Seal to Zebra, uh, Super Chad 2, to say if Zesty doesn't want the PDAs, Richter can have them. I look up to see. I'm sure Richter would love all of your construction PDAs. I don't even. I have like I have like 12 items in my TF2 inventory, man. I'm not taking your PDAs. I'm sorry. <laughs> But you could uh, you could resell them on the community market. I could, I guess. I don't know how much are they worth. No, but check out this uh, this thing I sent you, Lisa. I feel like you might find it interesting. Uh yeah, I, I I yes. I I wish I I wish I had known so I could have interviewed um interviewed her for the video. She just. Hey, you look at her uh, her drawing. She's very obsessed with the female form. No, yeah, no. It, she she is good at drawing it. <laughs> I sent him. Um, I sent him Andrea Wicklands, or I guess I guess that's like an Americanization of her name, because her her Instagram is Andrea Wickland. Mm. It's spelled O N D R E A. But yeah. that's uh, the person he's describing in that video mm -hmm. as having made all the TF2 fonts. I sent her art Instagram because yeah. I think it's interesting. Yeah, no, it is really it is really interesting. I had no idea until I went. You should pull it up. Pull it up for the people. Pull I know. I'm not, no, at least, it's um, a lot of it's a lot of naked women. Um, I, it, Ooh. Please. It's not. Oh, uh, actually, uh, actually, maybe some of it you probably couldn't get away with. No, I, Are they hot? Do they have big titties? I, I'll post it in the. I'll post it in um in the little podcast dinner. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I, you can have a look. Oh dear. This, Do you guys think he would get in trouble for showing this on stream? Uh, I can tell you right away. Uh, Booba. Somebody's saying to write it in chat. It's Andrea. Uh, to write that. Hmm. I don't know. This oh, is like Instagram. historical kind of. I wouldn't. Yeah. Oh, I don't have Instagram, so they, I can't they, look at this. Cool. They don't care, bro. They do not care. Yeah, I, they might not care. I'm, they do not. I care thought it was interesting. I thought Lucy would find it interesting. I, I do. Right. I, I wouldn't I risk it. it oh, though, I'm but... fulfilled in this interaction. Yeah. No. I, I do find it interesting. Thank you, Richter. I, I really did enjoy researching her for the for the uh, project. I had no idea she was like one of the lead artists on TF2 when I went into it because there's like some really conflicting information on what game she did and didn't work on. Um. So uh, when I saw that she was the person who did like the the TF2 dev about the art direction, I was like, "Holy shit, that's crazy!" Holy fuck! She also had it used to have a website, and I wish it was still up. But yeah. Anyways, uh, there's there's archives of it. You can see it. I couldn't. I I went to the Wayback Machine and did not find any. Oh well, whatever. We can go back to TF2 maps or whatever the show was. Uh, well, we, got, Odyssey. we got one yeah. more. Well, there's one left. I fucking Dave, love you think of this. I fucking love Odyssey. Okay, the issue I have with Odyssey is like I love the gimmick of it always being downwards until the very yep. end where it flips. I like that. That's a very good balancing because typically defense Agreed. On a load is usually screwed over and it flips at the end and gives them a good advantage. However, uh, visually also very good gimmick. Uh, visual design, very good. Map is very nice and bright. Looks amazing, right? Only problem I have with it currently is that there's some bullshit fucking spots where engineers can place buildings, I've noticed. And I'm hoping point that two. gets fixed. Yeah, um, point two, point for one, sure. Point one, especially, too. There's a crate right at the start where there you can like put the engineer sentry on a corner and there's just no flank. You can't do anything about it. You can't spam it out from distance because it'll reach you. Um, and I think there needs to be more health kits available because currently, point one, very badly... Only health kit on that is right by a death cliff where, like, the entire enemy team can see you. There should be more health kits scattered here and there. Mm. Solid A or B tier, though. Really? Mm. Yeah. I would put it, like, top of C. I, I, I was kind of leaning towards C based off of visuals uh, alone. I think For me, it just... I, I'm with you. I really like the gimmick of, like, blue having the height advantage. Because that never happens, and I'm happy we have it. Um, I just... I think there are some spots where... 
Yeah, like you said, it's just it isn't even for me sentries in my experience. It's where it's areas where the entire team can gang up, shoot you from that perch, and there's just nothing you can do. I think the second yeah. point there, like, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I'm missing something. It feels like there should be a flank on the second point, and there isn't. There is one, but it's not a good flank because it kind of just like loops you around like to the front of where everybody would be like on the main path. It doesn't like take you behind or to the side. It just puts you yeah, further well, ahead. I've never been on blue trying to get to the flank, but I have been on red trying to flank and I couldn't find it. And it feels like there's a flank there. Like, it, I don't know. It's Maybe like I'm missing back. something. That might be one. I should it's try like that again. Down. The map's very pretty. Um, oh, it's a drop down? Yeah, it's like a drop down. Oh, okay. Makes sense then. Sure. Like an overhang. I'm fine with uh, either bottom of C or sorry, top of C or bottom of B. Bottom I would B. put top of C. You think? I'll, I'll settle for bottom of B, C but tier. I don't. Uh, C I'm like because I hate its visuals. I, I, I would have rated it far lower it. because I think its visuals are not good. I, but I, I love visuals love the alone, visuals. I would put it C. I have not played the map, so I'm rating on visuals alone. I love the visuals. I think you're cringe. How about that? Like, if, if you want to pick out, icon. You pick out, like, if you want to pick out something that looks Overwatch, look no further than Odyssey. And someone brought up a really good comment on uh, that I read, and they said something that's very alluring about TF2's environments is that there's an air of there's no specificity in where you are. Mm -hmm. You're always in a vague location with facilities that have been set up and built into the existing area. Whereas mm -hmm. if you look at something like it would be like the dead, well, like in the desert, supposed to be or the vague, mountains. like spy bases that are like intentionally like... deceptive. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah, and 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 very and not like in a defined place, right? Okay. And so when you have something like embargo, or when you have something like Odyssey, it's like, oh, the Mercs are visiting Brazil, or the Mercs are visiting Greece. It doesn't really feel TF2 because it's too. And, and, other, and other maps in TF2 suffer from this as well, like Egypt, Egypt and Sweden. Lakeside and Sweden. Um, Koth King, to a lesser extent, Koth King, because Koth, Koth King is more general city, whereas Egypt is Egypt, and Sweden is, is you know, like, Japan. Japanese temple, right, mm -hmm. Japan, so that's, like, my biggest problem is, like, oh, you, you have the fucking Parthenon, and you have the big columns, it's like, oh, okay, so yeah. we're just in Greece now. I, I don't think that's a problem, though, like I said, it's visually stand out more, and it plays all right currently. I, I, like I said, I'd rather have a map that stands out on its own visually then blends in with the rest fucking ics is, maps oh so, no so here's the thing here's the thing man i i like the fact that it's taking place in a marble mine in a, in a marble quarry i think that's a really clever idea mm -hmm. i just dislike that they felt the need to like oh yeah we're in greece now like well why you could have leaned into like the marble quarry idea and like the area where you're in that is a marble quarry and the, and the point that comes before we have all like the red shed and facade around there that looks really good but the first half of the map, where like you're just roaming around Greece and looking at all these ancient ruins, is like, ah, uh, this isn't TF2. What's like the big ass I... saw thing? What is that? That's the oh yeah, and, uh, yeah. It's a it's a big it's a big quarry cutter, and people got really mad at me in my like, comment on like you don't have big machinery in TF2, and my point still stands because when you come to, when I'm gonna ramble now, not that like, fucking autis big, autis aut autistic rant autistic rant coming in. So when you're making TF2 maps, a lot of the facilities, like on both blue and red side, look like they have been comprised of a lot of other small components that have been pieced together. So you have a lot of very smaller geometric shapes that come together to form one big environment. Or you have these smaller geometric shapes kind of being built into the existing world, the existing hillsides, geometry, what have you. You never have large, solid, gargantuan things looming over the entire map even f even other details like you go to so like someone brought like a uh, it was either pipeline or nightfall or nucleus or doomsday all of these things like the big glowy thing over the middle of nucleus looks like it's been built up of other smaller components and it is also sticking out of the fucking you know mountainside inside of this so pit. does this uh, does this quarry cutter actually come down or anything is it yes important? yes it does. No, it's part of the game, it's oh, part of the that, game. that's not as bad then if it's but at least still, important, like, as long as it's not a giant fucking distraction that doesn't mean anything to no, me. No, no, no. I if no, but I like, but like visually, when character. you have something big like that, that's it, that's not really something you expect to see in TF2. Is like one giant thing interacting with the world. Is it's not really. It doesn't feel like something you would see in the game, right? That's why that's I don't weird. Like it. Hello. I think it's Hello? cool. Oh, everyone like just it. stopped. That was weird. I think it was cool. I'm not gonna it's lie. Space up for it's a got moment. a custom. It's got a custom kill icon, dude. You can't argue with that. I, again, you guys like for me personally, I'm not really a big visual wonk with this kind of stuff. 
not to say it's like, oh, if you care about this, you're wrong. It's just, I don't know. The way I'm wired. It I matters to me, damn shape. it. There is, there is one map in the entire game that I do not like. Uh, and I refuse to play on visually uh, just for the visuals. And you guys are sure. going to be like, what? But it's true. Gully wash. I cannot play on gully wash. It is too That's fucking right. bright that like the sun is too shiny and it reflects on the ground. And it's just it's fucking ugh, it's so bright. I hate it. Oh, that's that's a weird pick. It's pretty normal. Well, I know. It's, yeah, I'm the only person on the planet that has a problem with how Gully Wash looks. Motherfucker, could have said like Erebus or like. I, I feel like if that's your concern, IGF isn't map? Egypt like infinitely worse on that front? It's just totally fucking Egypt. blinding constantly. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Maybe Venice. I don't know. I don't have a problem with it. I can't explain why. I think Egypt. Uh, if we were like doing a tier list on TF2 maps that look like Overwatch maps, uh, then Egypt is S tier. Dude, Egypt. You mean Lakeside, not Egypt? No, Egypt looks oh. like an Overwatch map. It, it bothers me. I, it looks exactly uh, like uh, the, the map that takes place in Egypt in Overwatch. No, that that's Lakeside though. That's not Egypt. Yeah, no, I Wait, what the I fuck? think he Wait, I what? think he is talking about Egypt, but Lakeside I actually agree is a better pick. Wait, what? Hold Lakeside on. is the more Overwatch map. Lakeside looks like Temple of Anubis, like one to one. It's just as like the rotation of spawn points is like flipped. Egypt looks. If that makes sense. Oh no, yeah, you're right. Sorry, Lakeside is the one I was talking about. My bad. Yeah, oh, I'm right. Egypt... You're wrong, idiot. I know yeah. my maps more. I'm, I'm the best. I'm sorry. I had a I had an image in my head and it was Lakeside. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, give him a break. He only has four hours in the game. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I'll have you know. I'm almost at 600. Oh, he has six six hours, guys. <laughs> Divided by 100. That's how many hours he has. Hours. Uh, but no, it'd be like Phoenix, Lakeside, and uh, and Odyssey. Those would be like the S tier of maps in TF2 that look like Overwatch maps. I don't think it's a bad thing though. I think it's pretty. I, think bad. Gonna, I don't. How is it bad though? Because I just I say like they look. I I think in contrast to the older maps that do not have the same level of visual quality, there's an argument for it. I, but then I can also say, like, look at Chile or look at fucking any ICS map. That's bad even by that standard. I think that uh, when maps look like in TF2 look like a completely different game, I think it's a slippery slope. And also, I, I they just it clashes too much with other how other maps look. See, but where, where are we on the slope, Lucid? Because I feel like we've been a, a good ways down the slope for over 10 years. But no, I, I'm not, I don't disagree with that. But it does, it, it's like a whataboutism, Richter. It's like, oh, yeah, well, there are these other maps that have been bad for forever. So who cares? It's like, well, I care. I think all of them are bad. I think all of them have. I think that is an issue with all of the maps that don't look like the the, the core TF2 art style. Like I'll, I'll be consistent. It, it's, I'm not saying it's like a problem that can be fixed. The maps are in the game. It's not like we're gonna move them or remove them or whatever. I feel like you might be a little selective though, because like um, you're fine with like the MF Doom mask, and that's definitely not the I, core principles of TF2's art style or whatever. I, it's the correct colors, and like it's a, it's a medieval mask. If you're gonna be upset with, I'd be fine with someone if they were upset, upset with the, the, the like all of. The I want there to cosmetics. be like somebody needs to just make a. I guess they have this with TF2 Classic, but I just wanna. I want like. The original vision of TF2 to be its own thing, so we can just appreciate the fucking wackiness of what we have. Because it's not going away. We're not fucking unwacky TF2. So I, I, it's, I, I, I want I want somewhere to experience like the basically. Joy that I the think game Lucid used to just have. wants Lucid just wants what can be unburdened by what has been. I, <laughs> yeah, that's a good that's a good point. I think <laughs> that uh, I I think that I, I it's Richter. I'm not asking for change. Like, I think whenever you talk about, I, I don't know about Zesty, but whenever you talk about, like, how the rest of us talk about, like, TF2's art style, I don't think any of us are asking for change, necessarily. Um, especially, like, change to, like, like we're not trying to unwackify TF2, because obviously it's not happening. Um, I, I, I'm more talking about it from, like, an objective, like, art criticism standpoint. That's how I look at it. Or game design, art criticism. Game design, if you're talking about team recognition. Art criticism, if you're talking about everything else. Um... That's that's how I look at it. It's not like a like a, oh I want the game to change necessarily. I'm glad that we're getting better cosmetics, and I think that people like Zesty help. I agree with that. that. But that, that's I do that's not really what I'm yeah, talking about. The cosmetics in this create like the worst thing I could say of them are like whatever. Like I don't know. Okay. I spent so long like arguing with people about TF2's art style and how like every single element of this game has been like totally uprooted. Like anything that at what point was the like. A stalwart position in in the TF2 art style. This is something that is ap applicable around the board. Every single one of those is like gone. It's, like, it's none of them have been uh, like unturned. No stone has been left unturned with it. So it, it's it's gotten hard for me to sort of. Uh, it's got to a point where I just have trouble even like arguing on behalf of any fucking uh, standards at all because like you, you look at it, and it's like every single standard has been broken at some point, and at a certain point you have to just take the lessons that like you got and like the beautiful things that you took from the game and its original art style, and you have to accept that other people 
didn't fall in love with like 2007 TF2. They fell in love with fucking 2015 TF2. As dog shit as like that might be to you, mm-hmm. but um, I don't know what the fuck point I'm trying to make. But the, the point is, yeah. I've gotten disillusioned with like trying to argue for the art style anymore because uh, I just fucking play. If I care about that, if I wake up in a mood and I'm mad about how the art style is being fucked over, I'll just go play TF2 Classic. It's not a great solution, but. Well, like, like Richter, I, I don't look at it from, it's, like, It's a, not getting undone. I, I yeah. just, I, I get caught up in, like, almost a, a nihilism of, like, well, it's not, none of the shit they've done to the game is getting undone, so why am I going to get mad about it? Well, yeah. So there's, there's no point. It's, like, a waste of energy to me now. I understand, but, like, like from my perspective, Richter, it, it, I look at video games as, like, well, like I, it, I think it's important to discuss for the same reason that it's, like, I think it's important to discuss why Super Mario Galaxy 2 isn't as good as 1, because it doesn't capture the same atmosphere. Like, like that, that, and like, I think that's important to discuss for the purpose of, uh, you know, just knowing more things about the way in which games are constructed. Um, and, and if you talk about it too much, you can get sick of anything. Uh, and, and I, I find a lot of new, there's a lot of nuance in TF2 because I think it's in a really unique position that not really in like a no other game at the same notoriety is in. So I think it's interesting to talk about for that reason. But other than that, it's like, I, I do get it. I, it can get exhausting at times, but you know. There's always there's always new cosmetics to talk about, new ways the art style can be fucked up. I just uh, I, I feel sad that we never got a game that actually built off the original TF2 art style. It just immediately we're adding fucking like samurais and shit. But it's like like 15 years later, I'm 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 just kind of the dumb one if I'm still mad that they're still adding samurais. It's been it's been a samurai game for 15 years. I just I don't know, the, man. Uh, I, feel like I think the wacky designs builder. are great. Uh, I mean, you built your like. Look at this fucking off. guy who just joined, like Weezy. When you started playing TF2 in what 2014, and your shit has been like a banana. Like like hey, TF2 is the banana game. Asshole. For you. Okay, That's 2013, right. 2012, whenever it was. Like this game is about like banana hat soldier to you. So who am I to tell him ah. he has like the wrong whatever? I, oh, I, yeah, I mean, maybe beautiful. he does. Maybe he does. But um, I've lost the uh the, the drive to correct people on what TF2 is or actually isn't. I love it I when haven't... twelve year olds come up to me in game and say, "Oh, it's a banana." I think it's worth. I, that's why I, 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 I do. All, all I'm saying, Richter, is I think there is val- value in the discussion. That's all. I, I, I agree with that, and I, I've tried to like talk about that in some of my like, like second channel videos and stuff. And hopefully, people can tell it's not like, oh, well, Richter just thinks the original whatever is stupid. It's like very much the opposite. Like Zesty will tell you, I've spent like long, ridiculously long amounts of time. Arguing he's with been Zesty like ruminating the- and marinating on this shit for like a year, <laughs> like longer than I that have. Now. I've been I've been ruminating on TF2's art style and what went wrong and everything that's been subverted and all that for so long. And it's gotten to a point where I've realized like 99% of whatever I want to learn and tell people, it just doesn't matter because this guy's like happy that MF Doom got added. And who am I to take that joy away from well, him? I, I, Video but, games are about having fun, right? Somebody's having fun. I, I don't want to be the asshole. Well, yeah. I There's a, definitely a time and a place for these discussions. Um, that's something you get caught up in, in with UFR in general. Uh, I... I <laughs> I, I have become more aware of our critics, both just because of comments on the VODs, p- things people say in chat, and things people say on social media, unfortunately. And I know that a lot of people, like, think of us as, like, like we are the people, like, who cares about anything we talk about, right? None of it matters, who gives a shit? But, like, I think there's value to, value to be had in the things that we discuss, because you can apply those things to other facets of game design, art construction, or just general entertainment value and you can look Where's at this you go you can look at i don't know there it is you can look at something uh, you can look at something like tf2's art style and you can compare it to like uh, like i said super mario galaxy because it, it, its art style went through a change between its first and second iteration and our conversations about tf2 might help you glean something from that that's like where that's how i, I, I think you can that, that's that's what i was trying to say and maybe i didn't use the right language but like if you if you really care about you know what tf2 once was and what it's become and how like sad it is I think honestly, instead of trying to undo that, you're better off just trying to make something with the lessons you learned from it. If that makes sense, yeah. like you're better off just taking that forward with you and trying to be productive with it. Because it's, it, of course, the game is beautiful. Of course, the game is like one of the most beautiful games ever made, in my opinion. But it's not that anymore, and people are having fun. Someone in the chat says I started playing in 2013. That's not true. Um, you started playing in. Is Steve? Do you know when I started playing? Yes. Like launch. Not launch. Not launch. Not not launch. I'm not that fucking boomer. Uh, 2008, 2009, remind me. It was 2009. Right? It was 2009. Was it's not 2013. Right. I'm <laughs> 2013 is really wrong. Mm. No, I, I, and I, I understand like people in chat are saying like protect what you love. I get that. Um, I'm just like I'm, I'm giving the rationalization of why I've kind of like let loose of that because the game, the game that I fell in love with like 15 years ago, that's not what we're playing anymore. So that's not. It's like what's the point of protecting it when it's not even what I wanted to protect? 
Mm. Like what I want to protect is the original version of TF2, which I guess technically I can still go play. Um, as like lame as that is. It sounds like this. It sounds like you're itching to make a video that's very similar to like Implement's YouTube has changed video, or YouTube is on a downward spiral, where you go through like all the ways TF2 used to be used to be, and you explain how all of them are different now. Um, I uh, yes, that is accurate. Sesti will tell you that's accurate. I've thought about making a video like that for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I think you should. I also think you should. I think that's something a video that like only you could make. I, I hope I just don't sound like a fucking driveling like moron right now because I I'm trying to condense like like a year and a half's worth of like arguments with Zesty. Well, not like arguments, just like talking about the game and and like fucking whatever. No, it doesn't. Um, it doesn't yeah, I think you're totally. I'm coherent. trying to condense a lot into just trying to explain this to like a bunch of fucking people. So no, you're you're coherent. Cool. I'm not. I'm not a great public speaker. Yeah, you're not. You're not any more of a moron than usual. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, no, Lisa. No problem. Uh. Yeah. No. I. I. Uh... I I really liked your font video because it's it's just slowing down and appreciating um just slowing down and appreciating how much love went into something. Nah, but who cares? Uh, I, I, think that's I think it's important to have that reverence. But I, I just like when you're in a room full of people who don't have it, at a certain point you're the odd one out. Like I said, that image of the uh, the guy in the swimming pool and his part of the pool isn't pee, but they're laughing. And, and then all the others are pissed and yeah. yeah, that's like at a certain point you're that guy. Yeah, but like like Richter, that's like the thing, right? Because like people will, there are so many people who miss the point of the opener to that video where I contextualize it as like people say this thing about TF 2s running out of ideas, but like you could talk about literally anything. A lot of people got it. And well, a lot what of that means, right? It. What that means is um, TF 2s are running out of ideas. Translates to TF 2 content isn't exciting anymore. Yeah, to uh, you which, specifically. Yeah, to you specifically, yeah. but also like I, I also get it. Like like Weezy can tell me. Every day, I have 500 ideas planned for my next TF2 videos until 2055. And it's like, well, yep. at a certain point, you're going to be talking about, like, toilet model, like, toilet dot model in the map. Like, I, I, I don't Maybe. know if I still want to watch that. No, it won't be that far. But, like, I, again, I think people just don't understand how much potential this game has. And no one's unlocked it. It does. It, it has, does. It's It's got a lot of missed potential, too, which is a sad thing. Well, it's a lot. lot. It's got as yeah. much of potential as, like... Like most other things, like the idea that like you never you ever hear someone say, well, like oh, so and so game had so much potential. It's like oh, well, every game has potential. Like you, you it doesn't mean anything. Like <laughs> kind of. Let me Flappy say, Bird. let me say it like this, okay? Flappy Bird TF had so much potential, TF2, dude. TF two has been along or around just as long as uh, Twitch has been around, and there has been no real, truly successful, uh, like really good stream for TF two. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think that's bullshit. I think just no one's done it properly. I agree. I, I agree. And I Right, fifteen and and by the way, you say I agree. That's actually a ballsy statement because what you're doing is you are looking yeah. at the last fifteen years of shitty content that's never worked, and you are saying all of you are wrong. It can work. Yeah, but Uncle because Uncle Dane was the fucking I almost I almost called Uncle Dane a dumbass. Um, I, I was <laughs> Uncle Dane made an incredibly an ill-informed statement and said that TF2 gameplay isn't interesting to watch, and I think he's full of shit. <laughs> I think he's just incorrect. I I don't know how you could make that statement. Given I will say you you can say that, but like honestly, I think um like I've had a lot of fun with TF2 since it's been like bought free. Like hallelujah for that. I think I might have been having more fun arguing about it like it was a political topic than I did playing it. It was a lot of fun to argue about it as like a hot button issue. Uh, yeah, but even like even if the game is really thing. fun, I had <laughs> it was really exciting to just argue about it. Like that was almost more fun than the game itself to me. I mean, uh, you gotta think about it. It's the most the game's been having going on in a long time. That's pretty true. That's, it was crazy the last time me, Zesty, and Wheezy were on a call together. It was a very interesting, very interesting yeah. time. <laughs> uh, you want me to take Adderall again? We can go for it. No, no, the no. Content, boys. Yeah, we were supposed to do, I don't know if you know this, Lucid, but me, Zesty, and Wheezy, we were supposed to do a stream like immediately after um, immediately after the update dropped, but it just never happened. We were, we were trying to do like a unite the community or whatever. Like everybody, like obviously Zesty and Wheezy and me have like differences and we're going to like queue together and have fun. And it was supposed to be like, oh, we can like put an end to this like, Stupid ass argument thing, but it just never, uh, never materialized because Weezy was scared that fucking oh, yeah. people. Oh yeah, well, not even mess with on vacation. Oh, I guess you went on vacation. Yeah, no, we gonna, I, I don't mean to mischaracterize you. I wasn't trying to shit on you. I wasn't trying to make fun. No, of you. I just, I didn't want to do it immediately after because everyone was gonna look at a zesty stream with me on it and immediately think there'd be drama. But if you give it a bit, and then the update comes out, but then, you know... I that's hate that. Is, that's, can I, that that's makes like, it more <laughs> subversive, though. Like, they click on it expecting drama. And nah, it's nah, nah. The game. Okay, I guess. Or not. What were you gonna say, Zesty? I hate it. I just like I hate. I hate that. Like I cannot. Like no. Like it's infuriating that. Like 
everything I do is synonymous with like the absolute worst things that people have blown out of proportion. It's I, I, I it's annoying, but like you can't look at like I, I can't be in the same room with someone without like it being a bad thing. Yeah, of course. Also, that's kind of, you know, I also had my role to play in that, no doubt. Um, I think people just, uh, it, it's kind of childish the way they look at online interactions. They think if two people have a disagreement, that means they hate each other. And I'm like, bro, that's how kids think. Shut the fuck up, Wheezy. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Bitch ass. Well, uh, we'll do that stream once you're back, if you want. I'm still down. Yes. I think it'd be fun. Yes. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I don't like it. I'm, I just finished my thought. I, just, I think that people, if some, if you, if, if Uncle Dane or any individual who doesn't find TF2's gameplay interesting, I don't know why you'd say, he said it like it was a sweeping statement that applied to everyone or that there was some intrinsic aspect of TF2's gameplay that wasn't interesting. And I think, that's uh, I think, play. no, no, he's no. I think play. if we give Not him the a, benefit uh, of the doubt, he was talking about like some it. dude, uh, like just randomly streaming, playing fucking Frontier. And he gets hit by a random crit, and there's a funny ragdoll, and you just do that every day for two years. I think that's what he's referring to. No, but, Listen, no, Uncle Dane was clearly referring I, to the fact that he's got a monopoly on the clips, all right, I, on TF2 streaming, true. and he just doesn't want anybody else weaseling in. All the clips of his century getting killed. All the clips. I, I, he said he's the one. He didn't. I'm not. I'm not. It's not me giving. You can't give him the benefit of the doubt when he said not what you just said, because he wasn't. He didn't just say. He said TF2 gameplay isn't interesting and then went on to explain comp gameplay is interesting because there are stakes. With TF2, there are no stakes. So it's not interesting to watch. That's a different thing. <laughs> oh, no, I can agree that like the comp Yeah, I think his arguments are pretty be. shallow. I, I think, so, you know, if, I think, if the um, gameplay wasn't interesting to watch, yet so many people play it, like people, I think Shonix had a lot of uh, had a lot of success showing how you can like slightly twist up the TF2 formula and make people want to watch. Like, oh, I wonder what That's happens if one you example. Like, have no yeah. class. Yes, a hundred percent. Like the idea of like, hey, we're gonna do this shit, but it's a hundred players and snipers banned. Fucking yeah. great. I think, That's a great uh, I think I Uncle Dane is maybe a still still a little salty that his like uh, comp thing wasn't true, but I don't blame him for it. I, I, I <laughs> that quote. I will never. That quote is 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 UFR history. Now that quote is forever solidified in TF2 history. I. I it is. It just, is. Truly, like I, I want to get, I want to have that on a plaque and have it over my bed, <laughs> and like look at it every night and smile and we, go and hang think to myself, it's yes. one of the greatest. Th I need <laughs> have to make it on the fridge. I need to make a command in <laughs> chat that just do, like post that quote to just to remember. You need to get it. a soundboard that just like plays it whenever also, you die. People, to, like, uh, well, obviously, this is like I... a, an extreme case, but people watch Germa play uh, like TF2 and Star. Like well, yeah. Star is still streaming TF2, I think. Yeah. And yeah, also, coming. chat the quote. The quote was uh, from his random crits video where he said, "I believe that I I believe that in ten years there will be a new generation of Team Fortress of TF2 players who cite competitive mode as the primary reason why they got into TF2." See, but the second half of his quote was like spot on though, because he was like, uh, "And I predict in ten years there will be a guy who has a big orange muscle girl, and he's going to be racist in TF2, and it's huh? going to be a big deal." And he, that, that was like Who's prophetic that? when Who's he that? said that. that? Simpsons predicted Team Fortress Two. It's big news. Yeah. No, I, I, yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, that that was a, this, is, this is a good UFR. We got a full, like four hours, twenty minutes. We <laughs> talked about a lot of things. Richter's here. That was fun. Ah uh, damn! Only four Richter's hours. Here. The colors, the colors are different. No one, no one That's yelled true. at you me. You did a good job whole... on the. Uh, you did a good job on the stream setup. It looks cool. Thank you. No, no one yelled at me the whole stream about the colors. The, I and, and I the, love the, the colors. Face. I'm sorry if I yelled at you at all, Luce. I didn't mean to. No, no, no. You're okay. I it was. I, I used the opportunity of you talking. You guys. Uh, earlier when I was trying to talk about the Pyro's pants, I just started crying. Like fit. Like fake. I didn't crying. realize you guys felt so uh, strongly about the the sniper thing. I didn't. <laughs> I, uh, oh, I my, my opinion has always just been like it's fun to play sniper and I have more fun being sniper than I have uh, like not fun playing or fighting against sniper. So it's just and, it's, and it's bewildering that it's like, such a big problem to people. Even like it's always been fans. it's always been uh, you're wrong and gay. You might be right. I might be wrong and gay. That I'm, might be the conclusion to draw you know, from the stream. Sometimes uh, being wrong and gay are good things, and we should cherish them. Yo, Weezy, I, I, uh, gay, I'm not even that, that fucking. No. That MVM song you made, Wheezy, it's so good. I like heard somebody. Oh yeah, like, it's, you, you it's got a, great. You got like a hit on your hands because I. I, I know. Like, I worked really hard on it. I was outside. I heard somebody I, drive by playing it. I was like, I oh hate, my god, he's got a fucking hit I, on his hands. I don't understand this bit. 
<laughs> the ironic they're not to understand. Was, he did this really, really good song. I, it was unironically later. stuck in my head as I was trying to go to bed, like, yesterday or the day before. I it's forget. It's been stuck in my head all day today. It, it's something <laughs> my favorite. What is there to get stuck? I feel like it's not that catchy. What's, uh, it's what's just because oh, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's a song a, that we all know about. Yeah, it's a great song. Really good. I, Zesty, my, have you, my yeah. favorite, Zesty, my have you favorite reply. To, wait, sorry. No, you it, no, it's just a dude with like the it's like the writing shit, but it's on fire like that gif, and it's just MV 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 Yeah, it's such, it's such a fire song, as the kids say. Ha ha! What? Uh, some music. I like music. Oh, Zesty feels left out. He doesn't know what we're talking about. The fuck are you talking oh, about? Zesty, yeah. Z Zesty, uh, uh, Richter. Uh, I mean, uh, shit. Zest, Z Me. Weezy, Weezy, Me. Weezy, Weezy not Richter. Weezy made a song. Definitely um, not me. And it was a parody of. Uh, it's a parody of of rapper Fifty Cent's song Mini Men. But it's you replaced the words Mini Men with MVM and made all the lyrics about MVM. Um, oh. And it's a really bad parody, but it's really funny and very catchy because the original song is good. And it's kind of riding off of how good the original song is. Yeah, cool. there's a tweet. MVM. I think it's great. MVM. It's not that funny. I didn't post it myself. I didn't I didn't I didn't post it myself because I didn't think that was it was that funny, but I sent it to me. I thought it was posted. hilarious. It's it's pretty great. I'm so glad I made it. Also I have been I'm so actually yeah, I'm, I'm really glad you made it, Weezy. You did a good job, it was really funny. I'm I'm daring to open Twitter to go look at this. He said, oh, no. I thought I sent you it at some point. I, 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 I don't remember the person in chat. I don't remember. Uh, chat, the rap battle against Yuki is this Wednesday. I'll let you know how it all goes. <laughs> I like bringing that up on UFR because no, most people have no fucking clue what I'm talking about. Um... Yeah, that's a good... This is a good time to close. Uh, what do you guys got What do you guys got to say? You guys got anything to shill? Me, Wheezy, and Zesty are really, really good friends. That's a good chill. Yeah, we're chilling. Me, Zesty, Wheezy, and Richard, we're gonna do a battle to the death, three v one. I'm gonna wa well, walk you're you're fucking, fucking dying for calling me Richard, so you, I, yeah, Richard, yeah. Richard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I gotta go ahead, you gotta stoke the flames. Um, Dummy. Richard Undertale. Uh, Zesty, what do you got coming down the pipeline? Anything new? Uh, not yet. All right, that's ominous. maybe next month. All right, cool. Um. The, the wheezy what do you what do, what do you got going on i got something in a few days it'll be good it'll be hopeful um it'll be good news <laughs> a little bit of bad news but also good news are you going to tell us to to not boycott unless unless no, 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 the no. bad it's, and then we and then we have to boycott again no it's actually the opposite i actually think um yeah i'll, I'll wait and see maybe you can watch it on the news ufr if you wanted to but nice we'll, we'll see it'll if it'll it has be anything good. to it'll do with good. fixed ef2 i'm going to throw something <laughs> um not really. It'll just be uh, uh, like a passing mention. Oh, uh, no, it'll just be like, it'll just be like passing mention stuff. I, you know, I, ooh, man. It will not. I, I like the last thing I want to do is spark a whole fucking drama Bro, shit if, about it if, again. If, so if, I'm, I'm navigating it appropriately. I, people, if 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 anyone thinks that I, I'm like like or me or Alan or who or Zesty or whoever is milking fixed TF2, I want to tell you I am so sick of talking about fixed TF2, and I'm so glad this is the first time we've mentioned it the entire stream. This is no, cool. it's, yeah, it's yeah, kind of. I, I kind of don't caring about it because uh, the game is playable, so there's no point in having the argument. That's why we want to do that stream. Exactly. That's like that's my whole take it's right now. Is like we exist in a new paradigm, and like we can argue over the hypothetical old <laughs> paradigms, but it just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore. Paradigm. It's great. Yep. Uh, Things are back to the way they are. Yay, Alan. Until they're is not. Anything else that needs to be spoken about or addressed by anybody? I don't. Guys, what is I Alan, don't think so. What does Alan think about this? I'm I'm sleepy. I'm, I have little to add to this conversation. Alan, you've said like two things the whole stream. All right, this, this I might have talked the least to this episode ever. Like, yeah. Like, did you pass out at one point? No, here, not here, yet. Guys, give me like two seconds. That's crazy. No one in chat at, wanted to know what you had to say either. I'm kind of disappointed. Okay, well. I, <laughs> that's I'm a sorry, little. That's not what that's. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, what do you think about Joe? No, never mind. I was gonna ask what you think. <laughs> Joe Biden stepping down. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure Alan has detailed thoughts oh, about Joe Biden. Biden stepping down. That's crazy. Oh, we're gonna get an election between Biden. a cop and a felon. That's like crazy. That's crazy that we're gonna get uh, the, the blue tark is no longer fighting over the ground. Wait, why do you assume a Kamala is a felon? That's not. No, what she was what the cop. Talking about. I, no, she's she's the cop. <laughs> Anyways, um, what was what was I saying? Uh, too edgy. Oh yeah, no, we have um. 
We have a we have a, a I have a funny video coming out, um, hopefully on the 29th. Uh, wait, the, what shit? Yeah, hopefully a week from today, I will have a video coming out. Some at least before the end of July. The problem is that I have I have to I have to beat my friend, um, to the to a pulp on to Wednesday death. to death on Wednesday, and then <laughs> on Thursday I have a final exam. So uh, there's a bit of there's a bit of like a couple issues. Uh, there, but I'll, I'm gonna try and script and make the video about. It's gonna be about. It's really funny to me. That was really funny to me. Just really, yeah. Uh, actually, on Wednesday, I have to beat my friend to a <laughs> I have to beat. <laughs> yeah, on Wednesday, I gotta. I gotta. Sh Never mind. I yeah. No. Hey, I, I gotta go. I gotta yeah, go to the beach now. So, uh, all uh, take care. All right. Bye bye. Are we ending funk, now? The funk video comes out sometime before the end of July. All right. Uh, bye bye. Thanks for all the, the funny things.